Welcome to our exciting and brand new shopping channel, Hobby Maker, dedicated to crafting. We'll be working with some of the biggest brands in the industry, which means you can look forward to highly skilled crafters, demonstrations and great products at great prices. We'll be bringing you a mix of paper craft, mixed media, resin, candle making and so much more from our expert guests. So let's get crafting with Hobby Maker. It couldn't be easier to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Hi, I'm Sarah Davies and I'm the founder of Crafters Companion. Also, one of my hobbies that I do in my spare time is a little bit of investing in other businesses. So you might recognise me as one of the dragons on Dragon's Den. I started Crafters Companion back in my university bedroom when I was just turned 21 and we design and develop and bring to market products for the paper craft community. So everyone who's into card making, I'd like to think that we are at the cutting edge of all the latest trends, the fabulous designs are out there and we are researching the market, making the products that customers really want and need and then bringing them to market, not here in the UK but all over the world. So for me, Hobby Maker is so different to any other craft shopping channel I've ever worked with from anywhere in the world. The fact that you can do the falling price auctions, the fact that you can have the fixed price shipping for the day, the fact that all of your call centres are based here in the UK and you can offer an elevated customer experience is really all the things that really I know matter to our customers. So for you to be able to offer all of this and give me a platform as a manufacturer of amazing craft products to bring them to the UK market, I just feel like it's a match made in heaven. Here at Hobbymaker, we love seeing what you've been making and it's our job to keep you inspired. So how does a £100 credit to your Hobbymaker account sound? Every month, we're going to be giving away a £100 credit to one lucky Hobbymaker's account. And all you have to do to enter is simply send a photo of your crafty makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We will be picking one winner each month at random and we'll announce the lucky winner on air in the 5pm show on the last Saturday of every month. So what are you waiting for? Get crafting, get motivated and get inspired with Hobbymaker. Hobbymaker are going on the road and our first stop is the Creative event taking place at the Kent Showground in Maidstone on Friday the 30th of September and Saturday the 1st of October. Come along and say hello as we bring you an exclusive shopping experience with our craft concierges, ready to go with show only discounts, free goodie bags, and an opportunity to take part in the world's largest tangled wall. Or you could even strike it lucky in our tombola. Get your tickets now by logging on to createdevents.com forward slash shop and by using the code MAKER, you'll get an extra 25% discount off your day ticket. So join us on Friday the 30th of September and Saturday the 1st of October at the Kent Showground in Maidstone. We'll see you there. Hello everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Is that a mild panic? Right, Friday was the start of our half celebration, half birthday, half six month celebration. And uh, this amazing team here at uh, Hobby Maker decided to make a very important VIP pin badge, very collectible. Only time it'll ever be in this color. It's got a little cheeky, um, a very, very special saving on the back. 20% 20 20 off on a day of your choice up until the end of this year, 2022. 20%, that's a fifth off, that's a lot. Just before it became live, the big boss, you know, you know, you're new to a, you're new to the boss. Do you want to look good? What do I do? He says, no, don't lose that. It's the last pin in the building. What did I do? Lost it. <laughs> I've been tracing my steps outside. I've been in the toilet. I've had my handbag out. That's why I'm a little bit through a hedge backwards, because but I did find it. <laughs> 
but now I'm having a hot flush. So my lovelies, we did it as a craft spotlight. Wait till I show you what our gorgeous Debbie from uh, our gorgeous Crafters Companion has got as well. Um, before that, we had a thousand on Friday. We've got 111 left, nearly 110. 108 left. Get ready for this. It'll be the best £3.49 you've ever spent. Craft Spotlight. So, £3.49. Hello, Debbie, by the way. Hello, Your hair looks nice. Oh, well, thank you very much. I thought I'd do it curly for curly you. Curly whirly. Yeah, curly whirly today. Yes. Oh. Just like me. I'm a bit bonkers. So we like you, bonkers. Bit round the twist. We bit like it. Twist. He wants to be normal. <laughs> Three, imagine this, right? So, £3.49 you spend, right? You just, you just put that on your credit card or your debit card, whatever, right? This is your favourite brand, I would imagine, as in Hobby Maker that gets you all your favourite brands, right? And then on the day of your choice, you think about what you want. You look at the TV guide over the next three months, four months, and you think, right, that's the day. That's the, that's the, it's got all my favourite brands or one of them or two of them, and it's got something like, I don't know, die cutting machine or it's got a, whatever it might be. 20% off. Code's on the back of the pin. Yeah? Now the, now, the pin is collectible in itself. It's limited edition. There is only a 1,000. Now, it's not like that closing down furniture sales shop that always says, oh, it's today's your last day. We're never going to do a sale again. Mm -hmm. This is also, we're not going to reprint this one. There was 1,000 only. So in this teal colour... 1,000, and over Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we had, own, uh, as I say, just shy of 900 sold. So thank you very much for getting involved. You know, in the uh, brand new limited edition Hobby Maker pin badge gang, for £3.49, that was an awful, awful attempt at an Irish accent. It was awful, sorry, awful. But I have offended a lot of people and I didn't mean to, so I do apologise. You're talking to a brummy, we offend everybody. <laughs> so, Hobby Maker Pin Badge in that beautiful teal blue. We now have less than 100 and this is and it includes a 20% discount code on the back. And I know what you're all screaming at me. Turn it round. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> all of that is still, don't turn it round. Don't turn it round. Because, quite frankly, £3.49 just to get in the, in the gang. In the, in the Hobby Maker pink I want gang. one. I don't think mm. I'm going to be able to get one now. Possibly not, no. no. Mm. This is genuinely... The, can you imagine? So you, can you imagine, and right? you nearly lost it. I, no, I actually <laughs> lost it. I was hoping Alex had taken it to set it up into the studio. He, when I realised he hadn't and I, could off, I couldn't offset the blame, I had to rummage again. <laughs> so £3.49 gets you the pin, limited edition. We will not be making any more of this particular colour. We will bring you more in the, in the future. 20% off. Now, can you see our brand colours across the top there, look? So, can you see there, look? And you've got the beautiful teal. Now, the reason we went for teal is because, without question, in, um, in crafting, or definitely in gemstones, the most favourite colour um, a lot of people, the, oops, the majority, is actually a blue. So you think, of, and it's a very social colour, so you think Facebook. My favourite colour's blue. There you go. Mm -hmm. Most, a lot of people's, and you, but why do you think social media and things like Facebook went for blue and Twitter? Why do you think? Because it's a very friendly colour. That's why, that's why they went with it. Ah. But if you look at the Hubba Maker colours, it might just be, I don't know about you, it might just be, is there, there you go, look, there's your teal. That's the, one that we've, that's the one we've gone with here. So that might mean there's going to be hot pink. There's going to be Crafter's Companion purple. Oh, now that's made them collectibles. Doesn't it just? Mm. Doesn't it just? A rainbow of colour, you're going to have the green, you're going to have the yellow, you're going to have the bright red. And who knows what will be on the back each time. So... 1,000 people only will ever, and that's if you buy one each, will ever get the full set. And just for imagine as well, when in like a thousand years time, Debbie, when somebody rocks up to Antiques Roadshow, <laughs> hey, and they've got <laughs> the their seven collection. hobby maker, exactly. They've got their seven hobby maker pin collection. What's the little cars, the matchbox cars, isn't it? Be like that, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. 
Mm. Now, the thing is, my lovelies, so, now this is the thing I want to highlight, because I don't know about you, when my producer says to me, all oh, 20% gone, 10% gone, I'm thinking, right, I get it, but how many's left? Well, we only started with 108. 108. Thank you, because I'm a numbers girl. So we're down to less than 80 now. That's it. We're not, and once they're gone, they're gone. They're not being reprinted. So Carol on the phone. Uh, there's a crafter just bought four. Very crafty. June's trying to get two. Lots of you multi buying. There's Jay, Mary, Margaret, Cecile, Pauline. You're in the. Oh my goodness me! I better, I better get a jelly on, because uh, you're still on the phone to our wonderful call centre. I rang our call centre today and spoke to a lovely lady called Cherie, because I ordered. I was ordering trimmers. I was trying to order all sorts. The the cardstock I tried to get. It was. I thought we'd sold out, but there is some still available. So. My lovely channel sales managers fixed that for us. Speaking of which, though, on the show this afternoon, I'm so excited. First time I've seen textured cardstock. Mm -hmm. Textured. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, coming up for you later. <laughs> um, right then, my lovelies. Now, we do have a bit of housekeeping to do today. Not where the toilets are, don't worry. Okay, hopefully you know where your own toilet is. So yesterday, we... Um, we it was Ruth, our lovely, lovely Ruth's birthday. Didn't she look gorgeous she yesterday? She always looks gorgeous, oh, but she did yesterday, yes. Yeah. Now, Ruth, courtesy of her birthday yesterday, came up with this great idea of one lucky person drawn at random will win their entire basket. Wow. Entire basket. That's so I hope cool. you overloaded it because it's one post and packaging, don't forget, with Hobby Maker, very exclusive to us. So do you want to know the witch you have a drum roll, people? The winner is, if you're called Anne Scott, you will have the entire, entire contents of your basket sent to you for absolutely naffle. <laughs> Congratulations. Yay. So it credited you your account. Hopefully, if you go there now, it'll go, oh, there's your money back. How nice is that? Would you do, me, do us a favour, Anne? If you are watching, my lovely, and we hope you are, will you message in and tell us that it's there and you're happy and you're chuffed? Because we'd love to know. But we're doing a competition today. Oh. Well, it's not a competition. It's a giveaway. You haven't really got to do anything. In fact, you haven't. So, everybody's going on about the fact that we have got a brand coming our way called American Crafts. Everybody's going on about it. They'll be later, later in the month, later in September. I didn't know that. Did you, is this news to I you today? I love American craft. Do you? Yes, they do the most amazing cardstock. Do wow. They? So yes, they're they coming do. in September oh. this month, Debbie Love. Wow. Yeah, so we're all excited That's about that. Brilliant. So, as a teaser, as a proper little carrot dangler, because it was our half birthday. So what American Craft said was, well, crafty, you know, American Crafty for you brought me, but they said, I'll tell you what. As you're celebrating your half year, Hobby Maker, how about we give you some giveaways to A, celebrate you being with us for six months and also to sort of tease your lovely audience to get ready for our brand coming, which is really kind of you. So if anybody's watching from American Crafts, thank you so much because this is very kind. Um, bear in mind, we haven't actually sold anything for you yet. So it's actually really nice of them, isn't it? It's a real gift of faith. Um, so thank you. So you... You can win a Hobby Maker goodie bag courtesy of American Crafts and it's going to be full of their goodies. All you've got to do today to be in with the chance of winning this goodie bag from American Crafts is buy something. That ain't bad, is it? So, now does that, does that include from six o'clock this morning, Andy Love? Yeah, so from six o'clock this morning... If you were here with our hunky dory and our crafter's companion, and we've got that's crafty coming up with Joe later as well, very excited. Um, you've only got to buy something. Now this is slightly awkward. Does that mean because I bought me two trimmers today, one for me and my dad, that we're into the draw? He went not for stuff, no. <laughs> you should just put your dad's name. I should have done, shouldn't I? <laughs> so jo joking aside. Staff aren't included, so and neither would I. It would have been one of them. If, if my name would have come up and I said, no, sorry, you have it, because yeah. that's not fair. So we're not included, OK? <laughs> Just buy something. I, I wouldn't put my name back. <laughs> <laughs> not for American craft. You wouldn't, no, would not you? at all. The, the thing, so grab yourself something, and tomorrow afternoon we will announce the winner. Oh, can I just mention, it's not just one winner, not like Anne Scott, oh. six winners. Wow. Six goodie bags. 
Okay, so there you go. Just buy something. Do you know what you could do? Now, Andy, I don't know whether I should do this, just quickly. £3.49, just buy the pin. Just buy the pin. You'll be entered. £3.49, you'll be entered. Just saying. There aren't many left, though. Anyway, Debbie... Debbie, I feel as though that's the longest intro and I've hardly <laughs> got to... It's fine. It was an exciting intro, wasn't it? I mean, American Craft. Honestly, I'm thrilled about I that. I didn't know that. That's well, amazing. I'm new to this world and every person's reaction has been like that. Yeah. They've Isn't been that lovely? Good. Yeah, very good. So, Great. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. A real treat for the Yeah, craft real industry. treat. Um, right. Saying of real treats, we have got... Yet, I feel like every time I come on with Crafter's Companion... There's a brand new launch. Mm. Do you never stop? We do do a lot of <laughs> launches, actually. And you've got to wonder, you think, how do they keep coming up how with ideas? Exactly. Uh, we do have, Leanne and her team are just amazing at coming up with new concepts. Yeah. Uh, the concept we've got today, which is brand new, these are incredible because not only are they for you to do your card making with, they are great for scrapbooking. Yeah. They're going to be great for your Christmas cards, putting your photos. You know, you take that photo and you're all matching yeah. pyjamas from yeah. last year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, or you, you want your animals, these. you take your animals, don't yeah. you? You can put those pictures into what we've got on today, put them on the front of the card, and you could literally send them out to all your friends and family. Great idea, because what we're launching today with Crafters Companion and our lovely Debbie is these phenomenal Gemini die frames, yeah. aren't they, or frame dies? Yes, yeah, either that way is. you say it, they are, yeah, die frames, frame dies. <laughs> now, my lovely lady, could you, because I'm just thinking as well, when you, when you do, it's all about personalisation at Christmas and photographs and memories and family and friends, yep. this frame die collection is for you. Yeah, you know what I love about them, Zena? These are really simplistic. Now, we don't want to take anything away from the design scene because you can see from this first one, those beautiful butterflies are so ornate. The wings actually come oh. out of the die. Uh, so they're die cut as well. So they're really intricate, but beautiful frame dies. They're one die, one cut in the machine. So just one go through. And you're done. Yeah, no complications. Oh uh, now, you can either cherry pick and choose whichever ones you want. I love this one. I mean, That's how pretty, beautiful. Isn't it? I mean, so lovely if you're doing your wedding stationery. Mm. I can see wedding numbers, you know, the table numbers. Oh, yeah, you course, could yeah, put a course, frame, yeah. put the table numbers in yep. there, uh, put them on your menus. You could slot your menus into them. Well, I, I did a dinner party your... Saturday night. That could have been for the menu, couldn't yes, it? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. All for your stationery. Uh, but I love the fact that the simplicity of these are great. So these ones are your three. Uh, what I've showed you, your, what we class the sort of every day. So you floor. don't have to cho choose if you don't want to. You can go for that full collection. I love this one. So even though the bells and the bows have been put into a Christmas collection, yeah. actually, there's nothing Christmassy in that. No. You could actually use that for weddings, anniversaries, Absolutely. engagements, yep. anything like 100%. that. This one, obviously, is beautiful. Your yeah. snowflake one, absolutely gorgeous. And I have to say, this is probably my favourite oh, one. Oh, the holly. I love the holly one. There's something very Christmassy about Holly, oh, yeah. uh, and I'm going to show you this later on in the show being paper pieced as well. Exactly, it doesn't have to just be black and white. You yeah. wait until Debbie gets her hands on it. This is it going into the uh, into the die cutting machine, into the plates. One go through look, and we've done the most fantastic deals on uh, die cutting machines over the past week, haven't we? Just to mention, what Crafters Companion had. Oh, Sorry, I, c I can't keep going when that's going And on. look how quickly, and I'm going to show you that in real time, Brilliant. how quickly that comes together. Brilliant. Thank you so much, my lovely. Now, also, what Debbie and Crafters Companion are doing, you can have the whole collection of six with the three floral and the three um, Christmas. So you can have all six. That's the most affordable way to do it. If you just want the floral set of three, or you just want the Christmas set of three, or vice versa, we're doing a bundle deal on that. If you're like Deb and you're thinking, oh, I love the holly one, I want the snowflake one, I want whichever one you want, and you think, do you know what, my budget goes to one, we're going to give that opportunity for you as well. If you go to the hobbymaker.co.uk website and you click on watch live, a lot of what we've got, in fact, all I think of what we've got today is going on pre-order. So that means you don't have to wait, you don't have to be tied down, unless you like it. So... <laughs> Don't go there. But if you want to get... So you can get them individually. If you want them all together, with, which we know is the best, most affordable way to buy them, you put this code in, HZ2018. Well, that's nice and easy. 
Mm. HZ 2018, that's nice. And what I will just mention is, when you look at these dies, there's a heck of a lot of metal in them, isn't there? Yeah, they're nice large dies. They really... Look at that. Oh, I was going to say, have you got his number? <laughs> Big dies, lots of metal. Okay, um, let's get the price in. This is for all six. All six, three floral, three every occasion, three of your Christmas set as well. Brand new today. $76.99 gets you all of the above. And the thing is, when you're sending a card and you, you're putting that frame in, that sentiment that you've got, Debbie, with the emotion, the mm -hmm. romance, or it, yep. friendship, or love, or companionship, or whatever it might be, you know, these will make it. Oh, so oh, much no. so. I feel like sometimes we can very much uh, get a little bit overpowered with how much you have to do to dyes sometimes. Yes. So it's lovely to offer all that different versatility and everything you can do with them. But sometimes the simplistic ideas are the best ideas yeah. because they just are one pass wonders as far yeah. as I'm concerned. You put them through the machine and you've got them straight away, which exactly. is incredible. So yeah. yeah, they are definitely something for your stash, for whatever you do, yeah. whether it is your scrapbooking, even your picture frames and your yeah. living room pictures on the walls, you can put these in behind your pictures, put them up there. So it doesn't always have to be about card making. That's when you've got wall art as well, haven't Absolutely, you? Absolutely, yeah. Just incredible these are. Now, we knew these were going to be very, very, very popular today, so we want to make sure that you get every option available to you purchase-wise. As I said, if you go for all of them, that is the most cost-effective way. So you think, great, brilliant. Because if you can stretch to that, the thing is then, you see, you've got every occasion, even non-occasion, you've got seasonal as well. So, you know, you go down the seasonal aisle, it's already there for you with the Christmas. It doesn't have to be Christmas, some of those as well. And at 76 99 you divide that by six and there's a lot of metal. When you see this go through and you see the demo from Deb, uh, Deb you'll absolutely understand why. So, would you like to see the individual prices as well? Indi individual. Oh, in fact, you want just the Christmas collection? Yeah, do you want... Should we do yeah, I think people will either go for a Christmas or an everyday, or yeah. go for both. But if you do want to just split them, then yeah, I like this option as well. So the Christmas, which is the one with the bells, yep. the bows, the holly, the snowflake. Yes. Okay, so it's these three at the front here, all brand new today. <laughs> um, and we're talking about big, big frames. So size-wise... I've got it as height, 215 mil. Is that right? 200, have I got that right? Dimension. Oh, I only the, do inches. Five by seven. Five by seven, that's <laughs> even easier. Thank you. <laughs> so the lovely thing is, with crafters do it in inches. Is that, so it's all generally inches. That will make sense. So um, we've got textured cardstock coming up today as well. But you think when you do actually go in and print off some photographs, or you mm. might have the facility at home, six by four and five by seven are standard photo they sizes. Are, absolutely. Yes. So this is perfect. Perfect. Yes. Brilliant. You ready for this? Yes. <laughs> 39.99 for all three. So there's your snowflake. There's your bells and your bows and your holly as well, which is one of the most difficult. Uh, um, sorry, and your snowflake, isn't it? Got that right, haven't I? Yes. Yep. Yeah, sorry, just making sure. Foliage, bells, and snowflakes coming up for you. Will this work with the textured um, pads of... Yeah, oh, absolutely, Good. yeah. We'll show it in a little while, actually, because those textured pads... Uh, in fact, do you know what? I'm just, I don't normally just go off piece, but I have got a piece of the textured cards. Have pad you? Here. So I've got a piece of the... Um, I've just cut it mm. up. So my one is uh, just the, the pink, out of the bright pink. So you've got the brights and the... Uh, pastels yes um, and I'm just going to show you because I have no problem in literally just doing a quick wing it demo because oh, I want to show you just how perfect they cut out of that cardstock so if you did want any additional cardstock please go for that textured one okay. uh, because it's incredible you'll see as soon as it comes out it's okay. like Wow. Oh, and, awesome. and, and bearing in mind, this is one pass through the machine. In the Gemini, we're talking 18 seconds. 18 seconds to be able to then get your craft on, basically. But look at this. If I just take this out, cut out, no problem whatsoever. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I mean that oh. is 
very impressive, isn't it? Isn't it just? Yeah, I mean, and you think of all the colours you've got in that texture cardstock to be able to cut. Look at that frame. I mean, it's just it is gorgeous. You're going to love them. Yeah. Thing is, like you said, that's an 18 second pass through mm -hmm. in the uh, in your amazing die cutting machine. <coughs> but Excuse any me. die cutting machine, Zena. So anyone that's got any die cutting machine on the market, they are going to work through no problem whatsoever. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Yeah, sorry everybody. So 12 by 12 inch, I mean these are not to be sniffed at, 12 by 12 inch, there's your absolute rainbow of colour, goodness me, all textured and what's more what I like about these pads is they're nice and protected as well. So they're going to keep, because you've got all that lovely card as well at the back to keep it nice and it's not going to get, it's not going to get um, dog-eared. Sorry Ivy. <laughs> so there's, your, there's the gorgeous colours, the lovely hot pink. You've got the beautiful blues. You've got the Crafters Companion purple, obviously. <laughs> How could we not? And then you've got the gorgeous blues. And you've got, you've got this is like a, like a real sort of greeny kyanite blue. That's yeah, gorgeous. And then, hello, lovely bright green. Mm, the really lovely colours. T6 sheets at, nine, at, at 90. That should be, by the way, <coughs> 19.99. So we've just saved you the standard post and packaging for everybody. You only pay it once. Amazing. Right then. Amazing. We've got right, pastel we, ones coming up. Shall we do a bit of a demo? Yes, please. Right, so I'm going to take two different card mediums. So we've showed you that texture card stock. Now I'm going to show you some mirror card and some of our uh, multi-purpose card stock as well because that's really great for die cutting. Uh, and we're going to cut it out twice because, um, do you remember what it's called, Zena, that I was saying earlier I was going to do with this when we lay one die over the top yeah, of Yeah, so I'd like to just tell you that being the novice that I am, <laughs> Debbie, is about to show you how to shadow. <laughs> did I get it right? Hey, did I get it right? You did get it right. You did get it right. Zena <laughs> was like, hey, I love that. What, what is that? What do you do with that? Is it just one die layered on top of another? I suggest it's called shadowing. Shadowing. <laughs> I went, oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a really nice way to do it. But look at that coated cardstock. Mm. And Brilliant. that is just absolutely, oh, that's I know, it's just beautiful. So actually, one is gorgeous, but let's cut two out. Now, what I love about these, look how all these pieces just fall out. Ooh. If you just give your die a little tap, all those other tiny pieces will fall out. Haven't you got the release hold, the release hold and release sheet? Now, I'm going to show you that, yes, later. Brilliant. We haven't got it in the studio, but I've bought one sheet with me because it, it's all I had left. Um, but I am going to show you how to do that later. So Is that be handy for these, wouldn't it? It would be really handy yes. for these. I can't pick this up off the counter. Let me move that to the side. Do you know another thing I've just thought of, actually? Mm -hmm. um, and again, I never know whether to say this or not, but I'm afraid at some point we all attend a funeral, whether it's somebody else's Absolutely. or our own. Yep. You know, there's this thing now where it's at the front with the order of service or near the casket or whatever, that we'll have a lovely photograph. Wouldn't it be lovely to be able to give that person's personal oh, favourite lovely. colour oh, with I one of these that. frames yeah, and, very nice thing, and actually personalise it and whether it's shiny or glittery, if they're like glitter, do they're like mirrory. Do you know what I mean? Suit the personality of the person that's passed away. Yeah. You could use it for that as well. I think that's a nice idea. I absolutely love that idea. Yeah. Uh, just makes it a bit more special, doesn't it? Of course it does. And actually for any photographs, uh, you know, why have something just plain and boring when exactly. you can have something fancy and gorgeous? So, uh, uh, but I love that idea about the colours, the, yeah. you know, what colours people like. So I've done that in white, done that in gold, um, and then I've got just some beautiful cardstock here. And all we're going to do, uh, I say all we're going to do, we're going to make a card. Okay. Um, I've just cut myself a just slightly bigger than a five by seven. In fact, I'll give you the measurements. I've done this five and a half uh, by eight and a quarter. Uh, and then I've cut my cardstock the same, but this one I've cut to eight and a quarter by five and a half. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, exactly the same, sorry. My middle, my top section, I've done a little bit different because what I want to do is create a frame around. So what I've done is I've got just a nesting die at home. So if I bring that away, mm -hmm. I've got a nesting die at home where I've took this one, took 
the middle center away so we sort of class that as gut in the card yeah um, and I've just used a five by seven um, uh, sorry slightly smaller I think let me just give you the measurements of that because I don't want to uh, not give you the measurements I think I've done it four by six yes I have I've done it four by six uh, and then we've created this card front and the size of this card is eight inches by uh, eight and a quarter and then I've just gone in an inch on each side mm -hmm. uh, just so we can create almost like a wrap around so this will class create what we class as a dome front card so all we're going to do is stick this piece to here uh, just in case anyone's wondering uh, what papers I've used it mm -hmm. is from our Sarah Signature Hummingbird collection oh lovely so, uh, yeah. uh, but do you know what? What's lovely about these, Zena, is the fact that you can use whatever cardstock you've got in your stash. Yeah. So, you know, and, and I also love the fact that we've got textured cardstock on that's going to go with all those different cardstocks that you've yeah. got in your stash. Because we've got the pastel ones to come in. as well, haven't we? Absolutely, yeah, definitely. So, all I'm going to do now before we um, pop these into place, I'm going to put my gold one on first. Now, because these come slightly into my centre, mm. I'm I'm just going to be mindful of where I stick it so I know that my actual frame itself needs to be stuck and then just round the edges here um, I'm going to use my dotty tape pen but so. what for anybody watching what on earth is a dotty tape pen? <laughs> I think have we got some because I'm pretty sure it might not be on our show but we've got it on either this afternoon or tomorrow so I think we have got some dotty tape pens but what's it back doing? in stock so basically a dotty tape pen it it gives you little tiny blue dots uh, and it goes them? through yeah so if I sort of it's hard to let's have a look oh, there, let's put that this way see if we can slightly pick those up hard with it oh we can just see that oh, oh there we go yeah. can you see all those little dots yep so because it's dotty it means when we take it through our design it goes through to the other side so if i was to use my normal one this is how we know the difference as well so a straight tape pen mm. has this just strip on it Cross. and a dotty one has the dots Cross. if i was to put that straight one just straight across you'd see all oh, the sticky bits in between okay. um and uh but if you do use the glue dot one all those go straight through and you don't see any of it so for and these frame dies this would be you want one of them. it's a game changer okay. yeah for okay. me i think this was the best invention since the gemini Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. But, but I'll just quickly add one thing. Um, I, we, we had some messages coming in and I didn't, I don't even know how our, our sales manager's just done this because you can't normally do it midway through a show. So total respect to you, Andy. We have people saying, I want to get all six. I want all these framed dies, but I can't stretch the 76.99 today. I just can't. He's just put it onto a three-way split pay at no extra Ooh. interest pay to you. So £25.66 now gets you these dies home this week get it posted out to you and then in 30 days you can spread the payment at no extra money to you game changer again uh, and just pop it on the split pay all you do if you don't know how to do it go to the website pop the product in your basket like you normally would there's a little square blank box underneath click on it it'll check it and stop it and it's done okay. sorry to interrupt everybody. no not at all i'm just sticking away that's fabulous um, we, yeah, absolutely know that some die sets are considered purchases. Yeah. So I love that fact that we uh, we can offer that. Make, to it, you. make it more. Make it more palatable. Absolutely. Now, all I'm doing here is just very slightly offsetting. So can you see when you put that round, all the gold that goes round? Does it matter which way you offset? No, nope, not at all. Uh, and I have another little tip. If you want to do it so it really does look like a matte and layer, mm. you can cut your die in half and then you can offset it on one side and then the other. Oh. And then it looks like you've got a completely different die, but with a, um, a complete matte and layer oh, for gosh, that die. Yeah, absolutely. And then the only other thing I want to do is just from one of our word dies, I'm going to do exactly the same. So taking um, our gold one, I'm going to go oh no we want the gold oh, one that noise has just made me want some chocolate <laughs> we're gonna just pop that right into the middle Aww. pop that down and then we're gonna put our white one over the top 
So, you know, we have plenty of dyes to choose from, worded dyes. Oh, so you, you've, you've got, so that's a dye as well? The that's a separate one. dye that we do, yes. So you buy uh, that for on everyone. Own? Yeah, you can. On the website? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if we've got them on the website anymore, but they, oh. they wasn't in long ago. But yeah, absolutely. So with this, I've made this piece of card slightly smaller. So the width here is slightly bigger. So the width on this one is six inches, where the width on my first piece of card is five and a quarter, which means when we wrap this around, so I'm going to put some glue on Does that just come tab. with experience to know all that? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Or with tutorials? Uh, well. With apps, well, both. Do you know, yeah, and the small, I don't know who it was, but someone was doing a video in the green room right. and they come in and said um, about where you find your mojo from, if you lose your oh, mojo. Oh, Gemma Crow, off your Yes, yeah, Gemma, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I was saying about Pinterest. Yes, So Pinterest is, if you literally, so this is good for you, Zena, as yeah. well as anyone that's new to card making. Yeah. If you uh, go on to Pinterest, it's completely free. It's just an inspirational uh, platform. And if you typed in card um, card folds, you would have hundreds oh, and hundreds and hundreds right. and hundreds and hundreds. It's never ending of different card oh, folds. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. Good That's a good tip. And also, if you go to the hobbymaker.co.uk website, can't say it, hobbymaker.co.uk website, we've got a hobby maker hub. Hub. We've got a, we've got a hub. <laughs> And there's a whole introduction to card making, to whether it's ta uh, tangling with uh, Sandra of Santangle, whether it's, again, you're thinking, like I was when I started watching the launch of um, Hobby Maker, I was, like, into, it was like die cutting. What's a die? Now, apparently this one, is this Crafter's Companion? Produced, produced by mm -hmm. your very good self. All about di die cutting, yes. Oh. I didn't know about this site. I knew we were doing something. I didn't know it was up and running. Oh, that's oh, why. Well, that's why. Right. I didn't know either. So that only launched, launched last week. Oh, that's good. So where, how do we get Thank to you. it then? Hobby Maker, at least that new, we don't even know as presenters and guests. <laughs> uh, so go on to Hobby Maker. And there you go. He's, he's, he's wiggling his mouse at you. There's your HM hub, Hobby Maker hub. Look at that. Oh, but, and that will grow and grow it and will. grow. Mm. Yeah, yep. adding to that that's every amazing. week. Yeah, that's amazing. Really? So another way, another place to go. A hobby maker are just brilliant. I'm thinking of those all inspirational ideas that we need to sort of set us up. And it's the one thing I love about our company and lots of the craft brands is everyone offers education after you've bought something. Exactly. It's They're not, not like your high end. Absolutely. Dry, I used to do that, Zena. When years ago, I used to buy something, and because someone would make it look so good, you'd look at a card like this and think, "Wow." Yeah. I, you know, she made it looks so easy uh, how can I do it so you get home get the dye think oh what does she do exactly and you could never go and watch anything there was never anything it wasn't there. there was it no not at you'd all you'd have to pay because you can go to workshops and things obviously covid put pay we were all talking about this earlier put we used to run workshops on jewelry maker uh, put pay to a lot of that but again you know to actually pay for the for the guests and mm -hmm. the demonstrator and to pay for the hire of the room and then normally tea and coffee and everything else and the car parking You'd be lucky to get any change out of 100 quid. Absolutely, yeah. So when you actually put into context the cost of the items, like the dies there, mm -hmm. less than 100 pounds for all six reusable, reusable, reusable. They yeah. are not um, your consumables. You bought them, you look after them, you've got them for life, okay? On pre, on, we also split the pay for you, as Andy's just done, so that you can, it's not as painful, let's face it, and you can budget, you can budget. Um, it's just incredible. Thank you so much, lovely girl. Thank you. What I have done is not only do you, are you able to watch tutorials on Crafters Companion. <coughs> sorry, I've got a frog in my throat. So sorry. On Hobby Maker, we've got the hub. But then also, you've got the, uh, Crafters Companion and other brands design magazines for you. Pages and pages and pages of inspiration uh, and, um, and, and projects, full projects. I mean... It's just wonderful. And then on top of all of that, for the same money, they've got an entire design team. Can't wait, actually falling over themselves to design new cards from people like Debbie and um, Jane. We've got Bianca. Bianca's had a lovely time. Uh, uh, Debbie's in there as well. Debbie Clough. Uh, is it uh, Alison Jane Green uh, as well? Absolutely showing you how to use these frames launched today so differently. Another three Christmas dies 
if you want the three Christmas dies, which I will just make sure you can... S is it the top row? Well, you're quite right, Dan. <laughs> it's like... Do you know? It's like the ones at the top, love. So here, and when we're talking about the amount of metal in each of these dies, it's very considerable, isn't it? But like, like, Debbie, like Debbie's just said, we've barely talked about this because we, we had to cook in with a lot of... Um, a lot of uh, information, a lot of opportunities to just basically buy something on the show today and get a whole goodie bag for six of you from uh, American Crafts that are launching on Hobby Maker this um, this month. Very exciting. And the pin badge. Now, just quick, quickly on the limited edition pin badge, Andy. Have you got any left? Okay, less than sixty, closer to fifty. We had a thousand on Friday. There aren't been any made any more made in that teal Let, coming up to 50 oh thank you oh so it's just bought me a glass of water thank you. a bottle of water thank you have you just got that out have you just got that, that out the vending machine if you have i'll give you the nine quid later <laughs> he's, he's, pence, and he's, he's a good lad alex so now oh but have you got that that butterfly one again butterfly Oh, I'll, I'll tell you what. Sorry, it's here. This is the butterfly one. Oh, the board you probably meant. Yeah. Look. Oh, the board. That's yes. what I, sorry, darling. <laughs> look, look. So when this cuts out, the butterflies, they've just landed and settled on I your know. Brain, aren't they? Beautiful, aren't they? Can you imagine even trying to... I don't know about you. I couldn't draw that, could you? Uh, not draw or cut out. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is absolutely beautiful. It's a fancy frame die. And that's Bianca, and she's done that beautifully. Look, hello. We could send that to Lionel Richie, couldn't we? <laughs> hey? Or Adele, yeah. Oh, yeah, Adele, yeah, as well. 39.99. Now, this doesn't get you just the butterflies. Oh, no, no, no. It gets you all these designs as well. So that one there, and just, oh, look at this. So somebody's just had a little baby. Look at this. <laughs> Wouldn't that be lovely? But it's like, it's my brother's nephew. Now, my brother had a little boy last year yeah. in November, and he's one in November, but of course, Aww. when he was a month old, he hadn't got it, yeah, no idea. So this is like his proper first Christmas. Yeah. What a lovely, mm. inexpensive, if you don't mind me saying, yep. gift that, that I could make for my brother and, he, and his fiance as a little family photo. Oh, absolutely. And it doesn't mm. cost you much either. No, not at all. Look, Handmade really gifts things are, are tight. so much better. Yeah. yeah, and that puts a lot of thought in there. You can't, I think a thoughtful gift, regardless of how much it has actually cost you, it can be very inexpensive, relatively inexpensive or very expensive, but as long as it's personal to the recipient, so important. And then this one here, the floral one, if you want to get them all together, which is the ba -ba 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 -ba, this one. All together, all three of them. Are you going down to $39.99 again? Oh, come on, come on, Zena. <laughs> What's nice though, it does show you landscape portrait, whichever way round you put them, they look still look beautiful. Do you know, they look good upside down, which is a good, good job as well, isn't it? <laughs> My director said, are you all right? <laughs> So that's a lot of metal and one pass through. So the thing is, we were talking about, you know, we keep everybody's going on and on and on about utility bills. One pass through makes it more affordable card making as well. Mm, absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. And just showing you this again, straight through your die cutting machine. It can be any die cutting machine. I know we had the fantastic deal on um, Crafters Companions' amazing Gemini die cutting machine last week. We've got the remnants of uh, Gemporia's die cutting machine. Um, on, on offer today for the last time as well. But even the snowflakes have just fallen, haven't they? Yep, They're absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You know, these frames, can, can, you, can, you, can you put sort of glitter and things on? Oh, anything, mm. anything at all. Um, you could run a whole one of these dies through an adhesive sheet. So place your adhesive sheet. We do double-sided adhesive sheets. So place the adhesive sheet onto, say, your um, a, a texture cardstock. Uh, take the back, uh, die cut it, then take that, peel the backing off. It makes the whole front of it sticky. And then you can put your gilding waxes on, you can put oh. your gilding flakes on, you can put your glitters on. Oh. So all of those. 
those would uh, really lend themselves to Debbie, that. I, I got introduced to Gilding Flakes last week. Oh, did you? They're amazing, aren't they? <laughs> I think my favourite item I've seen so far. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, want... they're a bit addictive. <laughs> just a bit. While Debbie's just getting ready for the next demo, can I just show you this? Um, this incredible shaker card look. With Father Christmas behind, look. Look, look it out the snow. Yeah, isn't that lovely? <laughs> just wanted to show you that. Designed um, by Leanne. So I just wanted to show you that as well. Right, what can we see next? Yeah, definitely. Right, I'm going to cut a few of these, but I don't need to cut them all because I know you've seen me cut it. But I'm going to cut it out of that beautiful um, textured cardstock again, just so you know. Beautiful one. I'm going to then just run that through. So pop that onto here and then just run that through. What I want to show you this time, now I have cut it again in the navy and in the white. Uh, we're gonna show how we can make them into those beautiful, we want to send a nice card to someone as a photo frame. Yeah. So we're gonna do that, but also what I want to show is with lots of these, how easy it is, the snippability of them. Ooh. So not only do these uh, count as a frame, they're also beautiful dies in their own right, especially with the designs on the edges. When you think you get that beautiful bow design. So I'm gonna pop that onto the navy so you can see it. Mm -hmm. And all I'm gonna do is just bring my little snips in and we're just gonna cut around this piece here. And I haven't okay. got my glasses on, which is not good, but <laughs> we will just cut very quickly around that piece. And then I'm just gonna cut into this one, creating that petal at the side, just like so. And look at that, we've made now a topper for our card. Oh. So all of them will do that. There's that snippability to create. So if you just want a photo corner, not a full frame, or you've got a four by six photo, not ah. a five by seven. Because so customise it as well. Yes, yeah, so the other thing you could do, you can actually snip the frame. So if you just want to cut into your frame here and here, oh. you could then cut it. If we'd done it and left that one on, you could then add these in to create different sizes of frames. So I could then pop that across there, I haven't snipped that enough, but snip it again here, or you can just create more florals, so you can create smaller frames. So the snippability in these yeah. is incredible. Can I ask, because I've yep. not done a scrapbooking show yet, would that, would not, would that not be good for scrapbooking, that yes. where you've cut it perfect, out? absolutely perfect. Yeah. And what it also means is that you can then use them for um, different places on your scrapbooking. You can place them um, on your smaller photos, bigger ones, yeah. uh, frame them behind, frame them in front there's lots of things that you can do with them yes. okay brilliant the other thing is and I haven't um, haven't shown you as well if I was to cut that again in this die it would create I'm gonna do it rather than uh, yeah. just say it so let's just cut this one out oh no I don't need to I've got one already oh, so brilliant. I cut the blue one didn't I and I've got a, a white frame this will then paper piece back in so you can paper piece this back into that part there and you get a completely then different look oh yeah so that paper piece is inside because that will then come into here so you can do so many and different you can things. really contrast with oh absolutely and, yeah and it's a card if you're thing. making a wedding yeah. card for somebody you could do the colors of their wedding so you could oh. have if they're doing it in pink and gold you could have your gold mirror card in the middle and your pink That's around nice the edges idea, yeah. yeah so doing all sorts like that so we're going to use those cut out pieces so i'm just taking that white piece away and we're going to use these two now I've just created so this card um, as you know it's called yeah. a stepper card okay so a stepper card is anything that has a stepper so this is what we would call a side stepper you get like a, a double stepper or a center stepper where you can get them on each side okay so I've just created a side stepper and then we're going to uh, put our cardstock on the front so can I just ask if I so you wouldn't use a dotty one there, you'd use the... the yeah, straight one, yes. Right. I would never, unless I'd run out of tape, but I wouldn't like to use my dotty tape pen on anything else other than dies. Right. So when you, well, I mean, when you look at this level, in fact, I think we could test this. So let me just, okay. I do love to, to show. If I was to put this straight one, so yeah. this is a straight one, and I went across here, and then I use my dotty one across there, if I turn that round, let's see if you can pick that up. I think we probably can. Can you see oh, all yeah. the oh. there? Can you see that stringy bit? And then below, I've put the dots. You can't see anything. 
Oh, it's like you put a big strip of sellotape behind, The dot one's it? still stuck, because that's the top one, is oh. where, you're, yeah. So that's the Thank difference. You. When you've got a really tiny die cut, that's the best thing you could ever use. It's mm. amazing, yeah, absolutely amazing. Just quickly, just keeping you updated on the percentages wise, we're over 15% of the stock has already, uh, has already gone. Uh, a lot of people still waiting to check out there as well. So good luck on that one. It's a brilliant buy. And I think you will be surprised just how much usage you get out of these. And don't forget as well, we do have the split pay so that you can get all of those six home for £25.66 today. And just, just in a moment as well, we still have the pastel textured card to come as well. All right. Right, so I'm going to bring in a photo of um, uh, of uh, my recent trip. So I've just been to Paris not oh, long ago. Have you? So yeah, and I just printed this was one of my favourite pictures. Look at the sky. It's because of the sky. That's why I had to bring this one. Um, oh, oh, you look uh, lovely. Who's the think. very handsome man? Uh, that's on the my street? partner. Oh, which your partner? Yes, you do know him partner. then. I do know him. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't just pick him up in Paris. <laughs> Although it was quite easy to pick up a nice French man, I think, in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name, by the way? Al. Al. Hello, yes. Al. 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 Al Alastair. You can, Alistair, you can call him out. Actually, funny enough, the first story Al told me when I met him was a story of him meeting. Um, who sang, sings that song? Paul Simon. Yeah. Of meeting Paul Simon when he was in America. So the whole story is true. Up until him saying um, that he wrote the song about him. Oh, oh yeah, that's not... Well, do you know, saying that... But it's very believable. Very believable story. You know our producer, Laura? Yeah. I'm sure it's Laura that's really good friends with Paul Simon's daughter. Really? Yeah. I'm sure if you speak oh. to Laura when she's in this week, wow. she's friends with his daughter. Anyway. That's amazing. Well, I'd add that in. Right, so what we're doing on here, I've put my picture slightly at a wonky angle, and then we're going to do some differences. So I'm going to first of all put my main picture into here. I'm not worried about it fitting my picture exactly. Okay. So we're just going to pop that down. Yeah. Then I'm going to go in with the white one. So we're going to pop the white one onto here. So this is just creating dimension. It's creating just um, lots of depth in our card. Uh, and it's just creating even more framing around that frame. And then I'm going to go slightly again on a different angle. So we're going to go slightly Ooh, round. Quirky. So like so. These frames are fabulous. I know, how I might see it. And then you get these sort of different jaunty yeah. angles. And then what we have got, we've then got our dies as well. Now, I am going to use, I'm going to bring in one of my other favourite implements is our um, blending tools. Now, the blending tools, when you're using any of our uh, inks, I'm just trying, I've got, uh, what have I got here? Let's use this one here. Uh, don't be frightened to add ink to the edges. So all I'm going to do is go round. I'm using the round one. We do a square one. Do and you? all I'm going to do, what's that? I didn't know you did a square one. Yes, just it is square. Well, it's oblong. It's called square, but it's, I would say it's an oblong. <laughs> or people always tell me it's a funny word to say oblong because most people say rectangle. rectangle yeah. <laughs> but I've I always said oblong. oblong. Well, yeah. <laughs> Although we did a show here once on Jewelry Maker and the marketeers had put in, it's a long square. You can't have a long square. It's a square <laughs> long it square, is. yeah. So they're class of square. But look at that, the difference. Just oh, by adding yeah. a little bit of ink to those edges, they just look amazing. Uh, we've got some inks on the show today as well. So have a look at those because they are amazing. Could I just add in just really quickly? And, mm -hmm. and you, with those with those lovely blending tools, yep. well, you might know it as a dauber, you know. Uh, yep. But you think about the inks. Now, if you were to come in today and you thought, I oh, just want the limited edition Hobby Maker pin. £3.49. Mm -hmm. If you then had to pay the full £3.95 postage, you'd feel a bit aggrieved because you're paying more for the postage than for the item. Very true. But this is why when you get all these little odds and what's it's for £3.99, £3.49, load them all in on the same day that you've paid your post and packaging. See, so that's saying you don't buy every day, which I know most of you do. Guilty as charged. But that then means that you load all the sort of more inexpensive items because mm -hmm. the post and packaging you've paid... And also, don't forget tomorrow, six of you will win a goodie bag as supplied by the incredible American oh, crafts that are coming to Hobby Maker this month. Sorry to interrupt. It's not bad. No, not at all. I'm nearly finished. So I've put on my uh, little roses at the side there. And then all I've done is I've done myself a little tag with love at the side. Oh. 
which we're just going to put Does that mean you're telling there. everybody that you love him? I do love mm. him lots. <laughs> and there you go. So nice quick card, but one that you can frame and keep for ages or send to someone. Mm. So, uh, also, yeah. So what there you a go. lovely memory. Yes, totally. And that's what you want to create, isn't exactly. it, Zina? We all have uh, photographs on social media. And Now's the time to, to print them, them out, get them in your photographs, yeah. put, put them in your scrapbooking yeah. albums, create something, a uh, centrepiece on your coffee table where you can flip through and have them beautifully framed on your so everyone can see them so uh, yeah these dies are amazing you know what you could do is what you could make a, you could do a, a flickable a little um, flip book and flip and, album and or a, a ca make people a calendar oh that's a good Brilliant. idea oh yes yeah, a like calendar. a christmas calendar or oh yes. oh oh sorry thank you <laughs> sorry i love really this just really quickly right so so you have all the flowers and they've got perhaps like a different birthday in may and you do it with a flower and you mm. this that and the next thing and then it goes into the winter months and you use the snowflake frame yes. and, and then someone's getting married or their anniversary you put the, the bell, bell frame love that. oh mm. on. <laughs> I'm so excited when I make up some <laughs> You lot do it all the time. Um, right then, so um, the frames, let me just re talk it back to you. I know we've got to do that. Don't worry, it is coming. So, all six, the three everyday reusable metal die frames with all those beautiful floral designs and the butterflies and your three Christmas dies with the uh, beautiful uh, snowflakes, with the bells and the bows and the fabulous holly. Those are the three designs. All of them with that incredible amount of one pass through metal die launched today for £76.99. And we then added in, thanks to our lovely uh, sales manager, just before he heads off to a very important meeting, um, on split pay, three way split pay. So you can uh, get all of those home for £25.66 today. Well, in the time for your post to get there. Yeah. Um, shall I say, no, what I did just pop in the front here as well, just to show you in action, is some of the, floor, some of the floral uh, frames, just to give you an idea, and the butterflies. So if you look at this one, you can also buy them as a set of three for £39.99, if you prefer that. The flourish, the roses, and the butterflies. Again, lots of you getting these. It's lovely with the paper piecing, isn't it? And that's what you want, the, um, the release hold. Is it called release hold? Release, release. hold and release. Hold, and, hold release. and release. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking get it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> do you know, I could do an Olympic medal of the wrong way around. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's really still the good. same word, so we're all right. <laughs> You're so kind. You're too kind, but thank you. Everybody's like, she's a bit weird. <laughs> 39.99. So that's the, the flourish, the roses and the butterflies. So the Christmas one. I mean, you know what I just said about weddings and things? Let me just show you this. Look, look, look to the happy couple. Somebody having a winter wedding. 20% of the of the Christmas the Chris, the Christmas is, is, is winning at the minute. Just it's just edging in there. But here's your bows, here's your bells. Here's your beautiful, um, and come on you, your holly. Come on, stand up, thank you, come on. Um, again, you've got photos in there as well. Could be somebody's first Christmas. There you go. And so this is the three dies. You get the, the bells, the bows, the holly. Have I, got a, have I got an example of everything? Oh no, let's get me the holly out for you, my lovelies. Can't see from behind. Hang on, here we go, hang on. So there's your holly. Thank you, everybody. All your amazing designers at Crafters Companion as well. You never let us down. Thank you so much. The unsung heroes of this, uh, this channel showing you just some ideas. And the lovely thing is you can watch these shows back. Uh, 39 .99. No, they're not on split pay. Oh, he's got a very good point. He's got a very good point. So... If you're thinking, oh, I like both, but I haven't got, I, have, I, I can't get it all. I haven't got £76.99. Don't do this to me, hobby maker, crafter's companion, please. It's just not fair. Well, £76.99 for £25.6. Say that again to me, Andy, because you've just lost me there slightly. Yeah. Oh, I'm with you. Thank you. Penny dropped. <laughs> so like you said, if you're thinking actually... I can only stretch to three, right? 
Instead of paying $39.99 today, what you could do is get both sets, because you can't choose, for less than the cost of the three, in that it, thank you, Andy, very beautifully put, just didn't drop. Uh, £25.66, instead of £39.99, you could get all three, pay that again next month, and then the month after. And somebody said to me the other day, they went, does that mean you've got to wait three months for it all? I went, no, you get it all mm -hmm. in one go. They went, do you? So that's the thing, people ask that a lot, and you think, because yep. we all know that you get it straight away, but some people are like, I don't want to wait three months for me, guys. I want them now. Well, exactly. Who can walk into a shop and say, I'm only going to give you a quarter of that exactly. and then I'll, I'll pay you next month. They'll be like, uh, no, we want the full amount. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, now, we're not going anywhere because when we saw what Debbie and Crafters Companion had bought to the show this afternoon and deciding if we went for a break, there wasn't a cat in what's it chance that we were going to squeeze it all in. So um, Andy had to ask the question, can you ladies manage to go through? I went, we both said, yes, we're not quite at that stage yet. Andy <laughs> said, Thank you. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> yes. Now, earlier on, we had the lovely bright textured mm -hmm. card, um, yes. didn't we? Let me show you the pastel. Because I think especially when we're talking about the flowers and the shadowing. <laughs> uh, and the butterflies I will learn this terminology I promise look at these I think the I like bright but you've still got you've got like a bright pastel does that make sense yes yeah well they both match so if you was to go for both of them yep. the lights would then go into that next tone the darker tone of them which is amazing yeah they're so good so each one of the lighter colours has a, then a darker one. Ah. So, uh, yeah, apart from the red, you sort of get a darker red in there, which is great for Christmas because yeah. you've got your darker reds, your greens in there, uh, but you've also got your pinks that match, your lilacs, your purples. So that shadowing you've just been showing yes. us, that's going to be lovely oh, be to amazing. get both. Yeah, absolutely. So the, this one we had earlier, was it the same price, Andy? 15.99 and they're 12 by 12 inch they're whoppers mm -hmm. aren't they yeah they are they're really good weight as well so they're 230 gsm uh, so which is brilliant for construction so your box making uh, they're a brilliant one just and they emboss lovely you can distress the edges perfectly right. they're a great die cut weight as well so matte and layering everything anything you can think of that you want to do with your cardstock these will do it for you they're beautiful amazing. colors so 12 by 12, there you go. I mean, I could flick the... How many do you, you get? A lot of each one, don't you? Um, almost half the stock on pre-order has gone. That's why it is really handy to have that pre-order option because we all have busy lives. I know it's sort of, uh, you know, it's a lot of kids... Well, a lot of people have got kids or grandkids or godchildren or neighbours or nephews or nieces that have gone to school. I rang my uh, today. My, my neighbour's little girl has gone to a new school today right between the years. So it's a big ask and um, she's doing very well, thankfully. So I was worried about her. But there's a lot going on today. So that's why you can make the most of pre-order. Oh, no. Don't wait for everything to come on. Grab it and then go back and re-watch the show later with a cup of tea when you put your feet up. Yeah, definitely. My little granddaughter went to school today. Did she? How old yeah. is she? Oh, she's seven, but she went back into year three. I mean, wow, where does that you do go? Not like you can have a great... You... I've got two granddaughters and one grandson. Yes. Yes. Oh, Andy's just jealous because he hasn't got Numsy. <laughs> Oh, I love them to bits. I'm, I'm the naughty nanny. Oh, how well, did we not know that? <laughs> the naughty nanny. <laughs> just imagine can you would get away with everything. And do you know what? My Ruby is such a good girl. Oh, so, like, I'll go and pick her up from school and I'll say, Ruby, she want to go to McDonald's? And she'll go, Mummy did say that I mustn't have McDonald's this week because I have one at the weekend. But yes, please, And nanny. I just go, it's fine. I'll tell Mummy that <laughs> Nanny said you can't I'll take go. <laughs> <laughs> right, what are you making now, sweet pea? Right, so... So I'm cutting, we haven't done a, a Christmas one, so let's start with the Christmas one. Okay. Uh, and we're going to bring in that snowflake and just show you how beautiful this one is. Uh, it's such a gorgeous design. And again, if the snippability, you've got three separate snowflakes oh, in there if you wanted it. Let me just bring that round onto a blank piece of card. Look at the detail in those snowflakes. Absolutely wow. incredible. Think of all the different mirror cards that you've got in your stash, as well as any of your other cardstock how much you can be cutting. I love this one because it's got that sort of really faint sort of deckled edge around the mm. side. 
side. Mm. So it's really got texture in it, looks amazing. Um, and also what I love about Christmas makes is that we always change our deco, decor at Christmas. Yeah. So you could actually take some of your photo frames off the wall and add these into them yeah. just for the Christmas period or the winter period. Yeah, my friend Yvette does a different colourway every yes. year. Yeah, absolutely. Decorations. Yeah, totally. Now, I wanted to do something a little bit different. So um, I've just stamped onto some uh, nice paper um, cardstock mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to pop that just onto the front and I've just done, uh, I think it's a six by eight. Uh, it's a, a six and a half, a eight and a half by six inch cardstock. So I've done it big enough so I can fit this onto it and still have a nice rim around. So I'm just going to put my cardstock into place and then what I want to do, I want to create this like the one you were looking at, Zia, yeah. as a shaker card. Oh, okay, yeah. I love shaker cards. Um, right, I'm probably the one out of all the team that I'm, I'm always making them. I love them. Oh, I just, yeah. Yeah, I just, I love an element of um, sort of kinetic. So anything that moves, yeah. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. But what I want to create, um, because my frame, uh, my bits would fall through, I'm going to use a piece of acetate. So I've just got some construction acetate mm -hmm. and we're going to first of all stick this onto the back. Now, because it is acetate and I've got only this thin border, what I do want to use, and I'm hoping, I don't, I'm saying that and I don't think I've brought it out with me. Uh, I was going to use my red liner tape, but as mm. I haven't, I'm just going to go straight to my dotty one again. Okay. So let's... But you'd uh, recommend the red liner tape? Uh, absolutely, yes. Okay. Especially if you're attaching acetate, uh, especially if you're attaching anything like sequins, glitter, mm. um, because you don't want it to fall out. No. Um, so yeah, I would uh, definitely recommend that. But what I am going to do... Our lovely Joe's flinging some red tape at you, my lovely. Oh, look. Oh, Joe, you're <laughs> lovely. Joe's on. Joe's Thank from, you, Joe. <laughs> Joe's on at uh, three o'clock and she's just oh, very she, kindly. Um, uh, very, very kindly uh, from that. Uh, and I know you've been very kind, Joe, but it's too big. We do a three millimetre ah. red liner tape. So although red liner tape's great, my Thank my you, no, frame Gia. is small. See, look, I mean, I'm not a very good person, am I? I'm literally saying yours is no good, Joe. <laughs> Do you know what? That's a very good point as to why there are different gauges. Because when yes. you look on our website, absolutely, and against all the different brands, and you yep. think, why would you possibly ever need mm -hmm. that many different double-sided tapes and sizes of foam pads? And you know that, and a one mil can make all the difference. Yeah, we do do the thicker yeah. ones as well, so they are handy. That size Joe just gave me is brilliant. I think that's a six mil, so we do a three mil, six mil, and a twelve millimeter. Okay. So we do do them in all sizes, and yes, that does show you. Um, why, why we have so them? many different ones. What I would always say is if you are sticking anything by any uh, tape or glue, just burnish the back down. What that does, it's making sure that all those dots I've put on there, all the red liner tape goes right into there. And it also means, do you know sometimes where if you've had a card where someone's made it, you put it over the radiator and it starts, bits start falling oh, yeah. off because the heat gets up between it because you've not sealed that. Ah. If you seal it and make sure you burnish it, the heat can't get anywhere and it won't come away so it's a really good tip to burnish on the top and that burnisher do you get that as i can't recall do you get that as part of your score master board uh yes you get one in the score master. you do yes you Brilliant. do okay. yes absolutely yeah. you've got an amazing memory zina you, sometimes like yes and you remember everything not when i go up the stairs i don't <laughs> the it evaporates <laughs> go upstairs <laughs> the memory's gone yeah it's like what did i come up here for i'm no, terrible for did. that Oh, thank you. Though. And you have yeah. to go and, and really trace you to... your steps, don't you? You <laughs> go back to where you started. I, I sat on the landing the other day and I looked at the dog and I said, Ivy, I am not going downstairs until it comes back to me. I was there for about an hour and a half. <laughs> I was determined. <laughs> uh, Alex has got no excuse. How old are you, Alex? Alex? very young. Producer? Oh, 32. Very he said young. he just has to do something else until it comes back to him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry. Right, now, just a little tip here as well. Um, I'm not going to the edges because I don't want to lose my shaker element. So what I'm going to do is come round onto this bit. You won't see it when it's on your cars, so don't worry, um, unless you look really closely, but you haven't got to worry. The other piece you want to do is to make sure that your gaps 
fit. So I can see tiny little bit there, so I would have been more careful normally, mm. but as we're on TV, I'm not too worried about um, not doing it spot on. I love the way you bend it, because I, oh, I would never have thought to do that. I'd, I'd keep cutting it and attaching it, and you just bend it round. Oh, just really? bend it round, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's the best way to do it. If ever you've got any sort of shaker design, um, yeah, our shaker foam is yeah. very good, very good for that. Now, I always take my shaker foam off, or the, co the covering off, before I do anything mm -hmm. uh, because I'm a bit of a klutz so I'm always likely to just knock whatever I've got trying to get it off afterwards so I like to do it first mm -hmm. and then all we're going to do is we're going to hover this sort of where my midsection is mm. so just over the top here so I know roughly where my sequins are going to go so I've got a little bag of sequins oh stop it and we're just going to pop those right into the centre just going to, uh, yeah, I like to fill it. So Alex has gone, just a couple. Did you? I normally put more, Alex. In my finished sample, I've got loads more than this. No half measures with you, lady. Not at all, not at all. <laughs> if you're going to do it, come on. You're going to glitter. Let's if go you're going to it, go Yeah, big. absolutely. And then we're just going to place that oh, right funny. into that centre there. And then when we go to shift it, you've got all your shaker element. And then you've got, what I love about filling it, especially when you put different sentiments in it, people have to sort of move it move around it to, get the, to, to get then the... see where your where your element oh, is. Uh, and there we go. There's our uh, shaker card um, snowflake one. Do you know, those frames, I think, are going to transform mm, absolutely. your card making all year And that is, is actually a very simple card to do. Very simple, but, but the, it looks beautiful. But you know that, mm -hmm. and anybody that's that makes their own cards with all this, because I'm only just entering this, it's like coming into Aladdin's cave. Joe, <laughs> and that's Crafty was laughing, <laughs> and Debbie Early, because every time they said something, I was like, what? 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 And they're like, you're, it's lovely, but it's so funny because, because of course, everything I'm seeing is brand new. I love you, Zena, so oh. much because you're like this sponge that just absorbs I'm... all this crafty goodness. And, <laughs> and you're just how I used it. to be when I was learning about it. And, and actually, to still an extent, I'm still a little bit yeah. like that. Jo was showing me what she has on later with the, 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 the wreath. I was like, wow, they're amazing. Yeah, so we, it's, it's just, just, it never ends and it's, it's an enjoyable hobby. Well, do you so. know what as well? Um, they were talking the other day that finally GPs are now being allowed to actually, because after, not after, because we're still living with it, we, we always will, but with COVID and how traumatic and how horrendous it was initially, it's still horrendous, but we're learning to live with it, aren't we? And yep. we're having to. Um, but they can now prescribe for things like mindfulness and anxiety and depression and all sorts of things that have affect us all, uh, or, you know, somebody that we know, uh, walking and cycling. I honestly feel like camping at every GP and saying, please, will you also prescribe crafting? Crafting. Please. Mm. Because honestly, I've just been off six months at home poorly if, uh, with, my, with my own thoughts, mm. with my lovely little dog that got me through. But honestly, I, I wish, and I mean this honestly hand yep. on heart, if I'd have had Hobby Maker then, yeah. I think I'd have been back to work a lot quicker. Yes. I, yeah. I really do mean that. So actually, for somebody that's been there, and we've all had our dark times and whatever, having something like this can transform and get oh, you back on your feet. I genuinely I really believe, believe it changes that. lives. I totally, yeah. and honestly, I, I was saying to the girls earlier, it, it, obviously not about me, but I was just saying, just that you understand where this comes from as well, is that I was sitting at home, uh, our jewellery maker channel changed, you know, my team dispersed to the morning show, so I felt I'd got nothing to come back to. And then I had to come back to a whole new set of guests, a whole new medium and mediums. And I was frightened to death. And do you know what? The, and I said to the girls earlier, didn't I? And I and quote me, I said, I, I have never been happier on air. Never had such an amazing... I mean, all of our teams and our guests are incredible, but... What a magical, wonderful world this is. Oh, it is. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And oh. the more you get involved with it, the people that follow you, yeah. are, honestly, my love goes out to everybody that likes my page or yeah. follows us. And, and it, yeah, it's no, lovely. It's just lovely, isn't it? Now, Margot is one of our jewellery makers. 
Margot is also, and I've been the very lucky, lucky recipient of some of Margot's handmade cards. She's brilliant. She is. Watching someone new lets you see things through different eyes and it's enlightening. Mm -hmm. Fab, that's a nice way to put it, Margot. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, isn't that, nice? that is very true as well, isn't it? Well, yeah. I think sometimes you forget, don't you? You forget. You take it, you're so used to it. You know, it's like the other day, uh, th this morning. Got, I'm sorry, I'm waffling on, but this morning I was on air with um, with our lovely uh, Natalie. Uh, and Natalie, um, we were talking about the magazine. You know, you yep. had your magazine last yes, week yeah, with yeah, Anne-Marie. Yeah, already do one, yeah. Oh, and yours, we were on with Anne-Marie last week. Yeah. We still don't think Anne-Marie uh, and, and Crafter's Companion had the pricing right, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> and it, it practically all sold out. <laughs> and at some point, our channel manager said, oh, to justify the price, I said, no. Nah, there is no, you can't justify this price. There's no need to. No need to, yeah. It was mm -hmm. phenomenal, yeah. that deal on Crafters Companion last week on it's that magazine. It's the inspiration it offers, isn't it? And, yeah. and downloadable, repeatable, printable. Yeah. Yeah, so all your consumables, you can have time and time again. <laughs> Sorry, I still haven't got over it. <laughs> Honestly, I was at lunch with my friend yesterday, to be talking to my friend's husband, going on and on and on about card making. It was like Zane. I went, yeah, but seriously. I have a friend like that, and she always says, Debbie, I love you to bits, but I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, shut up. No. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Margot. That's a lovely thing to say. So, just to reiterate, all six dies on a three-way split pay, the best way to buy them if you'd like all three, and why wouldn't you? constantly reusable and we've got so many can i just congratulate rosemary and joan and violet they've just bought through our wonderful call center sylvia's just bought margaret now just think margaret Teresa, florence Mar uh, marie raymond patricia janice crafters coming in at me left right and center where you don't put your name to it probably trying to buy discreetly mary <laughs> kate suzanne all of you coming in there just just remember as well every single one of you and any one of you that has purchased today one thing, even if it's just the one pin badge at £3.49, have a look and see if we've done anything lower than £3.49. You can come in and buy the cheapest thing you want, most affordable thing you want, and also you then get put into the drawer. Six of you will be chosen at random to receive the American Crafts goodie bag. They're joining us this month. So all you need to do to be in with a chance of winning, and we'll announce it tomorrow afternoon, just buy one thing. Now, I know that's difficult to buy one thing, but if you want to buy one thing, you can, because your post and packaging is once a day, but you might as well, you might as well, if you're paying the post and packaging, you might as well just shoe on it all in your basket. <laughs> buy them all a bit. So you can buy them in packs of three at 39.99, okay? So if you just want the Christmas collection, or if you, if you want the everyday collection, you can have it at 39.99. Or we have got them individually. So can I just check, Alex Love, are they 16.99 on their own? So could you, so what was 16.99 times six? Over a hundred pounds, isn't it? Over a hundred pounds. 101 pounds, right, okay, 101 pounds. 94, thank you, sweet pea. That means at 76.99, that's a big old, what, 35 pound saving? Tis it, tis, and, and those frames you are going to use and use and use and use. And it's on a three-way split pay as well. But we think about weddings, christenings. I was talking about funerals, I'm, I'm just gonna say it because when you have that photograph at the front, why not make it even more fabulous than a standard photo frame? Let's give that person, especially if they like the glitz and they like the glamour, you know, and you've got something that always accessorised, always flamboyant. Do you think what you can... How, how many different wonderful send-offs, entries into the world, exits from the world? Let's face it, it's going to happen to us all. Why not embrace it? Why not celebrate it with a wonderful frame? You know, and that's co costing you £76.99. Again, it might be that you share these with a friend. You buy all six, you might be in a crafting group, and then choose which one you all like the most each and share it. Just an idea. Yeah. We've got some, look, oh, we've got some nice messages coming in. Oh, oh thanks, that's nice. What they say? Um, 
Oh, my love to you, Zena. You'd make a great friend. Oh, don't you'll set me off. You'd make a great friend. Uh, hobby maker and card making is uh, helping me so much. Oh, that is brilliant, Collector in Worcestershire. Well, you can be, I'll be your friend, if you'll be my friend. Yeah. It was funny earlier, right? I said to Debbie, am I allowed to tell the story, Debbie, this morning, about when I asked you about Debbie? Yes. <laughs> so she was trying to be polite, but Debbie was sat there. And we were in this big production meeting. She's so lovely. And I said to Debbie, I said, do you prefer Debbie or Deb? And she went, well, my friends call me Deb. <laughs> and you're like, I'm not quite sure what to say to that. And then I went, mm. it so sounded you can call adorable. me Debbie. Yes, no, I know. It didn't come out right. I like, and I should have just said, everyone calls me Deb. <laughs> <laughs> so I very politely, poli politically went, well, I'll tell you what, when, when, I, when we're ready, <laughs> That's not what I'll call you Deb. <laughs> she didn't have to, she said, I didn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and like Andy, my sales manager, I've only known him a couple of months, and he said, he said, call me Zine. He said, do you mind? I said, call me what you like, I can't bother. <laughs> I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> when they first told me your name a few weeks ago, they said, just think of the princess warrior. <laughs> so, oh, I get that all the time. <laughs> uh, Michelle said, I... Totally agree with you both. Craft is my go-to pain relief. Yep. What a great way to put it, Michelle. When time gets gets when times get tough, I take myself into my little craft haven yep. and relax. And do you know what? No matter what's going on in the world, and it's a difficult time, isn't it, Michelle? And I know a lot of people deal with chronic pain and all sorts mm, of challenges absolutely. and mobility and you shut yourself away or you sit at your kitchen table or on in the in the lounge or wherever you may be. And you do that one thing that you're doing, whatever it may be, whatever label it is, n nothing else is going on, is there? It's, it, you don't hear anything else. There's something to focus on. You've got a result at the end of the day. You, you know, you're applying yourself, you're using your concentration, you're using your muscles, you're exercising, you're exercising your brain, and you're shutting off all this noise, aren't you? And it's noise, isn't it? Chatter. And uh, yeah, so I like that. Go to pain relief, Michelle. I mean, I hope you're not in pain very often, but yeah, I like that. It's a really nice way to put it. That's lovely. Oh, and very true. And you know what as well? Like, have you not noticed that like-minded people, every single solitary guest that I've had the pleasure of working with so far, these ladies included, everybody's so lovely. <laughs> I mean, genuinely yeah, do you lovely. know what, Zena? And I do always say this, and I've been, I've done store demonstrations, I've been to craft shows, yeah. I've been all over the country, and I've never, ever met a community like no. the crafting community. No. And I think the reason being is, is everything else is quite competitive. So everyone's yes. competing against each other. In the crafting world, no one's got to compete because it's you get inspiration for everybody. Even if you're a beginner crafter, the tools we have now make us an expert crafter yeah. uh, and if you are someone that is an expert crafter anyone anybody including me gets yeah. inspiration from those people as well so there's no competition no. which makes everyone a lovely community and do you know what i like as well right just in the last week or so we've had deals on crafters companion die cutting machine you gemini mm. and then we've had one on our own brand and then like for example you've just seen it in action you've just seen it happening there just seen debbie demoing Different brand, guest designer setting up. Second she sees that she hasn't got what she needs, she's straight over, do you want this? I don't know if people believe us, but we do have, <laughs> I've known Jo many, many years. And uh, yeah, and Isn't it's so lovely? nice that we see each other again at Hobby Maker. Uh, yeah, That's great. All, all brands, we're yeah. all good friends. And I really lovely. like it, because initially I was really scared to sort of say, can I mention this, can I mention that? But look at it, we're talking about the goodie bags to celebrate American Crafts coming to join. Oh, no, I was very uh, excited Maker. about that. I don't know, look, Joe's Joe's like... what, honestly, <laughs> you should have seen Jo this like... <laughs> And this is a pose, not posing, but different brands. And everybody's just celebrating that another wonderful crafting company mm. is joining the fold. Yeah. It's just, it's just, I've never known anything like it. <laughs> and I tell you what, it should be on the NHS. Yep, I agree. I, I, I feel that I've gone from there to there on, like if you've ever been up the Empire State Building in that lift, that's what Hobby Maker has done for me. Yeah. It's gone from there to... <laughs> And it's brilliant. <laughs> anyway, I'll stop waffling. I'm just, I think it's ace. I do. And, and I have to say as well, this crew, I know we're all feeling the love today, but they're so... I've just coughed, and Alex has just gone to the vending machine and got me a bottle of water. 
You didn't get it from the vending machine. You, the what point it, is, Alex, you got pond a outside. Of water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just the river over there. I went in the loo. <laughs> Anyway, do you know what did the trick? I don't care. <laughs> but it is, it's, it's, and, and you make it. The messages, the support, seeing your makes, um, it, it's a joy. Yeah. So there you go. I'll shut up now. You don't need to. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> my dad always sends me off to work. When I come stop at my dad's, he goes, don't work too hard. I said, it's not working. I know. We <laughs> always say that. We have to pretend we work hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's brilliant. Anyway, sorry, look at the time. Right. What are we doing next, Alex? <laughs> It'd be nice to you to shut up, to be honest, Eves. We can get something in. Yes, we've done the two pads. They're £15.99 each if you want to do the shadowing. Shall I do another demo and show yeah. the um, hold and release sheet? Oh, because yeah. I've been wanting to show that, yes, and we haven't done that yet. Yes, please. So yes. I've only got one sheet left, so I need to order some more. So there's no more in the building. Um, this is amazing. So anyone that's not seen it before and anybody that loves paper piecing. Right. Now, paper piecing is about taking some think away from your die car and putting it back in a different colour. Oh, okay. So that's what we class as paper piecing in the craft industry. Now what this sheet does, it is magic. I'm not even not even joking. Okay. It's magic. So if I peel it back, it almost has um it's got a sticky tacky. it's tacky, yes. So it's sort of you can pick it up so you can see I'm not holding on to it. So it will pick it up, but it's only tacky enough to hold your card into place. Now, um, so I want to, I'm going to do two pieces here just to show some difference. And what I'm going to do with my pieces, I'm going to just cut these completely in half. Oh no, it's no good because, apologies, I've just heard we've got no stock. So, um, you know what though? I'm not being rude. Sometimes, it, it, it's not always about us. Oh, obviously, we, we need to, 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 to be able to stay in business. We need to be able to sell you things, obviously, and you want to buy things. But sometimes it's about the education, so we're good with that. We will. We that. should have because it is on the show. So keep an eye on it because I'm sure it will get added. Uh, it obviously just isn't on today, but we definitely have got it in That's stock. It's so popular, though. It uh, sells yeah, out every absolutely. time it's on. So all you do. So what you can see, I took that um, layer off. I put my cardstock on top. And then you put your die on top of that. Now I'm using some of the texture cardstock. I'm Look, also just these pads. yes, Brilliant. and I'm also using uh, just a sheet of mirror cardstock. Now the reason I'm doing is because um, I'm using the holly one. So you can see I've got here. I've got my winter foliage one. I'm using. Mm -hmm. Now this is where it's magic. Look, Ooh. it takes it off. Nothing in the die, but it keeps it on the sheet, which is why it's called hold and release. Oh. So it's very clever, very, very clever. Now, if I pull back, um, let me pull back from the side here so you can see it. So as you pull back, so it doesn't stick it. This isn't glue, so right. it's not going to stick it. It's but stay there forever. it stays there until you take it away. So if I take that piece away, and actually, because what I want, I want my little leaves. So I'm oh. going to bring this in. This is quite a quick demo, but if I show you, I've got a picture. There's me with my daughter. Oh, what's your daughter's name? Poppy. Poppy. Yeah. Um, now, if you use your die, and I've got a die here, I've cut this out again to pop round the oh, side, lovely. just so that frames it. Just shows you how beautiful that was. I mean, that was a couple of years ago at Christmas. Um, Poppy, no, she's coming on the telly today. No, she's no. always on the telly. She did a, um, a video with me. We did a, um, a um, uh, on the Gemini, we did a, yeah, um, yeah she come and filmed with me for the like day. A promotional so video. I was, yeah, a promotional oh, video, that's brilliant. it. And I was crafting with her, so that was really nice. Uh, these pieces here, now, if I just take my pokey tool, now what you would have to do is just take your, um, I haven't got none on me, I didn't even bring glue, can you believe it, it's because I use my um, tape pens, but you would put a blob of glue in uh -huh. that centre and then you just pop that back in and it paper pieces oh, all the way around. So it stays well, on it? here, yes, it stays on there oh. until you paper piece 
all those pieces back in. And then I can go here, pick the one that I know is going to be my red berry, and then we can put the red berry well, in the centre. That's a nice idea. Yeah, so that's how, so that is very, oh. it's the wrong one, but never mind. So that's a really mindful thing to do. And if I bring in my finished one, if I've done my picture, oh. look how nice that all looks when it's all paper pieced back in. So it just looks incredible. So I've done that as a scrapbook page. So I'll put that away and I'm going to give that to my daughter. I normally do a scrapbook book page and then do give it you? to them um, so they can pop it in their albums uh, no, but that's a really nice you could do, couldn't you you know to... absolutely and actually if you haven't got the hold and release form you can still just cut them out into different pieces and paper piece them back in anyway which is what we used to do for paper piecing so it's just another different way of being able to add into that frame but you wouldn't have to do it. I'm just thinking as well so, again because I'm just thinking about because yeah. I've never made any of these things you know, like when you make your own boxes with your schoolmaster as well, yep. and you had like a lid or a gift box, yes. or somebody's getting married, or, or, or you want to make a corsage for mm -hmm. a prom night or something, yep. and you did that on the top of a box, you made your own box in mm. seconds, you did that. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think we're going to get to this demo because it's. I've got another one. So I did oh, waffle no, on. I'm so have. sorry. I did get a bit carried away, didn't I? Sorry. <laughs> we have got. So if I, yeah, I think we'll have time to do it. But this one I did. So similar sort of thing to what you were saying, where we've put this onto a box uh, and then just created that frame around it. My Alex is our producer. Alex, will we have time for that? Do you think? Yes, we'll have time to do that. Yes, oh, we'll you. have time. I could do this one next. Yes. Brilliant. Thank yeah, you. Absolutely. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so the pads that we're talking about in the brighter colours, if you want to do the shadowing and the pastel, it's all textured in those big 12 by 12 inch, 15.99 and 15.99. So if you think what we just saved you on the bundle of the dies, of the, of the metal dies in the floral and the Christmas, you, you know, that's the way you justify spending to yourself, don't you? Well, I've saved that, so I may as well have that. <laughs> Oh, another badges, the pins. Let me revisit the pins. Right then, my lovelies. Ooh, there we might had... be one left after. You never know. <laughs> you never know. There were a thousand, and this was launched to celebrate our half birthday. So this weekend basically is celebrating six months of Hobby Maker. And what a six months it's been. Thanks to you. Thanks to our amazing, amazing guests and our brands. Couldn't have done it without any single one of you. It's really important. So to celebrate, we launched on Friday with Sherilyn, I believe, this collectible limited edition Hobby Maker pin badge. Now, firstly, it's our branding. You can see in the top here in these colours. Round about here, you've got the teal. We've also got the purple for Crafter's Companion coming out. We'll have the bright pink. We'll have the red. Um, we'll have the uh, green. We'll have the yellow. All of our branding coming out. But what's important is, firstly, you will be one of only 1,000 people, assuming everybody's had one each. So worst case scenario, it's a little up to date. You know when you see a limited piece of artwork and then they have, you know, 300, you might have edition 375 of 750. It's always limited because that's where it keeps the value. So there's going to be 1,000 only. There is now over 950 gone. Once they're gone, they're not being reprinted. But, so when you want, if, first of all, if you want, and I know we all will, want the full collection of all colours, you've got to get this one. Okay, before they go on the black market, let's face it. Now the code, you're all going, what code? So this is what I think is really important. Not only are you going into that limited that limited sort of, you know, select VIP lounge for £3.49. On the back, we're going to put it out there. I can't give you the code because you'll get it when you, when you pay for it, my lovelies, quite frankly. There's a 20% off the day of your choice. Yeah? And we've got massive Christmas shows still to come. We've done lots of Christmas shows. We've got every kind of show. Um, you could get your £3.49 back in a heartbeat. And you will do. And then some. So think about the day that you buy. It might be a die cutting machine. You know, it might be one of the more expensive things that we do here at Jewelry Maker because it's going to transform your card making, box making, you'll see all this in action. Um, on the back, 20% off. Now, all we ask you to do is make sure you spent, you use that code once before the, before the end of this year. So for £3.49, you're getting 20% off. Let's let's say you spend £100 that day. Mm. That's a huge, huge re, uh, sort of uh, co uh, savings coming back at you for very little outlay. Absolutely. 
and you got the chance to, three pound forty nine of winning an American Crafts goodie bag tomorrow. Oh, they ain't just for that. <laughs> <laughs> and you got you know you want to you want to sing from the rooftops that you're a hobby maker. You got it there representing the brand. Now we've got an event coming up soon, haven't we? Is it in Kent? Create it in Kent, yes. Create it in Kent, there you go. You wear this with pride and they'll know you're a hobby maker and a crafter, won't they? Oh yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. And the thing is, if you're walking around randomly and you don't know who somebody is and then you see somebody else wearing that, you can actually strike up a conversation straight away. Oh, totally. Oh yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot, I'll tell you what, that's the best £3.49 I think you'll spend today. 20% off code on the back as well okay so good luck with that there are now less than 40 available is that alex yeah less than 40 available so yeah over 960 have gone congratulations that's still available yeah absolutely um i've got these here are we doing these as well yeah ink pads yeah. yes yeah they're brilliant they are so okay. they're great for inking the edges so like we did before with that round those flowers um adding them onto anything yeah they're okay. great ink pads so Alex, are we doing the inks as well? Yeah, so if we do the inks now as well, with your um, your blender tool. Yes. Did you add that earlier? Yeah, mm. yeah. You just choose which one you like the most. So um, I quite like the square ones, um, but they are amazing. Oh, have they gone again? They've gone? Yeah, for some reason, they've, they've, we can't play them at the moment, so I do <laughs> apologise. I'll tell you what, while we rectify that for you, apologies, the good news is, We'll get another demo from our Deb. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go to demo. So I'm going to use that butterfly one and show you how to do that box, which is super easy. What I love about this butterfly one is it's the one that has got the differences. So it's got three butterflies at the top and one at the bottom. I love that sort of bit of coordination, that yeah. balancing of them. These are all really snippable. So if you wanted to cut them out, you can do that as okay. well. Now, I've already cut one out of some pink Centura. So, you know, we're quite famous for our Centura Pearl. It's, oh, yeah. Which is just beautiful beautiful it cuts out like a dream and then I've got a piece of the green out of the I think this one's out of the pastel yes um, for our textured cardstock because it just cuts out beautifully and again the pearl paper for the um for the weddings oh so much so oh. be beautiful yeah our centura pearl we've been doing I think now for a, it's got to be 12 years I reckon um, and the reason we continue to do that is because it sells yeah. all the time so people love popular, it yeah. it's such good cardstock yeah I love uh, the Centura Pearl so once that goes through like I said earlier they literally are one pass wonders uh, they create straight away so all you need is a photograph and a frame and you've got it Great. you've got it straight away but obviously if you want to be more creative um, you've got that in these dies as well so now be careful when you're pulling these out because can you see this bit here yeah it's got just a small amount around the butterfly because um, that's how the butterflies wings come out so, so if put I your just fingers behind them, for some support yeah yeah uh, just to, just be careful as you're taking them out. Look how intricate Look. that is. Nice. I mean, it's so beautiful. It's like um, lace, isn't it, it is like lace, yeah. absolutely. Um, now, years ago, the only way that you could get a die or something cut like this is to have it laser cut. Um, and they used oh, to use a very expensive, yeah, very expensive. And I'm sure to this day, it's someone that thought, actually, there must be an easier way to get a cut like that yeah. without having to have it laser cut. So that is beautiful on its own. Then I'm going to bring in the pink one that we've done. So there's our pink one. So we've got our pink and our green. Mm -hmm. Let me take away all these workings. Pop that to the side. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be very good. I've got a little bit of um, uh, bin going on down here. We need mm -hmm. to get another bin, Zena. That's what I need to We ask. need another, another bin, bin, do we? No, no, no. I'm all right at the moment. I meant in gen generally when we come here, there's only a bin under one counter. So we'll put a request in for a new yes, bin. Yes, I want, to, I want a new bin. Okay. Yes. <laughs> right, now, what I have done is I've got my card here. Now, if you've got one of our scoreboards, you'll be able to make a box lid and a uh, base, box base, no problem 
on whatsoever. This is 10 and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And I've scored at uh, one inch all the way round. Mm -hmm. And then again, all I've done is took one of my nesting dies. So yeah. most people have got nesting dies. If you don't have a nesting what die. What is a nesting die for so, anybody that doesn't? Yes, so a nesting die is a shaped die. So it could be rectangle and you'd have maybe five and plus more dies that all go into each other. Fit within? Fit within. Okay, so, so staggered I, sizes. Staggered sizes, okay. exactly that. So they're called nesting dies because it means you've got your mat and layer so you can mat and layer them up. Put like a the, nest of tables. Exactly, yes. Ah. Uh, and so most crafters, if you haven't, just go onto the website. I'm sure Hobby Maker might do them. If not, just go on any website and just order a set of nesting dies. Yeah, we definitely have them here. Yeah, they definitely. would They would just do them. The other way to do it, you could actually use your die and just cut in between uh, with a craft knife. So that's another oh, way okay. of doing it. To do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Or you can just take a ruler and a craft knife and cut out an aperture because okay. that's all you're doing really. So whichever you're most aperture. comfortable. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Whatever you've, if you've not got a nesting die in your stash, I've got nesting dies. So I'm also going to use that construction acetate and we're just going to pop that on the inside as well. And this is just going to give our box some rigidity. So I'm not worried. It's not like we're making a shaker card, but I just want to put some acetate there and that way we make a usable box. Okay. Oh, I've put that right in the wrong place then. It's hard to see the um, score lines when yeah. you are placing that down. And then again, all I'm going to do is I always like to just burnish that down just to make sure that that's not going to come away. But again, you get that with your score master board, so you it's not do, another yes. tool that you've got to buy, is it? No, not at all. Uh, and then all I've got is I've got some side panels that we're going to pop on to the side. Oh, that's a nice idea. So you haven't got a white around the edge. Yes. Ah. So what I always recommend is always do your box, um, decorate it before you put it together. Okay. Because then it's easier, because then you can burnish all these down. If your box was in place, so it would be like this, you wouldn't be able to we do that. We can't get the pressure, can you? And it, Exactly, that's exactly what it would be, Gina. Yeah, you need that pressure to go yeah. on there. So I'm just going to pop these down. Now this, you might find this um, paper pad still on the website. It was Sarah's Country Lane. Country it's my favourite from this year. Absolutely. Oh, is it? I just love it. Yeah, it's very sort of whimsical, but also yeah. it's got sort of a little bit of a vintage sort of vibe to it. It's, yeah, like yeah it's well, just it? yeah. beautiful. So um, you want to find that actually. If you go to the uh, hobbymaker.co.uk website, click on brands, which is Crafters Companion, and and just have a little search for what was it Woodland? No, it was uh, Country Lane. Country Lane. I do apologise. I don't know where I got Woodland from. <laughs> it might be sold out, but I think we did have it. Have a look, little look if we just having a little look. So we're scrolling through the website for you now, just to see if we can find it. And if not, you will find it on, um, oh, perhaps it's gone. Perhaps it might it's have sold gone. out. I try to use ones that we do have in stock, but it's not always possible because of sellouts. Mm -hmm. uh, and then what we're going to do with this one, Zina, I'm going to use that, use that scrap piece of card. We're going to put, sorry if that's sold out. You will find it on Crafters Companion website. So um, I'm going to use my dotty tape pen just to go over the top. Oh, that's a nice idea. Well, have you not heard said. about this? No. Oh, I feel awful because I feel like I just Ooh. keep interrupting the demo. But no, 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 it's Friday, fine. I'm just sticking. We launched, and we think we're the only craft channel to do this, for our birthday and Ruth's birthday, our presenter yesterday, our lovely Ruth. We launched the first ever... Oh, I like that. You gift. can still see my demo behind yes, you. Look at that. Gift vouchers, <laughs> right? Gift vouchers. Now, the tangible <laughs> ones, the physical ones, we've sold out, but we will get them back in. But again, let's think sustainability. Uh, we do have the e-vouchers, electronic vouchers. So if you are finding it difficult or you're the half or somebody that loves you, knows you love crafting, knows you want... So a, po a post... So rather than post it, you've got the postage cost. You've got, obviously, any issues that might be happening with the postage world, which we're not going into. Um, you've got to physically... You might not be able to get to a post box... You might have mobility issues. Go electronic because it's instant. It saves yeah. the planet. You haven't got to print anything on and you don't lose it. You don't lose it. Okay? Well, that's a brilliant idea. Exactly. That's really sorted out loads yeah. of my Christmas gifts. Hasn't it just? <laughs> hasn't it? Anyway, sorry, sorry, lovely. No, that's absolutely fine. That was really cool. I didn't even realise yeah. that that come up like really? that. They start from Very £10, good. by the way. So any amount starting from £10. 
Now, what I'm doing with this one is when I've glued the back, I've only glued around my frame. I've not glued the butterflies because I want them to be able to stick up. And then I'll uh, show you another little technique. So I'm going to just slightly pop these. I haven't um, done my, but I've stuck my butterflies down on the uh, on the green ones because right. I don't want them to come up because I want to slightly shadow this. Okay. So we're just popping that across so we can still just see the green coming around the edges. Okay. Makes such a difference, doesn't it? It just, for me, I think it's all about elevating it to that yeah. next level. Uh, and they definitely do that. And then we can then still move the butterflies up. So just like so. Now, if you did want to just stick that down, put a little dab of glue behind. Mm. But the other thing that you can do, which doesn't get seen, let me just bring in, we do a, a 3D glue gel, oh. um, which is brilliant. And all you would do is pop a piece of this just behind your wings, because it's see-through. It's completely clear. So when you pop that down, it oh, keeps them oh. elevated. So even though they're stuck down, it will give you that dimension. So you can oh, just pop clever. that behind. Yeah and just pop that on top so it, I keep that so that will dry solid in about an hour um, oh. and uh, and it will keep then your wings because a lot of people that um, you send cards to they don't know how they work oh. so that way you'll always have these coming up now the other thing I've done is oh. I've also cut them out of glitter card oh. and I've just but I don't want to cut the whole thing out so I've just cut the little butterflies out oh. and this is what I'm talking about the snippability in these dies to be able to cut all these little butterflies out they just look absolutely beautiful and then all I'm going to do is use my dotty tape pen again just down the middle of these and then we can piece these ones but isn't back this a great in. way to you know every time you've cut off a little bit of glitter card or mirror card mirror card or whatever what a great way to use up those scraps Oh, totally, yeah. yeah. And you don't, and don't think you have to cut your whole thing. So just put a piece of glitter card across yeah. your butterflies. You don't have to cut up that whole frame. Yeah. And then all we're going to do is just pop these over the top. So that one just there. Then this one. And then our next one. So just to give that a completely different look. Oh, that's sweet. And then the other thing I've got, again, I've just got one of our dies. Mm -hmm. And we're going to pop that again, pop that in the middle. And now we've got our, so we've got our just for you. And then we've got this die. Yeah, so you're very these, creative in your fonts, aren't you, Crusher's Companion? Yeah, we do some great ones. So this yeah. was our interchangeable sentiments. So they come with three different sentiments and then different uh, pieces oh, okay. that you could do underneath. Yeah. And then all I'm going to do is literally put some of our tape pen onto those edges. And this is going to put our whole box together. So just turning that round. And like I say, use one of our scoreboards, so either the Big Score, the Score Master, or the Ultimate Pro. They'll all be able to make you. There's plenty of tutorials for box making out there. Um, and uh, pop that together. And then I've just made my box base out of pinks and sure, but I've done it the opposite way round. So the pink I've put in the centre, so my box is white. And then we just turn that over pop that on the top. Wow. And there we go. There's our beautiful gift Isn't box. That lovely? There we that go. That is absolutely beautiful. You think about whether that's a special chocolate. It might be like, you know, like with all these different, you know, people have all these different things these days and nut allergies and, yes. uh, you know, also um, we were talking to our lovely um, Natalie this morning who suffers with, is it celiac? Have I said that right? And people the celiac, to, yes. That's it. Yep. People have to be gluten free, gluten -free and all yeah. those kind of things. So rather than making somebody feel uncomfortable for having different ailments and whatnot how lovely to actually celebrate it have a gift box and yeah. go do you know what mm -hmm. this instead of going over to that and it's always a dodgy little shelf in the supermarket isn't it you <laughs> yes. know like you're gluten free you've got to go over there <laughs> how about actually saying do you know what we're going to celebrate that you're different yeah and make absolutely. your own box and make it a nice thing yes you yeah. know or mm -hmm. somebody gets married and you want to dress uh, dry the flowers yeah, exactly. Give some, who still doesn't love a bit of potpourri at Christmas? Oh, absolutely. Come on. Mm. You know, or well, the kids <laughs> collect pine cones or they've made yeah. you something mm. or, you know. Yeah. There's so many things you can put in there. So many things you can put in there. Yeah, absolutely. Just gift giving, isn't it? And yeah. then have a matching photo frame as a gift with it as well. In fact... Bought you a uh, 
So, yeah, we both thought the same thing then, yeah. Straight Put away. it inside, make a box to go in Aww. it with a matching frame. Because the thing is, as well, now, when you watch people like Martin Lewis on telly, and he's te teaching everybody, because we need to, you know, a lot of people are frightened to watch oh, it to absolutely. this whole, most yes. of us are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, 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 I have to say the first, oh, don't say that, Alex. It's the first, <laughs> bless him, he needs a big hug. It's the first time ever I've, I've, I, no, that sounds really flippant, but what I mean is normally, you know, I, I go a bit mad at Christmas and, mm -hmm. I, and I've spent yep. way more yep, than I too. should. Yep. But this year I've, I've really thought, you know what, I'm going to still gift as thoughtfully as I can, but it but has to back. be more, I've got to cut back, yep. I mean, it has to be more cost effectively. But when you think about how much money you save on making your own cards, yep. your own tags, your own wine bags, your own, your own wreaths. I mean, when you see the wreath uh, kit that we've got coming up with Joe after the, after the break, oh my word. Once you've made these things and you see the price of these things, boxes, and it's not just the price of the box in a stationery shop or a gift shop. They're quite boring. Yeah, mass produced, absolutely. They're not personal to somebody. Boring's not a fair word, but they're very... Traditional, yeah, I suppose mm -hmm. is the word, Absolutely, or yeah. you know, mm -hmm. off the shelf. Yeah, they don't. They don't say that it's. You, you know when a box has been made for you. Oh, absolutely. Don't you? Yeah, yeah. And might... that's the thing. It's real personalisation to every individual, isn't it? Mm. And you can have someone like my daughter's a real girly girl. Is she? Um, yeah. And then I've got a daughter that's not so. She's a jeans and jumpers kind that's of girl. Me. And yeah, she <laughs> loves blue. And and my other daughter's a beautician. And she's all goes got her makeup. And she's pretty and pink. And yeah. Uh, so yeah, and you can make those two totally yeah. different gifts totally for them. Yeah. And, and the thing is, uh, you know. Gosh, we're all right yakking today, aren't we? But I think it's important we're in that mode, aren't we? <laughs> uh, in that mood. But it's like when we were watching um, one of the colouring uh, with the tones, uh, one of the... Oh, who's doing... Centangle? Um, no, the, was it Spectrum? The Spectrum Noir That's it, the Spectrum yes. Noir. That was it with the tricolour pens. Yes. I know, and the layering and the blending and the highlights and the hair and the face, all these... Yes. Oh, and, and one of the ladies messaged in, one of, one of you messaged in, and uh, said, my daughter, because again, all the different colours and the hairstyles and the different colours of skin that we see all around us to be celebrated. And this, this little girl said to her mum, while watching Hobby Maker and that demo, mm -hmm. said, oh, look, mummy, there's somebody like me on telly. Oh, that's so oh, nice. And we were all like, do you know, the innocence out of the babes and all that kind of thing. But do you know what you just think? Yeah, how often do you... My friend made me a bag once. Uh, a Katie Dan, my friend, she's really crafty. And it's a Hessian bag. And she's just done it with a bobbed hair, um, with, with my colour eyes, with my diamond necklace that I tend to wear, and with my name on it. Oh, and honestly, God. that bag is one of the best gifts I've ever, ever been gifted. Because every Someone time I go it. shopping... It makes you feel special. Yeah, of course it does. Can't put a price on that. No, it's bespoke as yeah. well, isn't it? Yeah. It's, mm. You know, it's good for your soul, isn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely. Yeah. Because if somebody says that's for you, yeah. You know, it's. Do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give this to. I didn't make this. This was made by Wendy, design team of Crafters Companion. That's that's what that was made for you. <laughs> you turn that to the camera because this is what we think of our Debbie. Oh, you're just she the best. <laughs> she the best. We're all the best here, and that's what I love about it. Everybody has that genuine mm. something to offer. So it's been a lovely yeah, show chatting you know, about. And you're so right, the mindfulness, yeah, and the honestly, lives that it saves. I, I, I just, it's a joy. Mm. It's an absolute pleasure. Do you know, I don't. I've got one last thing and then everybody's really, <laughs> shut up, Zine. But I was on with Anne-Marie last week. Yeah. Um, and Anne-Marie sent me this message and I can't remember it word for word. And do you know what? It has given me the biggest confidence boost and made me, made me enjoy my weekend. One message. Right. And she just said, thank you for a, a, a lovely afternoon, you fabulous human. Ah, oh, that's so nice. And honest, She's lovely, Anne-Marie. Honestly, the mood change... And confidence changed. That one message gave me. You just think, you know, she helped you out last week as well, didn't she, Alex? <laughs> she is mm. a good old she sort, Anne Marie. But she you is. all are. Oh, you know, it's lovely. It's lovely. Anyways, <laughs> shut up. Shut up. <laughs> right then. So we've got five minutes left on the hour.
Get your frames is the best advice we can give, isn't it? Oh, absolutely, yeah. There is just so much you can do with them. Um, I mean, if we show some of the samples that yeah, you've I'm gonna got do it there, again, Zina, because just... they are absolutely beautiful. I just think if you're someone that loves card making, they're mm -hmm. perfect. If you love scrapbooking, they're perfect. But if you just love a bit of home decor and absolutely. you want to put absolutely. some in your house as well, they're absolutely gorgeous. Remember, we've got the two lots of designs, so the Christmas and yep. the everyday. So use them for everything. Snip into them, cut them, use your ink. Use your watercolour cardstock and you could watercolour them as well. Absolutely. Lots of different designs that you can do. Paper piece them. Uh, they're just incredible. I absolutely love them. Um, and I love that you've made them so affordable with that split. Yeah. Pie. And can I just say again, unsung heroes of uh, all our different brands is your incredible design team. Look at oh, this. Oh, I know. They're, they're very clever. Can I show you this one? Just for, And this is from B -b 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 Alison Jane Green. So first of all, you've got the bells and the bows in the frame. Got your gorgeous card, that, and then look, 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 look. I mean, nice, lovely, simple interior, but yet so special. So do you know what that card is, Zena? Right, now I'm gone. Um, is there it an easy yeah, one card? <laughs> Will I get one right? <laughs> They test me now, they go, what's that one? Like, mm. We're terrible for testing you, aren't we? Yeah, this is good though, because the thing is, and, and we do this, we talk, we, we use acronyms, don't we? And we talk about, you know, like all these words, magical words that these guys are coming out with. And I'm like, what? <laughs> You know, and we forget everybody's at home like that. We're all oh, at absolutely. Points. Yeah, we I, know there's so many new crafters out there and they want to know what you want to you, know. Some people feel embarrassed to ask. I'll always ask the, the, the questions that nobody else wants to ask because I've got that name. I'm like that. I'm a little bit like that. <laughs> you want a daft question. I, but I've never, I've never received, uh, I've never received a card. Any, I didn't even know an easel card existed. Have uh, you ever seen anything like that in, a, in, in, you know, in your local, your local co-op or your one stop? Or yeah. your, you would never buy a different concept card in, no. a, in any that store. Concept, concept. it's a concept, yes. So when you hear us ah. talking about a concept, that's ah. all the different concepts that you well, can make. Speaking of concepts, where's my shaker? Where's my shaker? <laughs> shaker card. Where's my shaker, shaker, shaker? <laughs> has he tidied up? <laughs> it's there somewhere. <laughs> that's not a shaker card, but it could be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you got your sequiny one? Oh, yes, we're done with that one. There we go. She, she, Debbie filled a card with sequins. <laughs> Thank you. So let's, let, let's say, right, yeah, just like I was telling Anna, didn't it? Let's say you've got a secret admirer or something that you really fancy, right? <laughs> or you've got, like, a partner you make, like, because um, I've just met Joe's lovely partner, Mark. If you've got, like, somebody that, um, you know, that you want to make yours, or you've got, like, a little rude name or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've all got them. So, you, this is with the snowflakes. And again, you can go back and watch this demo because Debbie did it earlier. Look, watch this. Look, so there's a message in there. Look, there's the snowflake frame. You could do one upside down if you've got family in America, in Australia. And then look, so you get thinking, oh, that's nice. But then what she's saying to there. And then you've got to move all the sequins around. And then this hidden message. Like, oh, can you imagine if you're proposing? <laughs> That's a brilliant idea. Oh, do you know what? I wish I'd thought about that and done a card because I know someone that's going to propose this week. I could have made them a card oh, with that on. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. No, they've already gone. They've gone on holidays, doing it on oh. the beach. Can't say too much, oh, okay. can I? So, uh... <laughs> gender reveal for a baby. Oh, that's eh? a good idea, yeah. If you're having a new puppy or a kitten. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm off. Shut up, Zine. I'm annoying myself now. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um, yes, I've just... Oh, what naughty message would you put onto some of them? <laughs> uh, come on. I, mean, I can see Joe's thinking of one for Mark. You're thinking of one for Al. I mean, come on. Uh, anyway. Um, right then. Now, you're coming back with us in an hour's time. Yes, for something totally different. We're doing some flower forming foam. I mean, come on. Uh, and you wonder why I'm struggling. <laughs> flower, she said to me today, flower forming foam. Like, <laughs> you what? <laughs> not sure what that is, but then she showed me. Oh my days, wait till you see that. Look at my hands on my hips. And then speaking of, uh, of forming beautiful things out of flowers and whatnot, 
Coming up after the break is the most, oh, I've been gossiping away, haven't we? Lovely Jo, she's coming up. She's got a brand new kit with everything in it that you need to make your own layered wreath for Christmas, amongst other things as well. So do please not go anywhere. That doesn't actually make English sense, but you know what I mean. See us after the break and Jo is going to wow you in the next hour. See you in a minute. <laughs> When you purchase anything on Hobby Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobby Maker. Hobby Maker are going on the road. And our first stop is the Creators event, taking place at the Kent Showground in Maidstone on Friday, the 30th of September and Saturday, the 1st of October. Come along and say hello as we bring you an exclusive shopping experience with our craft concierges. Ready to go with show only discounts, free goodie bags, and an opportunity to take part in the world's largest tangled wall. Or you could even strike it lucky in our tombola. Get your tickets now by logging on to creativeeventscom forward slash shop and by using the code MAKER, you'll get an extra 25% discount off your day ticket. So join us on Friday the 30th of September and Saturday the 1st of October at the Kent Showground in Maidstone. We'll see you there. If you want to search our website for your favourite brands, simply go to hobbymaker.co.uk, click on Brands, and you'll find all your favourite items all in one place. Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one P&P. &P. Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. We have some exciting news. Hobby Maker has been nominated in the Best of Crafts Awards for 2022. We're so amazed that nearly six months have flown by since we launched Hobby Maker and we couldn't have done it without the Hobby Maker family. Thanks to all the presenters and guests for entertaining us and inspiring us every day and for all the viewers for tuning in for all the fun. We're lucky enough to be nominated for two awards in our first year which are the Most Loved TV Shopping Channel and Dave Bradford for Male Craft Personality of the Year. To vote, please head to our website to find all the details you need to get involved. Thank you for your support and votes. Hobbymaker are live from 1pm to 6pm every day on Sky Channel 670, Freesat Channel 807 and Freeview Channel 73. You can also watch on YouTube via some smart TVs, your computer and phone. Hi, Pauline here. I'd just like to say join me Thursday, 8th of September to see my brand new stamp sets. My stamp sets are a little bit floral, a little bit quirky, something a little bit different. So I hope you can join me this Thursday, 8th of September on Hobby Maker. to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Here at Hobby Maker, we love seeing what you've been making and it's our job to keep you inspired. So how does a £100 credit to your Hobby Maker account sound? Every month we're going to be giving away a £100 credit to one lucky Hobby Maker's account. And all you have to do to enter is simply send a photo of your crafty makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We will be picking one winner each month at random and we'll announce the lucky winner on air in the 5pm show on the last Saturday of every month. So what are you waiting for? Get crafting, get motivated and get inspired with Hobbymaker. Oh. 
Oh, we're still gossiping. You can't have three women in the studio. No. <laughs> and what the poor director's going, you do know you're coming live in five, four, three, and you know this, and I were doing this, and I were doing blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Hello, Joe. Hello, darling. Hello. Your Hi. man's lovely, isn't he, Mark? Yeah, he is. Isn't he lovely? Yeah, he is. She's getting used to him 35 years. They've been together. No, I'm married 35. Oh, have you? Yeah, I've been together 39, yeah. 39? Yeah. Might need to yeah. turn your microphone on. Oh, turn me on. I'll turn you on. <laughs> There's an offer. <laughs> it's it's come in, oh. darling. I'll do it for you, my little flat. Just otherwise we won't hear you. No, well that's maybe not a bad thing. <laughs> Never. Right, there you go, my lovely. Thank you. How's it's a pleasure. That? Can we hear her now? Yay! Otherwise you're stuck with me again, the like we've heard enough of you yeah, in the last hour. We met, I was a Saturday girl. At the oh. local garage. Uh, oh, I know. what was I he know. doing? What was what was the mechanic? Oh, that's quite sexy, isn't it? Mm. Oh, bit of bit of grease yeah. on the cheek and all yeah. that. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit. Yeah. <laughs> How long did that take for you to get with him? Um, not long. Did he come after you? Yeah, of course he did. And do you know what's lovely? <laughs> do you know what's lovely? He's outside. He comes with Joe and waits while she does these shows. Not a word. And oh, I watched him just. And it, that look of love is there. <laughs> Honestly, it is. Give over. It is. I, every, you know, and what was... Anyway, I'm going to shut up because everyone's like, Zena, come on. <laughs> anyway, so the good news is you've put together something that, that's quite a new thing, isn't it? Yes. Now, I, I can't take credit for this because, of course, it's Laura's baby. OK. So Laura and Graham own the company. That's crafty. They're married, aren't and they? And they definitely right, okay, are, yeah. yes. And they work together exactly the same as us and they work brilliantly together. Great. Because Laura thinks of the ideas and then Graham cuts it all. So it's oh, all great. cut in-house. Oh, they do it themselves? Yes. Everything's nice. all done in-house. OK. All this packaging, they've filled all these bottles, they've filled all the paints. Oh, so everything. it's a real so, family. Oh, no, yeah. Yes, oh, how absolutely. Lovely. And this is from That's Crafty, then? It is. Right, yes. so this is Laura yeah. and... Graham. Graham. Sorry, Laura yes. Graham. I'm trying to learn so many people's names. Down in Essex. Down in Essex. Ah, right, OK. Please look at... look. Can we just I give know. you a close-up? They're just exquisite. <gasps> Look at that. <laughs> now, I've got to ask you, first of all, can we give Laura and Graham a proper festive little... Oh, I think come so. On. Honestly, that. they are just gorgeous. And is that difficult to do? Like, No, when... it absolutely is not. Now, an ab total, total beginner yeah. to um, paint and... I'm, I'm going to loosely use the term mixed media loosely. What does that mean? Right, so the, the, the words mixed media mean that basically you're taking one medium and another medium. Mixing it with another you, one. And you just... It's like fish and chips. It is like fish oh, it's and like chips. cooking. You mix media in every day. Yeah, so, but it really does scare some people. Why? Because they think, oh, no, you know, we've got to do all these incredibly amazing, great big canvas work and all this sort of thing. Well, mixed media really isn't like that. And I can tell you honestly that this has been, this one is mine, and it's been such a pleasure. You can tell so, me. Honestly, honestly, I've loved it. Oh, and stockings yeah. and holly and bells and gingerbread. Yeah, yeah. And, and look, I've got lights. Oh, stop it. I, know, I thought I'd surprise you. I didn't put them on there. You've either, lit it up. You Can lit we show it up. Me? Yeah. But I'm not oh. sure. Would, would we be able to? Yeah, if you sure. turn it round to the camera too, you know, I that can. might look more. With that, Dan, or Dan. Either or. Sorry, Dan. I'm not sure. Oh, should we dim the lights a bit? Oh, dim the lights a bit. Go on, Can go on, we? go on, go on. Let's turn them off then. Go on, turn them off. We'll look better. <laughs> yeah, I definitely will. Joe's like, speak for yourself. <laughs> no. Look. Oh, Debbie. Oh, Can look. Can lights be on? It's beautiful. And oh. all the lights are. Now, when I turn it round, it does look a little bit rough and ready. And the reason being, yeah. because. I only thought about putting lights on yesterday. That's I lovely. So I would obviously make this a lot, lot tidier. Yeah, but you've only done it just quickly. Bless him. Mark, well, Mark did it for me. Oh, um, good luck. Just using the red tape. But what I would do um, is obviously you would tidy it up and then yeah. fix 
the actual battery pack on yeah. properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's yeah. quite a few areas actually that you can fix the battery pack on. So, so with all those without, holes, yeah. that's easy to yeah, do, yeah. isn't it's, it? It's really, really easy to do. So, and of course, oh, that's where, the, where the lights are, you know, you just pop them through the various yeah. filigree details. But isn't it beautiful? It's it, I'm and not the lights saying it's just beautiful make it, don't I've they? Done, yeah. What I mean, the whole concept is so, so clever. Now, the other thing is with it is the fact that you're getting everything in the box every single thing well you don't get the lights because i just added those as a bit of a optional extra but you know you can pick those up from quite a few yeah fact, i get the bottle ones that you can recharge yes, with the usb do. so you oh, don't have to keep lovely. having batteries yeah and the thing is also you've got to drink the gin inside the bottle before you use the bottle. that was the bit i found ever so i know terrible um <laughs> So you get you get the MD so it's MDF. Yes, it is. Yeah. All cut out. Yes. So there's okay. one on the end. There. Oh, can Do I you grab that? Do you grab mind, absolutely. lovely? Yeah. So that's grab you that in the board. Yes. Yeah, so that is the base. Okay. okay. So the base you can see the the detail in some of these these individual pieces are just exquisite. When we got this through, we because when I say we 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 do have a, an amazing amazingly talented design team as well. And the girls that have, um, have helped me with these is Helen. So Helen's yeah. made this Helen one. Chilton, yeah. Yeah. And actually, even Laura's had a play. Has she? Ah. So Laura's made this So this one. one's Laura's. It this is. is Laura that owns the company with yes. Raya. and she said she thoroughly enjoyed doing it as Aww. well. And I'm ever so pleased, Laura, because they do work so hard. You can... Honestly, they work so, so, so hard. Um, and, and this is lovely because we've not done a kit before. No, Laura's. this is the first time... For That's Crafty, that we've actually done a complete kit. So everything you see there, whether it's, is it paint? Paint. The yeah, you've got the texture paste, which we'll go through in a second. Glue? The paint. Um, the glue's not included, okay. but we do have it on the show. But ah, I saw Laura that there. decided not to put the glue in okay. because lots and lots of um, crafters have their... Have their Favourite like, glue. Yeah, they like yeah. the glues. And also, lots and lots have the That's Crafty glue anyway. But as long as it's um, a, a good bond glue. Okay. Okay. Yep. Now, the other thing is about this, you can actually, and we were talking about this earlier, weren't we? In a second, we'll go through the individual elements that you go on top. But if you want to lift them a little bit more, you may want to use some... Um, like glue gels or um, you do foam pads foam pads oh, you can Absolutely. oh right okay brilliant brilliant no problem raise it up a bit raise it up a bit put them at different layers so you know then the type of glue then will be de determined on how what you actually want got to it. do with them okay so that's that do you um, get that you get the colors yes now you get all the paints there so you've got five do you want me to move shall i move these over so we get it all in one yeah, place why shall not? we bring it over why not? Okay. They're yeah, nicely also packaged the as well, aren't, aren't they? they? So um, you will notice. Oh, do you get glitter? Do you get? It's it's holographic Whoa. texture paste. you it'll blow your mind. It's beautiful, beautiful. Oh. Now, because I, I love it. You know what mm. Deb was saying? Yeah. About you being a sponge. Honestly, oh, I absolutely God. adore a new craft. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? Because it's like, oh, it's like Christmas all oh, over it again. is. It is. It's like having Christmas Day it every is. day. And Father Christmas is properly <laughs> delivered, I'm <laughs> telling you. Right, so I've now, got those out. So, what we've got, um, you will notice, anybody that's already a follower of That's Crafty yeah. will notice. And I'm going to just bring one of my pots in. They, this is how they normally come packaged. Okay. You can also buy these this size, which yeah. is the 60 mil on the website okay. under the That's Crafty brand That's Crafty. Shop. So hobbymaker.co.uk, click on brands on the left-hand side, scroll yeah. down alphabetical order to That's Crafty, and you'll find that packaging there. Absolutely. But these are taller. So, but these are, these are different this time because we wanted to do a kit. We didn't want to make it... Um, too expensive by oh, putting got you. six of these in because that obviously. drives the price up doesn't it does it, it does. does and if you're starting out what you don't want is you want to have a little trial you have a double you want to have a double but i have to say now andy was asking me earlier he said you won't need all that paint for this project i said 
absolutely no way are you going to use all that paint for so this you'll have, a, you'll have a lot of paint left over honestly you're going to Brilliant. have loads of paint left okay. over and also you can mix mix a little bit of color up different ones to make different colors nice. so have a little think of that they are a multi-surface paint so if you do have some left over obviously you can use them on so many different projects what sort of things because I'm, I'm new to the world of paint as well so what yep. other things can it go okay, on you name some glass glass yeah I wouldn't suggest you put it in a dish dishwasher, washer. but it is safe to actually ceramic, wash. ceramic, wood, MDF of course, chalk, plywood, uh, chalk. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Why so not? it proper is a multi-surface. Yeah, obviously, plate. cardboard and um, you know uh, fabric. We can Ooh. definitely, definitely use these for fabric. They'll just want sealing, uh, but the you know any queries at all. That's crafty. Have an amazing service. Brilliant. So if you're not sure. Fantastic. So right. you're getting all of the of the paints. Yes. You're getting the MDF. It's all cut yep. out. You get all of the bits. Yep. You also you get the, now what was it, when you say holographic? Yes. What yeah. does that mean? Right. So I'm going to show you in my big pot here again. Okay, so that's this one. Yeah. So if um so this is actually so again we've we we looked at um what to actually put in the kit to make it a really good great project. Yeah. And, and of course, we all agree that we adore the holographic texture paste. Mm -hmm. So if you just pass me the, um, the little pot. There you go. And you're going you. to give us a demo, aren't oh, you? Oh, I absolutely am, yes. <laughs> so what we've got in here is, you oh. can see, and there's lots. You, again, you won't use all of this, okay? Mm. And this is a lovely little way of actually trialling a product without Brilliant. having to buy the larger pot. Brilliant. Because you want to know if this is going to sort of get you going. Yes, of course. You know. I know that everybody's going to love this. You can see, did you see when we took the lid off then? <laughs> just it's just unbelievable. Oh. Do you want to, I've got a spatula here. I'll show you that, look, look, look. I'll just show you. Relatively a spatula, clean. right, look at this. Oh. It does look like artificial snow, doesn't it? It's beautiful. Let me pass this across mm. back to you. No I problem. Speak English today, pass this across a pack to you. <laughs> yeah, but what's worrying is I knew what you meant. Um, <laughs> So can you see on here? Yeah. Can you see all of this? This is what's made that beautiful. Oh. Let see me there, just look. tip that up and see if I can oh, grab. Yeah. Oh, that's this holographic. Yeah. What is it again? Holographic texture paste. Can yes. I... Now, oh, it's really soft. Also... Yeah, do you want to? Am I supposed to touch it with my fingers? Well, have you done? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, mm. <laughs> It's all right. That'll be coming back with Little me. Glitter. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. sorry, I'm not supposed to touch it. No, of course you can touch it. You need to know what it's like, don't you? Well, it looked really bit like yeah. like scratchy, and I wanted to see, and it's not. It's like really smooth. It's 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 textured, but it's and when you when you hear me putting it on, you'll hear like a very very fine sandpaste type thing. But what it's got in it is got those fine holographic little tiny it's proper like sparkly flakes. opals it's in there, yes. isn't it? It's a little bit like my moonstone. Isn't it? Oh yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm hogging it. <laughs> it's all right because this is what I want you to see it because I know, we all know, because we've been using it um, now for a little while and we just adore it. Yeah. It actually was only supposed to come out for Christmas a couple oh. of years ago. But do you know, we all said, no, please don't. Please don't take it away from us. We want sparkle all year, <laughs> we don't do, we? We do. Can I just say, for those of us that love jewellery as well, who doesn't? Jo has got the most phenomenal moonstone on. Mm. That the blues coming out of that is it, absolutely sensational. Mm. <laughs> anyway, sorry, <laughs> sorry, lovely. Right, so that's okay. all right. Um, so yeah, so this is what you get. Right, so this is a, so you get the paints. So you've got your five, no, uh, six. Here. Sorry, you've got your six paints. Yep. Okay. You've got your white, which is a great one to have in any kit. Yep. And then you've got the pearl white that's, that's as the white, well, and that's the pearl white. Ooh. You've got your Christmas red, yep. you've got your evergreen, which is a beautiful Christmas mm. green. You've got Should your I turn gold. Around? Yeah, rather that than the labels, you lovely. can see the colours better. And then you've got chestnut brown. Oh. So, of course, what you can do with a chestnut brown, if you don't want it quite as dark as that, add a little bit of the white in, then you've got like a fawn, or with add the, a little bit of the gold in, then you've got that lovely. The reindeer and the gingerbread yeah. man, mm. and yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, they've thought of everything, so, Lauren yes. Graham, haven't they? Yeah, Bless yeah, them. it's absolutely fantastic. There you go. So, so yeah, so and then of course, what you also the get detail in these cut out MDF pieces is 
Yeah, wow. it really is superb. So what you're going to get is on the actual oh. flat wreath itself. Let me just take that away one second. Manage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go, okay. You've got the outline on yeah. the actual pieces as to where you want to put them. Now, then you've got all of these pieces that then would sit on top. And this is what's given the wreath all that dimension. Okay. Okay. Now, a lot of work in that cutting out. Is a tremendous a amount lot of work. work. In it. A lot, lot of work. Work. That's a lot of work for the machine to, not just the design, but then when it's cutting, it takes a good while Of course it does, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a good size, isn't it? So yeah. what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this against my board here, and then you can see. So from here to here, we're actually a good 12 and, 12 and a half oh, inches a nice here. nice size. Mm. Yeah. I'll tell you what we will inches. do, just, just, just before... Uh, does this come with any instructions or is this the instructions? No, it comes with the instructions, okay. yes. I'm just conscious that there's, there's pound signs here and we're getting questions coming in saying, please, can you give us a guide of the price? Okay. Oh, right. We're yes. not pricing. And oh, I that's don't, quite important. It is quite important. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we're so fixated. So you're going to get the instructions. This is a brand new kit that we've not done before from Laura and Graham. I love the fact that it's a family business as well. All designed by husband and wife. Gorgeous detail. You get all the additional pieces to go on. You can see how they can be different. You've got the six paints. You've got the holographic glitter paste. The texture paste. Texture yes. paste. Thank yep. you. Sorry. Yeah. No, that's okay. And you've got the full instructions and you're going to get a demonstration from the lovely Joe as well. So the snowflake wreath Brand new kit, never launched before. We have got so many of you with it in your baskets and that's so lovely to see. Oh, Would you believe this? 34 99 to create a wreath that comes out every, every single year. year. What a lovely gift. It is, and I do think that it is something that's going to come out every year. Because it is. When you package it back down, it will come um, to you nice, obviously lovely packaging. Yeah. We always know it will become very, you know, and also that's crafty. You've got a first class reputation on delivery as well. Oh, that's good okay, to know. Okay, so, right, so if you want to get cracking with it, you know, you will be getting this Fabulous. very, very quickly. That's good to know that is. Yeah. And a nice thing to do with, with the family. A family oh, project. I definitely. I think it would be a gorgeous one to do with the children. Yeah. But personally... Under supervision, obviously, with oh, paints and yeah, things. Yeah, I would, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, nothing's toxic. Everything no. is water-based. thinking about spillage. Mind you, my dad's the same and he's 78. <laughs> dangerous Dave. So it's not just kids. <laughs> dangerous Dave. It's called dangerous. He's, over. he's lovely, but, it, you know. Anyway, so... <laughs> bless him, but he says, you want to hear what he says about you, love? <laughs> I should be shut up. He's cooking me tea. Um, this is lovely. It is lovely. Thank you, Laura and Graham. It really, really is. So, um, would you mind if we just had a look at the other, oh the my other two as Who's well? Who's made because, these? Right, so the top one is Fliss's. Now, the reason why um, I want want to, to show, yeah, is because, because we all got exactly the same kit. See what everybody exactly does with the it. Same. Every single one <laughs> is different. Now, Fliss went for... Um, and this is a this is a complimentary term, the grungy effect. I know what you mean. Yeah. All right. Other people out of the trade would think, well, that's not very. Yeah, that's nice. not very nice. No, she no, not like her. But <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> she's so so very talented. That's now you lovely. can see what she's done is she's used the paints in a totally different way to what um, myself and um, and Helen, Helen and yeah. also Laura. Yeah. Because what she's done is she's used the backgrounds. To actually, she's used um, the multi paints that we've got in the kit, which we all have used with the individual individual elements. But yeah. she's put it on the background as well. Yeah. So how different does that look? And but then, then this, this is, one. I love this one from Shelley. Now, this is um, this is yes. So Shelley's. Oh, look at the pearls on it. I know well. this. If you had, if Shelley hadn't have got her name on the back, and if she hadn't have hand delivered it to me, and I didn't know that it was Shelley's. Straight away, I'd say that Shelley's. Oh, because you know what I she know. Ah. She's purple through and through. If you oh, cut her in half, you, <laughs> she's a purple. If she's girl. watching, she knows exactly <laughs> what I'm talking about. Purple is her favourite colour. And so putting purple and silver together and the white with this beautiful bow is absolutely exquisite. Now, also, what Shelley's done is she's used a fine liner to actually um, put in a little bit more um, detail back in. Um, so, again, totally, totally different 
approach to it, which I think is just absolutely. Yeah. It's not great with my. No, well, don't worry, sorry. we're sorting that. Jimmy, I have am got sorry. Something... No, 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 just please say so. Have you got something I can put as a back background so I can show that? Because we've got, we've both got busy tops on me and Joe. Yeah, I saw a big bit. I thought t today I'd try and be a bit summery and then blow me across for doing Christmas. So it really doesn't. Oh, if you put it well. on the board, we could do it on the overhead. That'd work. That's put it down. Uh, thank you, Dan. Great idea. Yeah. There we go. How's that? Up there for thinking. Yep. Into the gallery for directing. <laughs> oh, perfect. There yeah, you go. Yeah, we're good. We're thank, thank you. Thank you. How's that? That's perfect. So you can see here what Shelley's done is she's popped some detail. Um, where the scoring was from the actual cutting, um, you can see she's popped some uh, detail oh, back yeah. in. And she's put little spaces that we do on jewellery makers, the eyes for the, yeah. um, for this, for yeah. the gingerbread yeah. man. Little pearls. pearls. She's got some <gasps> pearls there. Well, you could do it as birthstones. Mm. Of course you could. birthstone wreath. So many, yeah. so many different ways. Um, if you know the person, obviously, that it's going to, you would maybe do it for their decor. Absolutely. If you don't want to go the traditional route... Yeah. Then definitely. I mean, this is very, very. It's gorgeous. It's, it's, it's stunning, isn't it? Yeah. I love it. Absolutely mm. love it. And I love your idea with the lights behind. Well, it's just a little brilliant. bit fun. It's brilliant. <laughs> so, thirty-four ninety-nine. Now, I don't know about you. If you walk in, because most of the shops now, and warehouses and everywhere else, have got their Christmas decor up and they've got their Christmas stuff to buy and. Yeah. You know, but if you if you go into, you know, again, craft stores are out for, for the winter and all that kind of thing, aren't they, as well? And crafting shops and whatnot. Um, you, you would never, ever be able to buy a wreath like that for anywhere near that price. Tag. And you wouldn't have the enjoyment of making well, it Well, you either. wouldn't because it is very, very individual. And mm. also, it's very individual to the person that's making it. Yeah. So, and how different um, they all are. Every, everyone, are, brilliant, they? brilliant. You know, this is this is what's so so yeah. joyful about them, and um, and I know that I'm I'm actually um, I'm thinking of doing a workshop on them. Are you? Yeah, because I teach as well. Where do you do those? Oh, just lo locally in in our village. So. What, look, where's your village? Oh, uh, so uh, well, we're Lincolnshire, so I'm in Coniston, oh, okay. but we t we've got a, little, a village hall that I teach in in Tattershall. Oh, let's oh, oh, all go to that. I think we just had a message. In, have we had a message from Beverly? Beverly. Oh. What's Beverly say? Oh. oh, I was not expecting that price. I bet you weren't. <laughs> oh, thank you, Beverly. Oh, I thought she meant it was going to be cheap. No, I was going to say, honestly. She it was going to be 60 quid. <gasps> mm. And with all the MDF, no. the pace and the pace of beautiful Beverly. with the future heirloom. Oh, that's a nice well, way to think of it. It's a thing. beautiful way. And thank you, Beverly, for taking the time Aww. because we really appreciate it. Because as, as demonstrators Aww. and as you know, sort of... Tr Creators, that's a big deal. Yeah, it is it is a big deal. And I know Laura and Graham would really appreciate Aww. that feedback. Thank you. Well, there you go. It's a lovely message. Thank you. So while you check out, and again, there's a... Oh, one thing I didn't ask you before the show. Yes. Do we have many? Do we have many available? I don't think there's no, millions. Mm. No, there's not millions. <laughs> Because anyway, they've well, got to cut them. Exactly. <laughs> so all I would say is those of you on the right-hand side of the screen with it in your baskets, it's not the price holding you up. Don't forget as well, if you get that pin badge today for £3.49, any day of your choice before the end of this year, you've got 20% off with the code on the back as well. And you're in the exclusive oh. teal launch limited edition Hobby we Maker pin badge. No, we don't. Mm -hmm. And that's the last one in the building. That was the it is. Honestly, it's Honestly. the last one in the building because I'm going to spill the beans. Go now. on. Can oh, I? Proper cause trouble, didn't right. I? Right, three minutes, three minutes <laughs> to go in on air with, with, honestly, on your last show. So launch of Hobby Maker today. And she was in a I was having a right, right flat place. Place. She, she had to come and try and help me. I had I me did. Had I was trying. Bag out. trying. I've put it down somewhere. It's the last one in the building. Have you had what it, Joe? Like, no, I haven't. <laughs> I, haven't. <laughs> I was asking anybody, have you got it? Go look to Joe's husband. If you got it, Martha? You got like, it, no. and Mark's going. I haven't got a clue what you're talking about. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> anyway, right. So everybody, oh. those of you with it in your baskets, my lovelies, our lovely Joe is going to give uh, a fantastic demo. But please don't forget to check out because I think, like you say, what a lovely thing to pass down to people it's as well. Gorgeous, it's gorgeous. Yes. It's great. And also, not only that, but you can actually make and sell these. Oh, was it? ah, so the angel okay. policy you can sell. Completely oh, open. Fantastic. Completely open as long as you're actually making it and, and and not obviously taking the back. Yeah, absolutely. Right then, do we yes. all want to see it in action? Yes, please. <laughs> 
Okay, over to you. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do, just going to bring this one in just so that you can just you have a little quick... Do you want to move this over a bit, No, Don? no, 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 You're okay. no, absolutely fine. No problem at all. Um, so basically, um, it's, as you saw, it's MDF. So what we need to do initially is we need to cover the actual MDF up. Now, what I would strongly recommend is that, um, that you cover it in... Um, if you've got a gesso, now that's not including a kit, but... That's because it's not entirely necessary. Okay. Do it's put, not an absolute must. But it makes the colour take better, does it? Yes. So oh, what okay. I like to do is with MDF, I like to take it down to a neutral colour. Mm. And then if I decide sort of halfway down the line that I want to change the colour... It's a neutral colour to start off with. Ah, so it's like when but they do magnolia in a new build and then it's an yes. easy one to cover. Got it. What is gesso now, then? What, what gesso is, is um, well, we have the gessos okay. on the show. Okay. Um, a, lot of, um, a lot of crafters will already have the gessos. Okay. Um, it's, um, it's a little bit like, um, it's a bit, a bit more chalky. Like a primer bit, almost, yeah, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, absolutely. Right, okay. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. It's a primer. Okay. So... Um, but you do have the white mm. in your kit. So if you don't own um, the, uh, the gesso, what you could do... Oh, this one, is this take white the here. plain white. Yeah. Co so there's the plain white and there's the pearl white. Mm. Take the plain white. Yeah. Pop a little bit down on a tray or whatever. Put a tiniest bit, not a lot, tiniest bit of water in. Just and cold it, or lukewarm? Yeah, just, just, just cold, cold water. Just okay. Of, yeah. And, and just... just um, Bring it down a tad. Okay. All right, so that it's just a little bit runnier, so that it's got a big, bigger coverage. Ah, okay. So you're not using as much of, as your, of your best paint, as we okay. would call it. So it, but if you've got a gesso... The gesso is like the primer. Use okay. the gesso. Brilliant. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So you can see here, this is what that is. Right. So it's, uh, yep, yeah, just, just go over, completely go over with that. Front and back, if you want, uh, you can see there, I've done the back, and then you can decide at the end what you want to do uh, with regards to the back. Now, I have gone ahead a little bit mm -hmm. and done um, a little bit of what I'm going to do now because obviously it's, um, you don't just want to see me doing that for the whole rest of the hour. So um, I've actually got the uh, metallic pearl. Now, each time I use the paints, I'm going to be using the pots. Right. It's exactly the same paint as, the colours. as what's in the actual okay. um, the paints. So now, that's like this one here. What mill? Of course we can just remind girl. me of what the, mill is in the... Does it say? Let me have a look. Shake well before use. Does it say? Because I can't see it okay, on there. So, but you are getting a, a good, good amount. All right. So um, basically, I've got myself um, a stippling brush. Um, and um, Or if you haven't got a stippling brush, a brush that you've neglected somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> I've got quite a few of those. <laughs> Um, oh, and, and it's a little bit splayed out, so it's a little bit easier. And then what I'm doing is I'm just going around um, the edges. Now, where you see, I don't want to use the paint where it's going to be covered up. So, for instance, I have got the reindeer here. I've gessoed all of these um, exactly the same as what I did the main wreath. And the reindeer is actually going to go on top once I've actually individually painted this. All right. And um, I'm taking some of the pearl and I'm just stippling around the actual reindeer. All right. I'm not going all over the reindeer because there's no point. You don't want to waste your paint. Yes. And this is the pearl white, which is lovely. It's a really, really gorgeous paint. And when you get this home, you will actually see the lines that have been scored. They've not mm. been cut, but they've been scored to where you're going to lay your extra pieces. That's like, it's like a marker guide. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. The thing is, though, you don't have to use the pieces that we've, we've given you in the kit. You could just paint this area in because you've got that distinctive line. You could just, if you're really, really clever at painting and really good mm -hmm. and very precise, which I know lots and lots of people out there are, what you would do, it, you could actually paint these and then just add some yeah. of the others. And then you could use these on another project. That's what I mean. You could wish. be so creative here. Oh, yeah. You, you might can. have your own MDF. It's like, I've got some little doggy bone MDF. Oh. So to represent the fact that I've now got a house with a dog, 
I could I could put little bo little put India doggy bones put over it, couldn't you? Do you know what I mean, though, for like me and Ivy? Yeah, that dog. would be lovely. No, just yeah, options. that would be lovely. Sorry. So no, I think it's a great idea. Really, really great idea. Be really idea. creative with these. So all I'm doing is I'm just stippling. Please don't use your best brush because it really isn't the best idea because it won't. Obviously, you, you're, you're stippling onto MDF, so it's a hard surface. Mm. Um, but I am only going around the edges. There is no point in putting paint, good paint, anywhere where you're actually going to cover it up. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Now, I think... Oh, just just on that bell. Just, oh, just on that. So it won't take long. Obviously, you don't have to rush like we are. Please take your time. Yeah, enjoy and it. And enjoy it. And that yes. is the main thing. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, I think I've actually oh, just a little house here. So we've got a little house. We've got the reindeer. Patricia's bought. Um, we've got oh. oh Patricia. I wonder who yeah. they're going to be. Oh, I'm for. Julia. Oh, I wonder oh, I, oh, who oh. they're going to be for. I'd love to know. Do you um, know be nice as well though. You know, like when you watch DIY SOS, and they did one recently with a couple of kids whose mom had passed away, and it was really. It, oh, heartbreaking but they really looked after these families they always do and then they were asked by the designer to create a piece of artwork in their bedrooms to make them think of their mum their late mum oh lovely you yes know, and again Actually, i think i saw that yeah with the surfboard boy. thing yes that was the one so but yeah. imagine i've gone all goosebumpy imagine also being able to do that because this could be such a creative helpful thing to anybody that's lost somebody like that could be a pet could be a parent could be a friend could be whatever and actually, their own personality and their memories of that person will come through into something like this. And at Christmas time, you feel that loss even more, don't you? So what a perfect gift for somebody in that scenario. It would be gorgeous. Oh. Now, you do actually get... I haven't used it, but you do actually get the tag. Because oh. when we... Um, what happens is... Obviously, you get um, you get the full wreath and you actually get the middle piece, but we've pushed that out so that you can see it properly. Oh, OK. And the tag actually comes out of the middle. Oh, so you could put a message on it. What you could oh. do is you could actually put that onto some, maybe some wire, some, um, some nice um, string or whatever, and you could actually hang that in the middle. Yeah. You could even have a photograph or something on it. That's a nice yeah. idea. Yeah. Oh, we've got an answer. Thank you so much, Alex. Oh, thank you, Alex. Those paints um, are 30 mil each in the kit. Thank you. I, did, yeah. I thought they were, but, but I yeah, didn't but want to get guess, it right. Because I know we have yeah. to get it right, don't we? Do, we? Yeah. Now, the reason yeah. why I really wanted to know that was because I wanted to emphasise how much there was in these pots. It's a lot. You're so going to get a lot left so over. So you are getting lots. You yeah. are really getting a really significant amount. Yeah. All right, so you are going to get lots left over. And bearing in mind that they are multi-surface, oh, obviously. Can I, can I read this out? Now, I'm going to have to do that thing. But do you mind? So high-quality multi-surface paint, listen to this, right? So it's fast-drying, high-quality water-based paint can be used on most surfaces, including MDF, obviously, paper, card, wood, MDF, grey board, acrylic, fabric, furniture and walls, get this, um, fixed with a warm iron-on fabric and hand wash, non-toxic yeah. and acid-free. Mm. Just shake it before you start. Mm. So when we, we say multi-surface... Not joking. It's <laughs> multi-surface. What I love, it's like they're glue. It's a multi-purpose glue. I love that because I know... I don't have to have half All a dozen. different sets, different types. Half a dozen for yeah. this, and one for MDF, Good. one for paper, yeah. one for card. Mm. Yep. I think right, the so wreath's going really quickly. Can I just mention the wreath kit is going really, really quickly. We've got a box one coming up as well. So I, all the crafters, yeah. Paulette, Julia, Sandra, Denise, all oh, of you coming thank in. You. Good luck and thank you for supporting a lovely yeah. uh, Essex-born yeah. family, honestly, husband and wife. I think it's a great thing. It is, and Keep you know, local. I can honestly say that they appreciate every single person that, that yeah, supports thank them. Thank you, thank you. Um, right, so we're now going to go with this fabulous, and I'm going to put it on the glass mat because I want you to. Can Could, you hear? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Can you hear the paste? Now, we've used it on numerous occasions. Now, again, I'm getting out of my big pot mm -hmm. purely because we use, like, loads of it. Yeah, of course. You will get it in that pot, but that is a significant amount. Mm -hmm. You won't use all of that on this project. Right. 
Then look at the boxes, for instance. Mm. You have a little look at the boxes. Look at the, oh. Using the stencil paste through the boxes. Look at the texture. Lovely, really, really lovely. We do have these gifts. Give, speak, get my teeth in. We do have these gifts. I'm okay, thanks. Are you okay? Um, these gifts. And look at this. I know. She's okay. Yeah, she's okay. <laughs> she's all right. Little Bob, little baby water, little little water. They're nice. Got these kits coming up as well. Oh, it's catching. You could reuse them, yes. Um, just to mention, is it Janet that's messaged in? Was it Janet? Was it Janet? Janet. Janet, Janet, Janet. You're having a bit of a bother. Okay, oh. now you've moved house and you're worried about where your delivery is going. I get it. We can't do anything live in the studio, neither can my producer, but could you do me a favour? If you call the free phone number at the bottom of the screen, 0800 001 4433, ask any one of that amazing call centre upstairs and they will sort you out. Oh, We're not yes. having you lose your delivery, lovely. Okay, so Janet, yeah. please just pick up the phone to the call centre, my darling. Right. Yeah. And Sorry, if, Janet. No, and if any further problems, you know, we're just... It's not a problem, Janet, because... Make that's crafty. We'll make sure it gets to the right address. Brilliant. Okay, it's a personal service. No, Jeff, it? absolutely. Yeah. There's, there's no question. Great, thank you. Right. So what I'm doing now? Now this is your personal <laughs> choice. Everybody that knows me knows I work a lot with my fingers. So you don't mind getting dirty? No, fingers were maybe for spatulas in. <laughs> Look my at me! Eyes. I shoved my fingers and, uh, straight yeah. in the jar. <laughs> So, I mean, obviously, you know, and you can see it's non-toxic. It's yeah. not going to hurt you. Yeah. But this is personal choice. Okay. okay. Um, the reason why I tend to um, do this is because I, I feel that it gets in where I want it to go. You can feel now, it, can't you? It's yes, like you gardening without gloves, isn't I know, it? You I know, I know. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting this. This is the holographic texture paste. I'm just popping it on top of some of these beautiful, beautifully cut snowflakes. Now you've got quite a few. You've got this, this one here, you've got one here. So that's one, two, three, four. You've got five, you've got six, you've got some here. So put did, a little bit in the middle there. I did look. pick these up because I can't get over the detail. It's, it's, it really is, they do such an amazing job of the MDF, they really do. Um, now what, um, what I've also done before we started, I did do a little bit because, again, you don't want to watch me just doing this because I want to get onto the painting of the actual pieces itself. But if you can see, oh, there's just a little bit here that I want to actually just add a little bit onto. Okay. So it's entirely up to you as to what you want to do with it. Now, the other thing, of course, is mm. uh, we do have stencils. And I do believe we've got these on the show, but they I know we haven't got them on the counter because mm -hmm. we've got... Um, the kits out but the stencils that we've got um you can actually work these obviously onto your mdf okay and really sort of make it a lot more dimensional as well Brilliant. so and anything of course that you've got at home as well so yeah. just just bear in mind if you are a crafter already and you're not just starting out then have a have a little look to see Absolutely. what you've got make it your own and yeah. i can't wait to see what yeah. they're all going to look know, like make your own point set your flowers oh um, you know make you know put a well, put a photograph on well you know when i saw the flower oh, forming the fo so. foam <laughs> foam flower forming forming fl flower foam coming up in 20 minutes <laughs> that'd be perfect for this <laughs> And after a night out, not that I, not that I do that very often <laughs> anymore, but us three going honestly, out. can you imagine? Can you what was that you used yeah. into my flower forming foam? <laughs> um, anyway. But seriously, though, if you wanted to add flowers and anything like yeah. that, it's entirely your project. Yeah, the choice so is yours. The choice is yours. Now, the other little thing that you could do, and I have done this in a couple of places um, prior to actually um, coming on air. Mm. Um, where I've got some of the um, the texture paste, and it's a shame because obviously I know you can't touch it and you can't feel how lovely it is. I mean, you can obviously, but um, I've also gone over with the stippling brush because I had a little bit of paint left on it and okay. just done a little bit of the pearl. N don't do it all over the texture paste because what you're going to do is you, you might lose some of those lovely mm. holographic Details. flecks. Yeah. yeah. Now, the other thing is, of course, with the snowflakes being so detailed, what you need to do is you just need, if you've just um, stippled over them or whatever, 
just and these are old tweezers. Uh, please don't think I'm using a oh, pokey best tool. One. Pokey uh, tool. Yeah. Um, an old, uh, cocktail stick. Oh, uh, that's a good skewer, one. Yeah. Anything like that. Just pop kebab stick through kebab stick. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Just pop through the the little pieces so that you're keeping that dimension. The detail, yeah. Yeah. Uh, can I just really quickly say the wreaths are getting very close to us. Sell out the kits. We will get to the boxes, but if you want this wreath kit. We've only got 15 minutes left of the hour, so um, please, please, please check that wreath out quickly. We do not want you to miss out. Okay, sorry. Um, now, I can't promise anything, but it won't be coming back. So today's the I day? I think this oh. is the day. Okay. Yes, so okay. So, grab it while you can. So, yeah. So, um, yeah. So What's that spray then? That, right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to now have a little play Ooh. with the sprays. Now, we do have these on the show in the sets. Oh, so again, they are um, sets of three. Sets of three, but they've been put together mindfully. So you you've got sets that will go together. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. They're not just random colours. No, that they've just picked just willy nilly. They all work together. They do. So okay. some of them are lusters, and some of them are what we call flat mats. So okay. the lusters um, have got mica in them. So of course you're going to get that beautiful mica. Um, and then the flat mats, obviously, going to give you the colour that is actually in in the bottle itself. Great. Now I have to say, I did not expect that. Eight pound ninety seven yes. for a set of three. Yes. And they just spray. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's sim simple as yeah. So yeah. which colour range? So this is set one. So if I show you here, look, the set one. So you've got that Christmas green, you've got that lovely frost, and you've got the Christmas red. Okay. So eight pounds ninety-seven. Obviously, when you when you spray them, they look different because they're very concentrated in here, aren't they? Yes, but they are still an, a super colour. I'm, yeah. yeah. So the ones with the lustres. So these are lustres. You can see at yeah. the bottom. Okay. So you do need to just give them a little bit of bit of a uh, shake. Just agitate them, but don't shake them up and down. And it's the same with any squirty like bottle. That? Shake. Don't shake them up and down. Oh. Go. You know, um, oh, I never knew do, this. Just agitate them like this. Why? Okay, because it gets air into the nozzle and then it just basically doesn't give you an even spray. Just I love, 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 I guess. Who knew that? <laughs> it's just any spray. That's an matter. experience tip, that is. It doesn't matter what spray it Aren't is. That interesting? It really interesting? Yeah, so especially oh. with the lusters because of course the lusters have got the the tiny mica in them yeah. so it will actually go into just, your nozzle. just roll it yeah like you oh. would nail varnish oh okay. if you have your nails done i i don't because i've got no nor me sitting no. And done. i just no. throw stuff on myself but if you do you'll notice that i have beautician now you said that yes yeah it's i've very, seen a friend do it i don't actually do it. it's very rare you actually see anybody shake anything like that just because i know you're also thinking please 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 can we just get back to the demo and um, each set is going to be that price is it alex so if you want that's collection one collection two collection three collection four eight pounds 97 Mm. Okay, but if you want the frost, the Christmas red, the Christmas green, it's this set here at £8.97. And the other thing is, once you've finished and you've emptied the bottle and you've used all your colour up, use it for mixing your own. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Okay. So I've actually got the Aqua, which is actually one of the flat matte sprays. Okay. Anybody that knows me knows it's one of my favourite colours, so okay. that's not a difficult one for me to use. <laughs> and I've just sprayed a little bit onto the mat here. And all I'm doing now is, again, with that stippling, same stippling brush, oh, I'm just tipping the edges of my snowflake. All right, just the snowflakes that oh, are on here. Very frozen. Not, yeah, just really mm. just, it's going with the, the whole sort of icy, keeping yeah. the icy feel to it. Uh, what it will do is it will obviously soak into this lovely texture mm. that you've already got. But what I do love about it is it still keeps that lovely holographic yeah. feel. You can yeah. see that, can't you? Yeah. Um, um, just quickly, if you want the aqua, it's collection two. Okay, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm going to sh I'm going to do the f show the frost in a minute as well, which is absolutely gorgeous. Now the other thing you can do with these sprays is you can actually use them to paint with, mm. and you will have seen me using these on many occasion to actually paint with. Um, because they are beautiful, really gorgeous to paint with. So if you... Um, very strong. They are very strong. So, yeah, I mean, really, I've used hardly any. Talk, so yeah. actually, I didn't really need... I only I only sprayed one good spray out, so I didn't really need that much. But just dotting it around 
And of course, what you can do is, if you get a little bit, and I will admit, I have got a little bit, of, I'm going to have to take that off. I do beg oh, your pardon. I don't like wasting that. But okay. um, if you've got a little bit that you've gone a little bit heavier with mm -hmm. and you would prefer it not to be. Oh, you just go back over with the... Yeah, just, ah. just go back over a lot and then that... That sort of takes it back a, a little bit. Oh, that's off. clever. It's well, it's just layering. Yeah. It's just layering, and then so you don't have to worry no. if, you, no. if you feel you've gone a bit heavy-handed or no, not at all. No, that, that's there we go. set that we've got on the screen is the silver, the gold, and the aqua that Joe's using right now for eight pound ninety. Right. So now this is the frost. So what we've got in the luster sprays, you've that's got these beautiful yeah. micas. So you can see there. So. All I'm going to do is just give, they, they, they're not as vibrant in colours, mm. but they've got that beautiful... Yeah, like a hint of. Yeah, absolutely. Lovely. So I'm just going over, just over a couple of the areas that I've just stippled. Now, I would normally then just go over with a heat tool or just leave it to air dry. How long for? Well, roughly, oh, I would say air dry and I'd maybe leave it in a nice warm room um for maybe an hour well, not too long oh though. no 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 not at all i mean oh, if i got my okay. hand tool out it yeah. would be a couple of minutes oh, not even that even really <laughs> um so but i'm just going to just wipe we that. will get this box i don't know whether you want to pop the box uh, um kit on just to i know honestly the box that you're going to miss out mm, the box kit is just exquisite i love it um if you have a little look inside um inside i think uh Shelly, uh, this is one of uh, Shelly's, and also the green one is yeah. Shelly's. And then Fliss has actually done um, the middle one and the smaller oh. one. Mm. Aren't Look they gorgeous? They're absolutely, they yeah. are. So you get this uh, this size and you get the smaller size in the kit. And, oh, it's, oh. I mean, they are, it, this is not um, a one-trick pony. You know when we make boxes of course I do all the time yeah you know cards and paper and everything else and then you maybe send it in a gift I would think this is more of a decoration maybe absolutely or, um, something to yep. actually do but again you can make these up in your own design and you can sell them brilliant Brilliant. So any craft fairs that are coming up, then, you know, that's that would be ideal. So we are going to go back. I just don't want us running out of time and then everybody's saying, oh, my goodness me, I've been adding my eye on them Christmas bow boxes and you didn't do them. We're not having that. We're going to... You get one of the small and one of the large in the kit. Again, the instructions, everything you need in the kit. Again, all the paints. Now, you know, can you see these as well? Now, you see the Christmas tree around the lid and the snowflakes. We've got masks as well, which means to it, some of us, you might class it as a... Could you still class a mask as a stencil? Or it's a they, ste no, there's, there's a difference. There is a difference. Yeah, that, that's a stencil. Okay. So you're stenciling through. So with it is a, a stencil. A, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But can you see... Oh, hang on, let me get the right one. In the, in the kit, yeah, those snowflakes, Laura and Graham have thought of everything. The mm. snowflakes are there. And then in the lid... Did, 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 look, you haven't going to be able to draw a Christmas tree. They've thought of everything. Thought I mean, of everything. It's, you've even got an MDF bow, Joe. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Everything that you see, apart from the little tag yep. that Shelley's just um, popped on and then just a little bit of this lovely twine, everything else is, is in, the, in kit. the kit. For just £31.99. Mm. Brilliant. Yeah, but you've got... Uh, you've got so sorry. You've got the two. You've got the box, haven't you? Yes. The boxes. Yep. And then, so if you also look at the colours of the boxes, uh -huh. these are the paints. The, the paints. So these these paints. The four paints that you yeah. got there. Oh, yeah. they? Yeah. So they're in they're in the kit. Oh, you get that as well. Ah, oh, you yeah. do get everything. Yeah. Oh gosh. So you get the MDF. So let's start again. Right. So you've got the this box. Yep. And the small box. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You've got four paints. Which, which are here. Yes. Yeah. And I do I do believe are there different colours? Yes. So you've got in the, you've got ocean, you've got metallic silver, you've got metallic rose gold, and then you've also got lavender. Do you get all those colours? Yeah. And and you've got the texture paste as well. Do you get the texture paste as well? Okay. What about the adhesive? Everything. That's Everything. There you get. Oh gosh. Okay. So, right. Here we go. We'll get there in a minute. Right. That's my. That's my fault. All the the large box, the small box, the texture paste, the adhesive, the four colours of the paints, 
and all the instructions and all the all the MDF to create a large box and a small box for a ridiculously brilliant. Thank you very much, Laura and Graham. Thirty one ninety nine. Superb, isn't okay. it? Just wanted to get that. Just wanted to get that on air for you while we're doing uh, this wonderful. Well, watching this lovely demo with Joe. Right. So obviously we've got all our different elements. So we can do what we like with yeah. them. You know, you can paint them whatever colour you want. Um, you can um, you can really go to town with them if you if you want jazzy or just keep them neutral. You can just keep them all one colour, like like Shelley did. On yeah. Hers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what I like to do is um, I'm giving it a little bit of texture by actually dabbing the paint. So sort of like it's a sort of like a stippling effect, really. Mm. But it's giving it a little bit of texture, and because the paint is such good quality, yeah, you can actually do this. It's not going to run down the side or anything. So you can see this is the gold. Oh, lovely! Um, and just dabbing that on, so that you get a little bit of interest as well. Yeah. You can just paint it on, of course, whatever please, you know, whatever way you want to do it, and just. Just give it, yeah, so you'll just need to add your paintbrush, but mm. we've all got those yeah. hanging around, haven't we? So. so. And if not, you can get yeah. them really. I've just Yes, you can. Why well, yeah. do we have paintbrushes on our website? I'm sure we? that you do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right, so you can see there, really, really easy, very straightforward. Oh, just that little bit there, look. Now, again, I did, like I said, I did gesso them but prior to because... Then that gave me the choice of what I wanted to do. But also in those kits, if you don't want to do that and buy the gesso, you can water down the white that's in the wreath kit as well. Yes. Brilliant. Okay. If you wanted just to go for a kit yeah. and you wanted to try it out, you didn't want to buy a lot of extra because that's we don't want you to have to do that. Well, this is a that's the idea of a kit. Yeah. So you've got everything there. Yeah. It is possible to use that white, but Brilliant. do water it down because I do feel that it's a little bit thicker than yeah, what... Yeah, a bit gloopy, um, isn't it? Well, yeah. it's just that it's yeah. a very, very good quality yeah. glue. Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, paint, um, paint, and it'd be a shame, really. Uh -huh. um, so this is the brown, and you know we were talking about earlier about mixing colours? Yes. So I'm taking a little bit of the chestnut brown, which is a really, really rich, mm. lovely, lovely rich one. And then um, what we can do, we can add a little bit of um, the white in it as well. I'm getting right down to the bottom of this. Oh, I know. <laughs> Ooh, so just okay. mix it around a little bit. And then I think I've got enough. I'm not sure. And then obviously just paint. Yeah. It takes really well on the MDF, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it? it takes beautifully. And even if you didn't, um, if you didn't gesso it first, mm. it would still paint really well. Yeah. The only thing is, of course, have, have we got? Oh, I ain't got. It absorbs it, would, it in quicker, doesn't well, it? Well, no, it, it's it's um it's obviously going to be a little bit darker because mm. you've got that dark wood colour of oh, the MDF yeah. rather than the neutral colour of the white. Um, so it does make a little bit of a difference there. So I think I needed a little bit more brown, but that's okay. So we just add, but of course you can do that. If you're really clever at painting, you can um, do your shading, mm. and you can add highlights and all sorts of things, you know. And you won't be like poor Joe with three minutes to go no. trying to get every bit of this demo in. <laughs> Which, <laughs> sorry, Joe. No, it's all right. But we, well, we knew it. That was going to yeah. be an impossible thing. But because I mean, I, I spent. Well, several evenings painting. It's a labour of love, this. Isn't yeah, it? I, I actually um, I normally work in my um, my unit and do everything, but I did actually take this home um, a couple of evenings to sit and do it by the telly. Yeah, enjoy yourself. I was sat and watching telly while I was doing it. Yep. So just giving that, and like I say, if you wanted to do a little bit of um, shading, you know that sort of thing. It's entirely up to Absolutely. you. Absolutely. But there we go. So you can see how easy oh, that is. It's a little bit darker in the studio. It looks a little bit yeah. lighter. But and then you see what you would do is obviously marry up your oh, lovely yeah. reindeer. So then you can see the score lines there. Yeah. So this is why, if you see around the edges, this is why I've stippled that lovely pearl yeah, yeah. around the edges because you can see that still. That's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, and then you really would just work on each individual one. Now, what I'm going to do is, if it's okay, I'm just going to bring in the original one because I want to just show you a couple of little bits and bobs that I've added as highlights. Great. How long have we got left, lovely? 
a minute and a half, but just really quickly, if you've got 10% yes. of the stock is still locked into baskets for the wreath. So if you want to make sure you get them, do please check out. And as Joe said, you we will don't love them. think we're going to get these back. So if you want them... I, I can't, I, I don't think so. No, so, so today's the day, really, last chance to look. We're now looking at beginning of September. Yeah. So we, okay. you know, it, it needs to be... And it is a project that you want to be getting on with do. as well, yeah. don't you? Um, so. Crafters, everybody, Denise, Sandra, Julia, Paulette, Nicola, everybody trying to Thank check you. out there. Thank you for supporting Laura and Graham and I'll yes. be Joe. Um, and also get the box one as quickly as you can. Sorry, lovely. No, that's okay. No, that's important. Um, so just want to add a couple of little things that I've done right. For instance, very, very simply, on the gingerbread man, I've put a couple of buttons. Oh. Just very simple bits. In the middle of the parcel, um, I've actually just put some uh, glossy accents and I've put some seed beads in. Um, well, micro beads. But also, you might, you might be able to, because obviously, Jewelry Maker Channel, we do resin. Oh, I know. Could you put resin in? Yeah, definitely. In oh. fact, it was almost going to be resin, and then I know because I do play around with resin oh. at home. I know. I say play loosely. <laughs> um, um, and then here, I've got these. Um, um, I've had them for ever, ah. um, and they're, they're just little, little glass. Well, not glass. They're plastic little beady things. Put those in the um, middle of drops, the. Yeah. Um, in the middle of those. You put gilding flakes um, on. Oh, of course, oh. gilded flakes would be so, oh, it'd be just lovely. Um, uh, glossy, glossy flakes. accents. I've just put a little bit of gloss on. Now, also, if you can see on the top of the stocking there, I've put some of the texture paste. Oh, is that what you've and done? And then, yeah, it gives you a lovely texture. And at the top of the uh, little gloves there. Mm -hmm. Now, also, there's lots and lots of these stars. little stars and bits, and you can really put them wherever Whatever you, you want, like. Can't yeah. You? Yeah, you can put, and um, that could, sorry, you want to, no, you're going to want to, no, no, I mean, no. that could just go on your little stocking. Of course it can. You raise it up again. Of course it can. Yeah. You can put them wherever you like. Um, but yeah, so I've put, a, I've put a snowflake in the middle of the bauble. Yeah. You could even really, I should have maybe have put a little bit of twine in the top oh, of that bauble. Oh, that would have been nice, Because that would have, yeah. Or a little have, metal yeah. wire or something yeah, as well. Yeah, a yeah. little bit of twirly wire with some little yeah. seed beads on or something. You really Lots can of do creativity, so much. yeah. This is a real craft. Yeah, project, what isn't I it? would call a real get your teeth yeah, into. Yeah, and have a field day. Mm. Absolutely. But I love the boxes as well. I, they really I'm are. I'm sorry we didn't special. get time to spend on the boxes, but I'm just a little bit alarmed. I know people that are home checked out saying, oh, come on, you don't even have to remind us. But we've all forgotten something in our basket and kicked ourselves the next day, and then you can't get it. I did do that last week. Thank you for reminding me of how painful that was last week. Oh, Hon yes. On the honky dory day, I forgot. On the there was a there was a there was a sale day. I had it all in my basket. Forgot. Eighteen minutes past midnight. I remembered, and it, it had all gone, and I hadn't checked. Out. <laughs> I completely forgot. Anyway, oh, there you go. But you missed out on all that stuff. Yeah, thanks for reminding me, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> you did that last week. <laughs> um, Joe, yes. well, that's been a pleasure. Thank you so, oh, it's, oh, so it's much. It's an absolute pleasure working with Thank you. Thank you, really and you'll have to do it again. I hope that you've, um, well, maybe five o'clock, should we? Oh, that's a point. <laughs> should I show you what I'm going to do at five o'clock? Really? Yeah, then we'll go... Yeah, oh, wow. If you, like, if you like cinema, if you like films... Yeah. Look oh. at that. And look at that. Everything you need for that. I'd come, it's four o'clock, I, I was gone. Yeah. Was you going home? Oh, I was. Sorry. <laughs> no, don't. Joe, you're an absolute pleasure. I'm, we've got to move on. I to know you have. Because <laughs> if you like, apparently, foams, flowers and forming, the next hour is for you and you wait till you see. It's going to be fantastic. So do please join us after the break. <laughs> When you purchase anything on Hobbymaker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobbymaker. Hobbymaker are going on the road, and our first stop is the Created event, taking place at the Kent Showground in Maidstone on Friday the 30th of September and Saturday the 1st of October. Come along and say hello as we bring you an exclusive shopping experience with our craft concierges. Ready to go with show only discounts, free goodie bags, and an opportunity to take part in the world's largest tangled wall. Or you could even strike it lucky in our tombola. Get your tickets now by logging on to createdevents.com forward slash shop 
And by using the code MAKER, you'll get an extra 25% discount off your day ticket. So join us on Friday the 30th of September and Saturday the 1st of October at the Kent Showground in Maidstone. We'll see you there. If you want to search our website for your favourite brands, simply go to hobbymaker.co.uk, click on Brands, and you'll find all your favourite items all in one place. Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one P&P. Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. We have some exciting news. Hobbymaker has been nominated in the Best of Crafts Awards for 2022. We're so amazed that nearly six months have flown by since we launched Hobbymaker and we couldn't have done it without the Hobbymaker family. Thanks to all the presenters and guests for entertaining us and inspiring us every day and for all the viewers for tuning in for all the fun. We're lucky enough to be nominated for two awards in our first year which are the Most Loved TV Shopping Channel and Dave Bradford for Male Craft Personality of the Year. To vote, please head to our website to find all the details you need to get involved. Thank you for your support and votes. Hobbymaker are live from 1pm to 6pm every day on Sky Channel 670, Freesat Channel 807 and Freeview Channel 73. You can also watch on YouTube via some smart TVs, your computer and phone. Hi, Pauline here. I'd just like to say join me Thursday 8th of September to see my brand new stamp sets. My stamp sets are a little bit floral, a little bit quirky, something a little bit different. So I hope you can join me this Thursday, 8th of September on Hobby Maker. It couldn't be easier to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Is it Cena? <laughs> <laughs> I just hello everybody. I just I am going to be known as the as the per, the senior presenter on 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 Hobby Maker that just cannot get the words in the right order. <laughs> yeah, not manic, not isn't like senior, as in just senior in age. <laughs> so I just said to Debbie of Crafters Companion, I just went. So, for, I'm going to get it wrong all right now. Still, so they're forming flower foam. What is it? <laughs> flower forming foam. Flower forming, you see my problem. <laughs> flower forming foam. Flower forming foam. I'm so sorry, Debbie. <laughs> Sarah's going to be so ringing funny. up again. We're not having her again. <laughs> it is a bit of a tongue twister, isn't it? Flower, so flower forming, forming foam. Flower forming foam. Yes. Flower forming foam. Flower forming, flower foam. forming foam. Yes. So it's flowers so that form, form from foam. foam. Remember that, Zena. <laughs> right. So is this brand new today again? Uh, well, we have had it before. I'm not sure if we've had it on Hobby Maker. So mm. um, it could be new to Hobby Maker, but I've got a feeling Corinne might have brought it to us before. So uh, Ah, right. Okay. I think she's on. Is she on with us tomorrow, Corinne? Oh. God, I feel she might be. I Any... think it's Jan. Oh, is it Jan? I think Jan's uh. in tomorrow, yes. Which, what? Oh, you've got the birdhouse. There is so many. So we do do foam and we also do felt flowers as well. So there is a few different options on the show, yes. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Now, this is the... Flower forming foam. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Horrible close-up, I apologise. There you go. Nobody needs any more than that. So, what... These kits... 
the colour variations are absolutely divine. Yeah, they're aren't amazing, they? aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me just explain yes, just please. a little bit before we look at it what fo what foam is. Okay. Uh, this is not your regular foam that you buy in um, a sort of any stores where, do you know, you can cut kids' shapes out of it and you can just stick them onto things. So I always remember foam as being foam shapes that kids can craft Oh, I with. see what you mean. I'm thinking foam party in Magaluf and Ibiza, yeah, but that was a whole different thing. remember foam shapes. So it's yes. not that type of foam. This foam is really pliable. It's like stretchy. Now you can warm it up with your fingers and huh? it will stretch. Okay. You can warm it up with your heat tool and it will stretch. We're going to use an iron today. Oh. So there's lots of different ways of doing it. And you'll see, it's like magic. It works before your eyes. So after you've uh, done your bit, we're going to show you exactly how you can uh, do your flower forming foam. Flower forming <laughs> foam. Brilliant. So the thing is as well, um, I said to Debbie earlier, because what comes in this, which is which I think is genius, in the kit, you also get that this little accessory pack. Which I don't know if you can see there, look, you've got some uh, you've got some white ribbon, you've got some beautiful pom-pom balls, but you've also got two different designs of key ring, one with a lobster clip and one as a standard key ring, and then the three hold brilliant brooch pins. So I said to Debbie earlier. <laughs> 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 this is what's been going on tonight and I promise no alcohol has been on site today so I said before the show to Debbie I went oh could you make your own puppies <laughs> you make your own puppies I said puppies oh she said puppies can't make my own puppies <laughs> <laughs> Be, I tell you what, you'd make a fortune if you could, wouldn't you? Let's face it. I don't even have a dog. Well, there you go. <laughs> but you're going to get the now these dies, and when we say dies, in 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 this in this amazing collection, fourteen mm. dies. Yeah, these are multimedia dies, mm -hmm. which means not only can you cut your foam, you can cut felt with these, which is why we've got a big wad of felt. In Haven't we just? And when we say a big wad of felt in the most glorious colours that... What, will it cut any other sort of textiles and fabrics? Oh, absolutely. Leather, faux leather, cork, um, mount board. Oh, brilliant. Any, anything you think of mixed media, which is not just your general cardstock. 3D die cutting machine. Yeah. Now, can you see on the front, not a puppy, but there is a puppy. We're going to make a puppy as well. Did you say, sorry. Oh, wait. Mm. Oh. Um, there was just on that recording, sorry. Sorry, Dan. See, look, there you go. Look, there's your poppy. Yes. So you could make a wreath, you could make a mask, you could make a card, you could make a birdhouse, you could make, add uh, to a clutch bag with the foam forming flowers. No, flower form, oh. <laughs> flower forming foam. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's better to say it quickly and then it's okay. Flower forming foam. Flower forming foam, it's not good enough. <laughs> it's not good enough. But anyway. <laughs> So sorry. But this isn't flower forming foam, this is felt. This is felt. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I just go home? <laughs> Everybody's like, would you? <laughs> the crew are like, yeah, bye. <laughs> anyway, sorry. So, in this kit, are we going to do the felt or the foam? We can do whichever you want to do first. Oh. Mm. What do you think, Alex? The foam. <laughs> so that I have to keep There's a lot of different foam sets. So there maybe are. the felt is. Should we do the to felt first? With. Yes. Felt first. That get yeah. that gives me a reproof. So okay. So just to mention again, you get the now the. So how many dies? You get two sets of dies. Get two sets. Do you? Of dyes. That's twenty-seven dies. And a lot of flowers that you can make with Why these. Gosh, yes. I did not know that. So you're getting the uh, flower dies in both, fourteen yep. in one and thirteen in the other. That is a lot of metal. That is, if I just turn it around briefly, look for you. Mm. 27 different metal dies there. These are amazing, honestly. Yeah, if you want to be able to just create so many different flowers, there's lots of different petals on here. There's your stamens on there. That This is an incredible set. Isn't it have. just? Mm. Um, what I will just say as well, joking aside, now who knew? Oh, I'll show you in a minute, but oh, I'm, I'm getting too excited. Mm -hmm. The dies. The accessory pack with the brooch pins, the key ring, the lobster claw, the pom poms, and the ribbon, and this huge bumper felt bundle for your blue. Seventeen sheets, twenty-four by twenty-two centimeters. Seventeen sheets. Mm, it's a lot. It is a lot. 
And you're going to get, obviously, some uh, wonderful inspiration from the wonderful uh, Our Gorgeous Crafters companion and the beautiful Debbie. <laughs> um, that feels really nice quality felt. It's very good quality. So, you know, with some felts, it's sort of f quite fibrous yeah. and uh, it stretches a bit. This is not like that at all. It's amazing quality. So you could stitch into that felt as you well, can couldn't you? absolutely stitch into that, yes. Yeah. Do you know how oh, I knew that? In case anybody's... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spill the beans. If anybody's actually thinking, oh, she knows, she knows something. That, there's a picture of needles on the front. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at that. Like, you can stitch on this, can't you? Don't give away your secrets. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be up front. <laughs> it's actually called threaders. <laughs> so that's quite helpful. Um, can I just show this as well? Do you mind? Because this is really, really... I mean, mm -hmm. there's the most incredible... Oh, headband. This... Not a headband. But look at that. Beautiful wreath that's been created here. And, and then that really shows you the type of different petals that you've got, it? different flowers that you can do. Those pom-poms are being used on the side there. So buttons. Oh, look. buttons there. I thought they were yeah. the pom-poms then. For some oh, right, lovely. Welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> There's pom-poms in the middle of the flower. Ah, yes, there There's are. There's your pom-poms. But I've also got something else to show you in a moment. Little, uh, little, little Home bird. decor, yes. Wouldn't that look lovely on the wall? Now, if you're thinking, as, yeah, somebody's got a new home, nice idea, Dan. How about little flower girls? Yeah? That's nice. Very it? pretty. Let me show you this. Now, if you look at the... Oh, hello, sunflowers. I know. Mm -hmm. Isn't that glorious? Yep. Nice spring little fair. Yep. Yeah? Now, have you got a clutch bag that you're a bit bored of? Yeah, Dan said yes. Going to a festival. Exactly. How about sprucing up your clutch bag? Go to a charity shop and get a clutch bag. They've yeah. always got them. Absolutely. Yeah. And then add, on, add in those beautiful flowers. Now, if you're thinking, I like it, but I'm not sure about the pom-pom. I'd like some st actually like to create the stamen. She's got it all. She's got it all. I never knew this existed. You crafters companions are absolutely awesome. In every colour. <laughs> Look at this. I'll just pick one at random. Packages. Packets of actual little flower stamens in all different colours for your floral designs. Now that's clever. That is clever, isn't it? Every colour, even sort of pearly mm -hmm. flower stamens, matte flower stamens, you might just want white. They've got it all. Now those are to be bought separately. Okay, but just if you want the stamens, I mean, do you want to see those in action? I will bring the prize up. Sorry, I'm getting carried away again. Oh. <laughs> so we're going to foam ones now. They're foam. But the, is that the same stamen? Uh, no, it's a different one. <laughs> Stick to this side, Zena. <laughs> I'm just going to hand over to Debbie. It's just safer, isn't it? Let's be honest. Tell you what I'll do. I'll get the price in, which I can get right. <laughs> And then if you don't mind, I'm going to hand over to the absolute talent and the experienced crafter that stood to my right. <laughs> Instead of getting it completely wrong, all the dies, the accessory pack and those 17 sheets of the felt, I can get that bit right, 41 night. That's a great buy price. It's a good saving, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really good price. Now, considering you are getting multimedia dies, I do want to show you just in each pack. So if I open this out, um, now this is our threaders. If I open this out, just like so. Oh, so that's the, that's what comes with the that That's felt. what comes with each pack of your flower dies. Oh. Right, so don't feel like you'll get home, you won't know what to do with all of these. These are all your petals. These are all your petals in picture form, so you know exactly where they are. Here it tells you that you can create two or three flowers. I mean, obviously you can create different ones if you want, depending on how you put them. Yeah. But you've got your poppy, your primrose and your blossom flower here. Oh. And it tells you exactly how many to cut out of which petals. Oh, so I know here it says I need four extra small petals. So I know here for my poppy dies, I need to cut out four of the extra small petals. Oh. So the extra small one would be this die here. And then it tells me that I need four four of my other petals. So you literally follow this to what you have. Then there is picture and step-by-step -step instructions for your it's poppy, like building by for numbers your primrose, almost. absolutely, yeah. and for your blossom. Now, obviously, if you stitch, 
perfect you yeah. can stitch them uh, I can't sew for toffee I literally can sew a button on badly that's uh, that's about my um, my extent so I'm going to be using a hot glue gun which we haven't got in yet but I'm sure we will have soon yeah. and the only reason being is because it's a quick fix mm. so you can use glue gel so there is our uh, Kalau old uh, 3d glue gel um, and this is perfect apart from it takes about an hour to be touched dry okay because I want to do them quickly the hot glue gun is going to be able to do Great. that okay now the one you've that's got on the there, website and uh, craft that's on the way it's on the show so they can oh shop, right, yeah, shop it on the show Brilliant. now if I bring in the other one you're the one you're showing there which is I'm pretty sure yeah this is the sunflower one so on the Ooh, other yeah. pack so remember that's only one pack that you're getting this other pack this one now tells us how to do our sunflowers wow uh, and again tells us what petals we've got we've got our uh, sunflower we've got our anemone uh, anemone and we've got our rose lovely and that shows you exactly how to construct those as well in picture form as well which I really like because sometimes visuals really important for absolutely people. and sometimes you read the instruction and someone that's wrote it is not is not always explaining it the way you would explain exactly. it it's, it's, so it's like a stumbling block sometimes absolutely isn't it? Yeah. yeah so these guys are brilliant and you can see how many you're getting on there there's just loads on here to make so many Incredible. different flowers and I think the main thing that we can't forget is these are multimedia dies exactly. so you can cut anything yeah. I mean, you could cut your tin cans up if you want emboss them through a machine have you ever done that yeah 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 like your aluminium drink cans you mean yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. wow aluminium drink cans, yeah cut your mixed media dies up yeah put them Brilliant. in an embossing folder and emboss a detail onto them because then it's it blunts the edges so oh, your edges aren't sharp anymore that. and oh, then you brilliant. can put them on your mixed media and um, the the things that Joe was showing in Those the earlier reads, show, the MDF, you can put them yeah. on there because they're all mixed media, cork, hessian, all that sort of thing, these are going to cut Brilliant. out for you, Brilliant. So, uh, yeah, which is amazing. $41.99 for that kit with the 27 dies, the 17 sheets of that high quality felt and the accessory pack as well, the stamens are coming up later, okay, so don't worry about that my lovelies, $41.99. Okay, $41.99. Brilliant. Absolutely beautiful. I love this as well with the little little hair band. Yeah, I won't put it in because then, then they want to put a close-up on my face and that's not helpful to anybody. <laughs> Please, no, boys, do not do that. Oh, they're little devils. <laughs> now, what are you demoing for us today? I think we'll do the poppy to start with oh, and then we'll get on to some flower-forming foam yes, afterwards. Yes, please. So, yeah, Is that absolutely. okay, Alex, if we hand over to our Debbie? Wonderful, mm. thank you. Let's do it. So we've got that beautiful um, felt. Uh, I've got my instructions and I've got my dies. Now, what's great about this felt is you don't just cut through one layer. Ooh. So I am going to fold it and then I'm going to fold it again. Oh, so that's cost saving as well then. Absolutely. And time saving. Absolutely. So I'm just making sure we get the most out of our felt. So I'm actually folding it three times, mm. which is quite thick when you think how thick thick felt is that's, um, that's a lot to cut through uh, it's one of the reasons I love this demo because using a multimedia die and being able to cut through so many layers of a fibrous material yeah. uh, is very impressive. impressive so the thing you all that you have to remember if you're using the Gemini now I say that because if you're using any other die cutting machine refer to your user manual okay. I do know that crafters companion um, I'm not quite sure where it is and I have to double check but we used to do a manual for other machines and not a manual we used to give you a combination for other machines right. to use your mixed media okay. dies in uh, but just refer to your user manual and it will tell you which platform to use for mixed media dies for the Gemini all we need is our base cutting plate so I'm going to pop my uh, felt onto there. I'm going to take out my pl my magnetic. Mm -hmm. So take that out. And all I need is my plastic shimmer, my top plate. Okay. okay. And that is, again, in the user manual for the Gemini. Uh, then we're going to cut our dies. So let's pop our poppy ones all on here. Let's use oh, so you can do them more than one at a go. Yes, at a oh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely, yes. So let's just pop them onto there, trying to be as frugal as possible. So let's pop that that down onto there and yeah we can just fit those on and then we want our stamen so that's telling me to cut this little stamen yeah. here 
so we're going to just pop that right at the top so we don't use too much of our material and then all I'm going to do is pop my plastic shim just over the top there and then this one onto there. Now sometimes you might find when you're using your mixed media dies or multimedia dies you might need your Gemini metal shim to go through so if it doesn't cut first time you work out your own machine yeah. and you get to know pressure. it don't you and you your can, own relationship. Can you hear it? It makes this sort of crunchy yeah. because it's what's cutting through so it's really working hard there's optical sensors in the Gemini so they really work hard to cut through um, to that material and then if I bring those out so we've got this one here so so this one and actually I did think I was being optimistic when I put it through because it's quite a feathered die yeah. but these ones should uh, so we would have needed my um, that's always the way, isn't it, when you do live TV. When I did it at home, it cut through all of these. So I'm Yeah, but this is interesting about. because actually it's a learning curve so that actually to see what you would then do to rectify it, I think is really key Yeah, to absolutely. And what I would have done, and the reason I didn't is because I don't have it on me, I would have normally put my um, metal shim in. But because I haven't got my metal shim, I haven't got that to put in. So um, I don't think, Alex, yours will fit into our machine. So um, okay. yeah, it, I have got one, it's learn, just though. in our cupboard um, that stage. So if you wouldn't mind, that would be great. Oh, so bless, they've gone off to try and find that in. They are you. very good, aren't they? Oh, Jimmy's in to the oh, rescue. Oh, look, Jimmy to the rescue, of course. Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> right, so let's just pop that on there. So that's all you need to do. So that comes with your Gemini, and that's exactly what I would have done straight away. We've got okay. another die there, haven't we? So this is great to learn, that. though, lovely. Yeah, absolutely, yes. Yeah, mm. uh, and uh, yeah, they can definitely go wrong. And also, we have a different machine to what I have. In fact, instead of trying to line them up, I'm just going to cut them again. Otherwise, okay. they could all slip. So yeah. well, let's just line them up. That Easier way. visually as well, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So popping them over there, and then we will run those through. So just pop them in and offer that into the mouth of your machine and then that will cut them no problem whatsoever. So yeah, when you're using a, a multimedia die, uh, just use your metal shim and that will help then just put that cut into them. So let's take those ones out. Mm -hmm. and, oh, I forgot my metal shim was in there. Oh, you can see straight away now that's cut through that no problem really whatsoever. Is. So if I take those away, that gives us all of our pieces. Now, if we really look closely to those, what's quite amazing about that yeah. is the fact that there's no fraying around the edges. It really picks up that um, that cut line all the really way clean, around. Which isn't is, it? Yeah, yeah, totally. So it's a really nice clean line on those. And then we're going to take these ones out. I've got a little tiny bit that hasn't caught on there. So let's just trim that one off and that one as well. And it also shows the quality of the felt Isn't because I was being quite, um, uh, asking it to go through quite, quite a thick piece. Now I haven't got a finished one or finished pieces, so we're doing it totally from scratch. Okay. So let's take that one out as well. And then that one just needed trimming out of there because that one's got quite a, a few little stamens sort of uh, cut into it. So I was asking it to do an awful lot. So let's bring that out. And let's start pu putting our flower together. Just a quick update as well on the pin badge, which I had a little heart, uh, I had a little panic over again because I thought I'd lost it, but I haven't, it's here. Um, <laughs> it's <quite scary>. um, <laughs> we had a thousand on Friday, the brand new limited edition teal, no more to be seen after these have gone and we're less than 40 available. If you want them and you would like 20% off the discount code on the back of the pin, the VIP pin that will never be made again in this teal colour for a mere £3.49 with a 20% off discount code on the back that you can use any day of your choice before the end of the year, £3.49, there are only less than 40 left. Good luck. So I'm just using my hot glue gun and I'm also taking my tweezers because your hot glue gun can be quite, well it is, it's very hot. Okay. And all I'm going to do is just turn this on itself. So just turn it round once that takes. Now you can do this obviously with your um, 
uh, 3D glue gel, mm. but it will, you'd need to then let that dry. Look at that. So, but that actually then just makes our little stamens once they fluff out. Oh, Debbie, that. that's lovely. Yeah, so it makes that little stamen in the centre, no problem whatsoever. And obviously, if you don't want to cut that little stamen out, you can also use those normal yeah. stamens to, to thread through. And then all we're going to do is literally, so using these smallest ones, we're going to start by placing our glue mm -hmm. around here. So just pop in that onto here and then we can start rolling our poppy around. So pop in that, pop in our poppy. Mm -hmm. I have a poppy. She was born in November. So. Oh, that was it, your daughter? Yes. Is that why you named her yeah. poppy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aww. Just felt the right thing because it was the right mum. Oh, how respectful of that. Oh, that's yeah. lovely. Yeah, absolutely. So just popping them around. So it's just a case of, and just be careful, and I haven't burnt myself because the glue goes cold very quickly. Mm. And then all you're going to do is keep rotating those all the way around. And then you get to your bigger ones. So it just depends how big you want your poppy to be. You're right about what you were saying, uh, Zena, about the um, uh, making a poppy because it's the right month, isn't it? Absolutely. We're coming, uh, not the right month. It's the right month to start making Start them. ready for November. Yep, yeah, because that will be honest before we know, won't it? Yeah, it certainly will. And do all I'm doing is building that up. Do you know, I did a play once and it was called, um, oh gosh, what it, what, uh, it will come back to me, this play. And um, anyway, it was set in World War II, this play, and uh, my husband disappears in it and eventually he comes back. And it's the most amazing play set in World War II. And actually my friend crocheted poppies for the event and we made hundreds of pounds for the wow, Royal British yeah, Legion on imagine. these crocheted. With these brooch pins that you've got in this pack, yeah. there's the same brooch pins... Oh, but which is not what made you think exactly. Of it but how away, lovely yeah. to have it because I think felt is more traditional. I think yes. So yeah, it is, isn't it? There mm. seems to be a lot, and also I've noticed over the years a lot of people crochet them. Yes, I that's what think. these were that we had the crochet. Oh, ones. sorry, yeah, right. yeah, but the crochet ones. I yes. actually think the f I prefer the felt personally. Right. But, uh, so I'm not using all of my. Oh, I meant to do a smaller one then, and I was going to start my, my bigger talking. one. Sorry, that's though. okay. I just want to do the bigger one. I'm just trying to do these as quick as possible. So let's just put one more into here. Mm -hmm. Just so we know we're, get, we're allowing enough time to do our flowers. And then let's pop that round. So I'm doing this really quickly, but you get the idea. Gorgeous, Debbie. Yeah, so we can pop these around. And then wait for it to dry before you do anything else. I mean, obviously you're supposed to use four of them. So let's pop that round. Um, I went to uh, a 1940s um, mm. dinner dance at the weekend. So you that was, did, um, didn't you? Yeah, it was very cool. It was amazing. Yeah, I absolutely loved it. Um, we all dressed up in 1940s. Was that, so, was that um, like the flapper dress and stuff? Was it was more one? like A-line sort of dress right. and, uh, yeah, sort of collars. They had sort of, sort of cap sleeves. Right. And, uh, so mine was, um, mine was like a, a military green colour. Oh, lovely. Yeah, and there was lots of people in uniform. Oh, and how fabulous. Where was this at, lovely? This was in Leicester. Oh, great. Yeah. So there you go. You get the idea. If I just show that. Oh, oh, oh. You can see we're getting to that. So I haven't used all of them. We're making quite a small one. But just oh, build that up around. Debbie. And that's what you can start creating. Yeah. Which is isn't beautiful, that isn't lovely? It? Yeah. So I haven't done. I've done it very quickly and not very well. I would take a bit more time on that. But actually, beautiful. you can see the idea of how they're building up. And then if I bring, and then if you keep them quite flat, if I bring in my one here, all the leaves oh. here, um, you've got all these sort of big ones on here. But it really shows you, considering mm. how small the dies look, how big they are That's when a they're. Good point actually. Yeah. How does it go? I know. From, I don't know where I put my. Oh goodness me. Yeah. Oh, here they are. Awesome again. How does it go from that to that? Yeah. That's incredible. I mean, when you think of the biggest, let me bring in the biggest die, which isn't that big. Oh, yeah. That's the biggest die, but that that's starting to make this flower, which is... That's incredible, it is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is quite amazing. So, I did say um, to you before the show, I said, you, the guests that we have from our amazing brands, literally music... Uh, music. <laughs> I definitely need to get some more sleep. <laughs> Magicians. <laughs> oh, Debbie, please. 
please let me apologise to it's, all of you. It's quite okay, Zena. <laughs> <laughs> I meant magicians with how they turn these items into these incredible, but then I said musicians. <laughs> musicians. She's going to be singing in a minute. I wish I was a musician. I only could only you dream sing? of. No, no, I sing badly as well. I love singing. I sing all the time. Do you? I'm one of the, I'm one of the people in the car that's singing my heart well, out. Then you can sing. It doesn't matter how I you can't, sing. Yeah. It doesn't I, matter. I have a song that I really thought I'd nailed, and um, I used to sing it all the time in the car, and I, I, I thought I was really bad, Aww. and then one time I sung it, I thought. Actually, that weren't bad. Which one was so it? I turned it down and then sung it, and I was awful. It was the that symphony song. You wanna be my symphony? Oh, so it's quite yeah. a high That's a hard song. Sing, yeah. song to sing. I that thought is. I did it, but I really didn't. I don't know why I thought. That's hard. <laughs> That's hard song to sing, isn't it? <laughs> Do you remember that one with the pop idol with that naughty Nick at the beginning? I always remember this poor person that came over and sang and thought they were great. And he didn't mean it nastily, although he was known as Nasty Nick. At the end, this poor person, do you know what he said to the person I'll never forget? He was awful. He went, <laughs> do you know the tune? <laughs> oh, no. It's awful. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> oh, do you know what, though? As long as you're happy and you make yourself exactly, happy. You exactly, can. exactly, exactly. So that whole kit, £41.99. That is gorgeous. All those 27 re reusable metal dies. You've got the 17 sheets of that fantastic felt. You can see the poppy there, look. Uh, and that wonderful accessory kit as well. Would you like some... Thank you for that lovely demo. You're welcome. <laughs> Would you like some alternatives? Yeah? Well, we're going to move on to the... Alex. <laughs> Just to make sure I don't get it wrong. Flower forming foam dye. Have I got it right? <laughs> yes. Hey! Okay. <laughs> now, we, we have got here the four leaf clover. So you think about, um, oh no, three leaf clover. Alex, you said four leaf, didn't you? Oh, didn't you? Just a clover. It's a clover. It's a clover, it doesn't matter. It's a clover. You could always add one on, couldn't you? But also, You've got the um, foliage design there as well. So flower forming foam dye, eight piece collection with the clover here. So that I bet it'd been a, cl a, a clover though, Debbie. But these little, these designs here, they look like water lilies at the bottom, don't they? Yeah, very clever. Oh yeah, no, we're not gonna, we'll show you the clover and it, makes a beautiful flower isn't it mm. yeah it's a lovely flower that is absolutely gorgeous now you're not going to get your breath on this we've got so many different designs to go through we've got um lovely uh, wonderful makes from our from the design team at uh, crafters companion as well so we'll get these in front of you 17 pounds 98 and as an apology for my flower forming foam faux pas there you go, it's only because I can read it on the screen. We're going to give you a phenomenal saving. That's eleven ninety nine. Yeah, not a faux par, but a foam par. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now, you, when you're doing your flowers, you're going to want this little tool set. And the good news is we have this on the show today. Mm-hmm. Because you sort of ball those up, don't you? And they, they make the flower go all... Yes. 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 <laughs> so these are your lovely flowers down here as well got all these tools coming in for you we've got more demos from our lovely deb 11 pounds 99 all step by step instructions and if there's one thing i've realized over the last few weeks here on hobby maker one of the best selling dyes that our di that our different brands brands bring to you is foliage isn't it because the thing is with the foliage mm -hmm. you can use it on so many foliage meaning leaves it's it seems to be every time we bring a collection one of the most popular yeah yeah, yeah. it's because you can use it all year round and it doesn't matter what collection of flower dyes you've bought it for you can use it on yeah. all your others that's a great thing mm. isn't it yeah it's just your greenery isn't it exactly yeah so 11 pounds 99 for these incredible dyes and i may just say if you don't mind those clover leaves they're a huge yeah they are they're good aren't they yeah Eight dies for eleven ninety nine. They're just—they're not even two pounds each, are they? They're not even two pounds each. 
That's incredible. So eleven ninety nine, and I have got just a query with you, lovely Derby. Have I got any examples here of of this one? Do you know? No, that. we've just bought the foam samples. It's quite hard right, okay. when you get the um, the last of the collections left because you never know which dyes they're going to go to. And to be fair, we have... The only thing she didn't bring was the kitchen sink, though, wasn't it? <laughs> you got a big boot. I have, but it's very full already. <laughs> it's good, yeah. uh, so we've also got... So that's one set there. No, da, 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 yeah, ah, oh, so... Um, we've got the autumn leaves. Yeah, this one's great. And it's so good if you're making Christmas cards. Yeah, this one's got like your ivy in it, your holly. It's just amazing. I'll tell you what, I'll show you that. We've got here. Um, so does this, does this give all the veins in the ivy? Yes, so it will if you're using, yes, it does. It's very good for doing that. And But if you're using um, cardstock, it, it, it comes out even better. Oh, fantastic. Yes, oh, you good. had that lovely, um, the pastel and the other textured card yes. earlier, didn't you? Yeah, Ooh, yeah, perfect on there, yeah. So this is your lovely ivy. So if, uh, you, you can, if I turn that around, you can actually see the detail there, look. Okay, that isn't your final prize, but it isn't just the ivy that you get. How about the holly and the ivy? <laughs> do, do, do. So we've got holly and ivy. You might have, you might have grandchildren, children, stepchildren. You might have a dog. I think some of the samples on the end there, the autumn ones, have got the le the foliage on there. Oh. Oh. In fact, that's the one from the packaging, I think. Yes. yes. Excuse yeah. me, just one moment so you can see them in action. Look. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they're clever, aren't they? And this is just out of foam. Think of all the different materials you've got at home. Your vellums, it's going to look lovely on. Mm. Um, yeah, that is so good that you can use that foliage with the um, on the outside edge. Look at this. Or, do you know, isn't it lovely when we start to go into autumn as well? And this no. colour... I like it! <laughs> no. Are you a summer girl? Yes. Oh, I see. I'm, I'm, I'm an autumn and winter. The only thing I like about winter is Christmas. Oh! <laughs> I don't well, like dark nights, dark mornings. Oh, I don't like the cold. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it when you get your knitwear out and your coat and your, oh, and your, oh, and your mittens and no. your woolly hat and your... Oh, oh. Um, so, sorry, holly, ivy and autumnal leaves. Or oh, the autumn leaves drift <laughs> by your window. Song for everything today, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, an anniversary is a time to... Do you get... Is this just... You get the dyes, don't you? You don't get the... the... No, you don't get anything no. else. It is just the dyes to make that. So this is obviously what the design team have made and then Lovely. they've used them for the front of their packaging, yeah. But they, this is a great one, especially for autumn. Totally uh, when agree. you think about... And, and especially, I know that we have like a, a lot of Americans in the country. Yes. Um, and they have Thanksgiving, so they do their Thanksgiving cards. That's a good point. You can make table confetti with that, with your autumn leaves. Autumn weddings. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yes. Very People that are just that. walking as well. People People that love walking through, you know, we've got a lovely park near us, one of the biggest parks in Europe, and it's 25 square miles, Sutton Park. And you go and kick up the leaves, and when the, you know, and the conkers on the ground, and the and the, the cones, and it's, you know, and then you finish with a nice glue vine. What? Yeah. Glue vine. Well, sorry, that's the that's the skiing version of a mulled wine. Oh, sorry, okay, right. sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's a glue vine. So 23.97 gets you the holly, the ivy, and the autumnal leaves. Do you want the extra special howdy doody? Let's get it right down there for you. 16 dies in total. Reusable. Okay, how about less? Just, just shy of a pound a die. That's good. One pound. Does mm. some. Um, does Sarah know we're doing this today? <laughs> yeah, you don't tell Sarah anything. No, <laughs> goodness me! And look at those leaves. Do you think how many times you're going to use that leaf design there mm. and that one? Oh, absolutely, all year round. All year round, and then you've got your ivy. And again, ivy. I think we tend to think Christmas, but actually, ivy's about all year round. You can use it for any of your flowers. And ivy's very, very, very. I mean, it's one of the ro most robust. Mm. Grows everywhere. Right, doesn't half grow everywhere. You can't get rid of it. Uh, and then the lovely, um, see, I like that one because my nan was called Ivy, so I love it. My friend's called Holly, so this is perfect. One pound a die. 
Goodness great. Look at the time. We're going to have to speed up, aren't we, loves? <laughs> We've got to the flower forming foam. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So there you go. So that's that. I don't. I don't want you to miss out on any of these deals because. So, uh, I've got. I think the Enchanted um, Dreams ones. Yes. Oh. Okay. Gosh, you've got some lovely designs. These flowers and the stamen are so different to anything yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah, they are, and they're so easy to do. They're quite are they? quite fun to do, and actually quite therapeutic. Are they? You could sort of sit there on your dining room table and just make flowers, so your heart can take. In fact, you don't even have to make the flowers; you can just form the petals. Oh, lovely! Um, are we going to get a demo? Yes. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, so we can't do that one for the moment. Okay, no okay. problem. Sorry, 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 everybody. Bear with so us. Let's I can get bring the next in the one. clover dye, and we can show that one. Oh, really. right. It's all right, lovelies. We can, well, don't worry. We've got different designs as well coming up. Oh, yeah, floral bouquet. Sorry, lovely. Don't be silly, it's fine. Uh, and actually, it doesn't matter. Keep looking back if you want those dyes because they will eventually appear on the website. Um, just a few gremlins, I think, in the system. Uh, so I've switched out and I've just bought in. Now, we do have this autumnal um, pack of foam, which is amazing. It's got lots of different colours in there. So let's just Ooh, take... Nice. Yeah, really lovely. So let's take our yellow and I'm going to fold it four times. Times. So with this, we're going to fold it in half four times. I'm going to then, let's see if we can fit. We'll do alternatives and we'll do a red piece as well. So let's just fold those over and pop that one on. And then again, we'll do the same thing with the green just to cut some of those leaves. So let's do those ones and just a few on there. See if we can fit another one that will do nicely just so we can show you how they yeah, all work thank together. you now it's just the same as your normal uh, cutting for uh, thin metal dies so although we're going through four different layers Goodness of me. your foam um, and this is one of the things I really love because you can make them quite quickly um, and then you can always sort of go back to them I can try and just be smart with my placing there we go um, uh, yeah, and you can be really, um, you can make lots in one go um, and then do them any other time. So if, especially if you've got a manual machine, so if you've got the MIDI, the yeah. mini, uh, you can be just putting them through there and cutting yeah, loads at a time. And you can still cut four in those folders, ah, the plastic folders, okay. so you get a lot of leaves in one go. Uh, now, I think the best thing to use is an iron um, right. because you can see the instant heat. You can use a, and just a regular iron, you don't need any fancy iron. Look at that. Oh, that can, can I have a feel? Yeah, so there's we've got four layers in there, but yeah, feel it. Oh gosh. Let's take those. Oh, that is a, out. That's lovely. Mm, thank yeah. you. Sorry. Yeah, they feel really that. nice. They're lovely. Um Joe was saying just before in the break that um she loves the feel of them and, and they don't weight the card down. So if you're doing them onto cards, oh, great. Uh, they don't weigh them down. So uh, yeah, which is very good. So just taking those layers out. So can you see, because I put four, they start to fade in their lines. Oh. So if you want to keep your lines in, just do them one at a time. But actually, they don't, leaves aren't the same, yeah, are they? Not. So let's take these ones these out. Yeah, and it's just separating them. And this is why, so you could cut up to six layers, but when you cut six layers, they get harder to separate. Right. So I found that four layers are probably just the right amount to, uh, to separate them. Okay. Okay. which is no problem at all. So let's just take those ones. Let's get these red ones out as well. So let's take them ones and take those apart. So yeah, once you, and actually, if you was to place them on the heat straight away, it'd probably part them all anyway. But I oh, want to okay. show them individual so you yeah. can see exactly how they work. So let's just take these and I'm going to bring all the tools in to show you how we do it. Um, and I had one, did I have another one? I feel like I've lost a, oh, there it is, the biggest one here. Let's just pop them to the side and take those ones. So we've got 
Sorry, if you are struggling or you haven't got nails, could you use like your um, pokey, your pokey tool? tool? Yeah, to separate absolutely. Them. Yeah, yeah. It'd probably be a lot easier to do it that way. Yeah. Yes. Right. I'm going to bring the iron in. I'm going to try and do it this way, Zena, so you can see. Oh, he's, so, a, he's normal a beast. Normal iron. Isn't he? Yeah, absolutely. He's a beast. So it was oh. Andy gave it to me. The boss gave it to wow. me. Yes. So watch this. We're literally now. If you're worried about touching your hands on the iron, because obviously it's very hot, I keep it quite hot. You can put your tweezers on there. I don't normally worry because um, I literally just drop it onto the iron and look what happens. Oh. It starts to form straight away and then you just drop it down. Oh. Now there's two different things that you can do with this. So if you fold the leaves up like so, well, I'm gonna bring in what is our paper distressor. Uh, this is brilliant, this tool. Um, so as you roll everything up, so we're just gonna roll it in between our fingers and then we're just going to take this. Now, this is what we call our finger toboggan. I call it my finger toboggan. Finger toboggan. toboggan. It's not what it's called, but it's what it looks like, yeah. And all we do, can you see there's like a grid on here? It's like a gridded surface. Yeah. So you roll it in between that. And what that does, that actually creates like real petals do, like with the, the veins oh, in there. Wow. And then you can stretch. Look how we can stretch this over our actual ball tool. So straight away, that clover now looks like a proper petal and then we're going to bring in some sponge now the sponge comes with your uh, your ball tools so you get those ball tools and i'm just going to pop them like that oh my look day. at that so going from this one flower to like a proper flower is incredible just like that yeah i mean that's what it was that's amazing isn't it so what we're going to do is we're going to do a few more and again we're just going to drop them onto here we're just going to use our tool i'm going to drop that and i'm going to do a few at a time so oh, that's with the um four piece molding ball tool you get the foam as well don't you yes yeah okay so we're just popping them on and even with your smaller ones do exactly the same you can change your ball tool if you leave these on longer especially your smaller ones look yeah. that'll curl right up and when you oh. drop it off it'll curl oh that one didn't do it but normally they curl up into a time oh it's because we've got two on there we've got two at a time there curl into a little ball but it's like magic isn't oh, it oh yeah <laughs> i take i take it you don't have the steam on no, do don't no. have the steam on, okay, no. Just the heat. But it just creates lots of these just beautiful petals. And your ball tool you just use to literally mould them. Look how they mould over the top. So they just create these beautiful flowers. Yeah. I mean, I could sit and make them all day. Literally. You could just Very therapeutic again, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So much so. And, and you could just literally make all these petals and just keep doing all this. Uh, you can have a bit of a conveyor belt going on. Couldn't you just, you know, like when you go to hotels abroad and things and they have like romantic weddings and they have flower petals all oh, over the bed. Yes. Wouldn't this be nice yeah, to feel like with these? That. Yeah. On your, ta your wedding table. Yeah. Oh, I just pulled that. If you're a bit too heavy handed, it'll come off. But actually, no flower is um, perfect. Perfect. Nope. So, um, and then we're just going to do a little bit of more. I'm going to change my ball. So I'm going to go to a smaller one. Because you get te you get three three of the um, forming tools, but you get a different six. size on each end. Different one on each end. So you get six in total. Yes. So let's just do that because I'm fully aware that of time. Mm -hmm. So let's just uh, pop these on. Just, uh, oh, I don't know how that iron, that's because it's not my iron. <laughs> yeah, we're all a bit funny about our own iron, aren't that's we? That's it. Uh, so <laughs> what I do want to do, we're going to use some stamens. So I've already threaded some stamens here. So mm -hmm. let's just pick some of them. I've got some, as a, what, some white and some white ones there. Let's use those. Now, uh, when in your stamens, you get a little wire that ties them together. Use that wire to actually oh. thread through your stamens and double them up. So you get quite a few little stamens in one go. And then all we're going to do is I'm going to take my, um, my flowers and I'm going to pick them up with my pokey tool. So we're just going to thread them through like so. So I'm using my pokey tool to do these. You could, if you wanted to, glue them each. Um, but actually, I just want to uh, pop them all on. And I'm going to do them in um, alternative uh, functions, uh, alternative spaces. So just turn it round. And bearing That's in mind, uh, this is just a clover leaf. 
<laughs> she it's so clever, isn't coming. it? So, so clever. So there we go. And then we're going to take that out and then we're going to use our stamens right through that center, just like so. And then we just pull that through. There we go. That is, that's unbelievable. <laughs> It's amazing, isn't it? All that from a flat flower like that. But again, whether you're talking about cards, and, and, and again, I, I will just, that is incredible. Whether you're talking about cards, whether you're talking about the topping on a box, on a, on a hairband, on a wreath, on, I know we're back to the felt here, but the same concept, yep, isn't absolutely. it? absolutely. Oh, I'll say exactly the same concept. Exactly the same yes. concept. I'm thinking about, you, you could even attach that to, you know, imagine making a garland for your, for your, mm -hmm. for your hearth or for yep. your staircase. Yep. Yeah, totally. And also, as much as we've got these dies, so this one, look, see our box? We've done this layer of um, oh. the ivy going down the side and then creating our flowers for our box. Um, whatever flower dies you've got in your stash will work on the foam. Brilliant. Which, whichever. So you can imagine just how many flowers that you could be making. Absolutely. And, and again, just from our car designs here, um, just... I mean, again, we've got different flowers. I appreciate different dyes coming up as well. This is the enchanting um, collection, which we're still trying to get back into the show for you. But these are lovely. I tell you what we could do. Do we have all of the stamen colours? Let's pop those on if that's okay. Yep, so all the different colours. Okay, so the white. Um, can I ask um, if we could possibly have the metallics? Do you know how many is in each one of these? 400 stamen in a pack. That's wow, impressive, I know. It? Yeah, and please don't think that you just have to use them with your phone. The stamens are great to put through any medium of what yep. you make your flowers with. I mean, we make vellum flowers, card flowers, mm. all sorts of things, yeah. uh, and you can put these through them. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, and all you need, once you run, run out of that little wire that's uh, round them, just get some florist wire uh, and that you can just do your stamens exactly the same. Brilliant. Just to mention as well, obviously, we have our Jewellery Maker channel. We have every kind of gauge of wire from 025 mil to 0.4 to you name it. Any of the jewellery wire would be, I would imagine, OK as well, Debbie? Yes. Yep, oh, brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to race through these because of the time. £3.99 for your metallics. We've done the white. Do you want to do the black? Yeah, for the, I'm thinking, oh, yeah. So at four, you're getting 400 in every pack. That's that's pretty much a one penny a stamen, <laughs> isn't it? A penny. A penny. How do you make it for a penny, lovely? <laughs> so three pounds ninety nine. Should we just whop all the colours in front of you? Oh, absolutely. Shall we? Yes. It's going to be a speedy moment, but if you don't mind, I don't want to miss out. So this one here, that was your black. We've had your white. You've had your ah the floral. So if you want to do a lovely bouquet and you want lots of different colours, that's the pack for you, your floral bouquet collection. Don't worry, we have autumnal coming up for you. You know the autumn um, felt that we had? How about those? Sorry, did we have the graphics in for the... Yes, we did. I wasn't paying it. Sorry. Here we go. Look, how about the autumn leaves? What a lovely burst of colour. Holiday hues. Is it? Is that the one? And I'm saying it wrong. That's no? the phone, okay. I think, the holiday hues. Isn't oh, it? sorry, my lovely. Do we have... Ah, ha, ha, ha. Hang on a second. Holiday hues. There you go. Holiday hues. So 400 again, 399 You know what to do. Pop those in your basket and check out. Okay. Did you have the autumn leaves? Nope, so we'll put that to one side. Sorry about that, lovelies. Okay, so that's all of those. We, did we pop the tools on? Okay, we're trying to get the stock of those at the moment, so bear with me. What about the um, Petal Distress tool set? Not our afternoon, is it? There's just gremlins in the <laughs> Please Isn't keep just... looking because they will be added. This is the thing. Our team are amazing. Sometimes there's technical issues. Do me a favour, today, tomorrow, this evening, whenever, if you go back to hobbymaker.co.uk, click on um, the brands on the left-hand side and go back to Crafter's Companion 
And I promise you, we will do our absolute dandies to get every one of these items on the show because you saw how brilliant those incredible moulding tools are. And I think if you're going to be making flowers, that's an absolute must in your in your gang of tools, isn't it, Debbie? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Six sizes, look. Yeah, they're so good and really good for moulding all your flowers. Yeah, so cards absolutely. Um, yeah. yeah, you get the sponge in there as well that you yep. can mould them with. So, yeah, it's a great tool to have, but especially if you're going for the flower forming foam today. And the Petal Distress tool set, I think, is a definite a as well. Great one, yeah. yeah. Very clever. Oh, excuse you. Part. <laughs> so, can I turn this up? Now, we have opened this one, but just look at what you can do on the reverse with this clever tool. Look here. Can we go zoomy, zoomy, closey up here a little bit? Do you mind? Look at how they... I mean, that just brings them to life, doesn't it? Yeah, they look amazing, don't they? Goodness it just shows me. you what you can do with your flowers, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just makes them look more realistic. Doesn't it? Yeah. You'll spend hours, honestly, once you'll be hooked. You'll be hooked. You, yeah, you'll just spend hours and hours and hours making flowers. Every time you talk about them, she, your face just I lights up. I am up. definitely a flower girl. I, I could, Yeah, I could make flowers till the cows come home. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, apologies about this, but as I say, please bear with us. You know we're always there online. You know to keep going back to the website. And the, I, I had this this morning. So this morning, I rang the call centre after I finished uh, my show this morning with uh, Honky Dory, and I said, oh, there was some cardstock I wanted. Mm -hmm. I rang up, and she said, oh, that, there's none left. And I thought, oh, so I came back in today, and I said, oh, did that sell out? And he went, oh, there's, there's this gremlin in the system. Andy, bless him, our sales manager, sorted it all out. So the second I come off air now, you can do it as well. The cardstock will be there. So we do get on top of these challenges as quickly as we can. Should we just revisit the, the felt? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We're loving it, which is good. So good. It's amazing. You are yeah. indeed. So that lovely poppy mm -hmm. that Debbie just made, okay, is from this die collection. And there's two sets of dies, metal dies. You've got your uh, 14, uh, all flower, all floral, 14 in the one and 13 in the other. You come over, beautiful. Oh, I was just saying, oh, I've got a couple. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> tripping over a minute. See, that's why I shouldn't move. I that's why I should stay in, in one place. Look I was just going to show you the poppy we made earlier. So, uh, yeah, which can be made out of them. So, that is it's not bad, is it? I mean, obviously, you need four petals of each, and we've only used three, but actually, it's not a bad poppy. And, uh, oh. yeah, it's amazing what you can build up with these. Oh, that's, and it's so soft. Mm. It's amazing, isn't it? You're They're give that such to your great daughter. dies. Yeah, she'll yeah, do that. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Her daughter's called Poppy. She is. Um, <laughs> so you get the dies. You get 17 sheets of the fabulous felt. Um, look at that. And these are the colours that you get. Yeah, it's so clever, isn't it, how you uh, can make all of this. Uh, and I think this is Oh, that's the one that just... It? Boom, yeah. sunflowers, doesn't it? And it's so hard to believe. And all this is as well, if I show the back of it, yeah. you pinch the petal in. It tells you in the instructions. Okay. You just pinch the, the bottom of the petals to make that flower shape. It's amazing. But again, if you want to make your own cushions, if you've got a tired cushion or a marked cushion, you want to do a wreath, you want to do a poppy for the yeah. poppy appeal. Um, you see the pom-poms inside as well? Those are oh, the pom-poms. Yes, there's some in here. They come in there. the kit. Yeah? The little pom-poms. Yep. So in that flower there that Debbie's got, she's rubbing the pom-pom, look, there you go. <laughs> you get you get pom-poms as one in different colours. You, in fact, you get six colours, 12 of them. They're called felt balls, but, you know, whatever you They're want. also good, if you like, they're really, at the moment, the kids, uh, they're right down with the kids where they hang them off of their key rings. Oh, yeah, they do. I've got one of those at home. Ribbon, yeah, so uh, you can use them for that as well as your uh, stamens Exactly. As well. So there's um, three brooch backs, there's three lobster clips, three key rings, and a half a metre of white ribbon as it's well. It's a great kit. It's a great it? kit. And, yeah. excuse me, Debbie, look, no, I don't you're mean fine. to in front of you, sweet pea. I've come and invaded your stuff. No, I like you over here. <laughs> I need assistance today. <laughs> and then you're getting the uh, Threaders Crafters Companion Bumper Felt Bundle for the blooms, and they're 24 centimetres by 22 centimetres, and you're getting 17 across those colours there as well. Yeah, Brilliant really kit. good quality mm -hmm. um, felt that is as well. 41.99, congratulations. Congratulations, my lovelies. Oh, so apologies for all the um, slight uh, 
faux pas, but we, we got there in the end, didn't we? <laughs> we did get there, yes, absolutely. It's been a great day. We have a good time. Thank you so much. Oh, she's so, so lovely. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm going to do one last one. Is it flower forming foam? Yay! Yes! Yay! <laughs> oh, thank you! <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. It took me four hours. <laughs> Honestly, you try it. It'll come to you as well if you've not got to that age yet. All these young lads in here laughing and giggling. Oh, they don't have the menopause, do they? <laughs> they don't. That's reserved just for us chicks. And we're so grateful. You can't have everything. <laughs> um, thank you so much. And it's oh, been a thank you. pleasure always, when you want. Always. And uh, in the morning, I'm back. At, I'm doing the wake up with hobby maker. Do you want the bad news? Are you in? <laughs> yeah. Yay! We can do it all over again. You wait till you think this is bad. Six o'clock in the morning, <laughs> I tell you. What are you doing with us tomorrow then? Uh, we got a Stamping 101 tomorrow morning. What does, what does 101 stamping mean? So brilliant for you, brilliant for beginners. We're going to just start from the beginning of how you stamp. Oh, fantastic. Oh. Yeah, well, that's good then. We don't mean like stamping your feet. No, we no, might no, do a no, bit no. of that as well for yeah. that early in the morning. Especially if I can't get it right. In the meantime, thank you so much, sweet. Thank you, Zee. In the meantime, my lovelies, we're going to go back to that gorgeous lady over there, the lovely Jo. That's crafty. And you, if you like the movies, in fact, we're going to take you up the red carpet and you're going to create your own world of movies. So we'll see you in a moment. When you purchase anything on Hobby Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobby Maker. Hobby Maker are going on the road. And our first stop is the Created event, taking place at the Kent Showground in Maidstone on Friday the 30th of September and Saturday the 1st of October. Come along and say hello as we bring you an exclusive shopping experience with our craft concierges, ready to go with show only discounts, free goodie bags and an opportunity to take part in the world's largest tangled wall. Or you could even strike it lucky in our tombola. Get your tickets now by logging on to creativeeventscom forward slash shop and by using the code MAKER, you'll get an extra 25% discount off your day ticket. So join us on Friday the 30th of September and Saturday the 1st of October at the Kent Showground in Maidstone. We'll see you there. If you want to search our website for your favourite brands, simply go to hobbymaker.co.uk, click on Brands, and you'll find all your favourite items all in one place. Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. Here at Hobby Maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and p Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. We have some exciting news. Hobby Maker has been nominated in the Best of Crafts Awards for 2022. We're so amazed that nearly six months have flown by since we launched Hobby Maker and we couldn't have done it without the Hobby Maker family. Thanks to all the presenters and guests for entertaining us and inspiring us every day, and for all the viewers for tuning in for all the fun. We're lucky enough to be nominated for two awards in our first year, which are the Most Loved TV Shopping Channel and Dave Bradford for Male Craft Personality of the Year. To vote, please head to our website to find all the details you need to get involved. Thank you for your support and votes. Hobbymaker are live from 1pm to 6pm every day on Sky Channel 670, Freesat Channel 807, and Freeview Channel 73. You can also watch on YouTube via some smart TVs, your computer and phone. Hi, Pauline here. I'd just like to say join me Thursday, 8th of September to see my brand new stamp sets. My stamp sets are a little bit floral, a little bit quirky, something a little bit different. So I hope you can join me this Thursday, 8th of September on Hobby Maker. to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go.
Here at Hobbymaker, we love seeing what you've been making, and it's our job to keep you inspired. So how does a £100 credit to your Hobbymaker account sound? Every month, we're going to be giving away a £100 credit to one lucky Hobbymaker's account. And all you have to do to enter is simply send a photo of your crafty makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We will be picking one winner each month at random and we'll announce the lucky winner on air in the 5pm show on the last Saturday of every month. So what are you waiting for? Get crafting, get motivated and get inspired with Hobbymaker. Welcome to our exciting and brand new shopping channel, Hobbymaker, dedicated to crafting. We'll be working with some of the biggest brands in the industry, which means you can look forward to highly skilled crafters, demonstrations and great products at great prices. We'll be bringing you a mix of paper craft, mixed media, resin, candle making and so much more from our expert guests. So let's get crafting with Hobbymaker. They're not going to let us slot on again. <laughs> They're not going to let us three on again. Me, Debbie and Joe. We just keep... We just... It, you're coming back live, it's so unprofessional, but you're still yakking. <laughs> We're still talking. <laughs> just arranging what going out, weren't talk? we? We don't talk, do we? I don't think so. We were just arranging going out, weren't we? We We talk about lamb, lamb curry. Lamb curry and a glass of wine. <laughs> anyway. I just said to this amazing lady stood next to me, the lovely Jo, look at these. If, can I just show? Of course you can. Do you mind? Ooh, look do, at these, do. right? You know when you see, you, get, you can get the lovely little plant pots and people grow from seed their own, or you, or you buy a little, um, you know, your mint and your parsley yeah. and your coriander and your basil. Wouldn't that be nice on the windowsill yeah. in your kitchen? I, I, I'd not thought of that. Yeah. Honestly, not putting the herbs in, which would be lovely. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? It really would be lovely, yeah. Goodness me. Yeah. So we're doing, we're doing kits for these trays, aren't we? Yes. Um, we've got just the trays on this one. Yeah. Tomorrow at oh. do, do, three o'clock. Oh, that's, that's in the morning. OK. Yeah. The okay. teapot. Oh, yeah. Got, there's it's a teapot. Got to come back tomorrow. The, the teapot. teapot. The teapot. The yeah. The teapot tomorrow. If you like, yeah. like, like your things like Alice in Wonderland and that sort of thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so, but we've, we've got basically, um, the trays are on this show and we've got the papers that you can see on the actual trays. On Brilliant. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Three. Great. Yes. So that's a good excuse but we didn't to watch want tomorrow, to, isn't it? Um, we didn't want to uh, not bring the trays on this hour yeah. because we've also got some fabulous rice papers there. So basically, this show is all is about... rice paper. Yes, yeah. So basically, this is um, uh, a company called ITD. Mm, sorry, you've lost no, me over there right. again. No, with the rice papers. A company called ITD, which is actually a Polish um, company. OK. And... Um, uh, so the connection between that's crafty and yeah, yeah is that um, Lauren Graham, who we chatted about earlier, who owns that's who crafty, owns that's crafty okay. um, are also distributors in the UK of several European companies. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So ah. so basically, when they're a European company, obviously they need to have an anchor in the UK. Of course they do. Yeah. Um, and um, Lauren Graham, they've, they've got some incredible companies. Brilliant. And we've brought quite a few to you already. Um, and they will be on the brand sections on, on the Fantastic. website. And then you get to demonstrate but them all. I do. Wow, you get to... You, you've, got a, you've, got a nice, you've got a nice little... That's why I've been doing this eight, nearly 18 years. Gosh. I can't really call it a job. You can't. And this is the lovely thing, though. Like, watching you. I'm watching... I've only met Joe today. <laughs> And watching Joe's face, I feel like I just want to mm -hmm. beam at her because you can see 18 years in the same job mm -hmm. and it still has that, Im that impact on her face and her yeah. cheekbones and she just and can't was, stop smiling. No I, no, I love it. But Absolutely you can tell, love it. Don't blame me. I do. You. I do. It's, it's, it's more, like we were saying earlier, it is more of a passion. It's a passion. It's a vocation. It's a way of life. Mm. It's, if, and if you can find something that you love yes. that much yeah. and then get paid for it... <laughs> result um, right so we're off to the movies aren't we we are off to the movies and i have to say 
this kit that ITD have put together is phenomenal. Now, Very special. Um, not last month, the month before, we actually bought a, a stunning, stunning kit, um, uh, which was more florals. Oh, lovely. But very much on the same ilk as this one, as in the combination of the um, the different pieces. So we've got the 12 by 12s. Okay, so um, grab these, shall I? Yeah, sure. Now, the 12 by 12s, I have to say, they are exceptional quality papers. Oh, wow. So we are looking at... Um, you're looking at uh, 250 GSM, Ooh. but they're also coated. So you feel that. when we set, you can, can't mm. you? So yep. they've got that sheen to them, but that doesn't stop you from adding okay. inks, embossing powders, stamping, et cetera, et cetera. Um, now we obviously, there's a theme, it's the movies. Um, I think these mm. are superb for home decor, oh, obviously. yes. I mean, I can see these in, um, uh, you know, sort of a man cave. A man cave. Absolutely. A shed. Absolutely in a man cave. Some people yeah. have got posh houses where they've got their own little, like, little projector cinema complex style place, haven't they? I know. We don't have one of those. We, no. We, we just have a TV. Oh, but look um. at that. <laughs> can you imagine that just next to your telly? Yeah, On honestly, the wall? That, there are some 12 by 12s in this that you would literally oh, yeah. just frame. Yeah. I mean, that's one there. Just frame. Yeah. Put it yep. in a box frame, just a white or a black box frame. Put it in um, a teenager's bedroom. Yep. And I think they, well, just gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Really, really lovely. So you're talking uh, mainly the old movies. Yeah, the, the silent movies, movies Laurel and Hardy, yeah. Charlie Chaplin. Yep. Yep. All the ones really that we, would be synonymous with the, um, obviously what, what we're trying to do, make make the... Um, I mean, this is lovely, isn't it? Oh. Do you know what? I Fabulous. can't remember that, ladies. That, that one of the, that, that, that Some of those ladies that are so, so famous, I can't think of their names. Um, Thinking particularly... To particularly... Not Shania... What are you on about? What did they Shania say? Shania Twain. But yeah. Right, first of all... <laughs> Where did that oh, come from? Oh, these kids... First of all, can we just go along um, each strip? Do you mind? Because Ava Gardner. No. Is it Ava? It might be Ava Gardner. We'll go. We'll, yeah, we'll have a look down because. But Ch now Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin's on there, obviously. Laurel and Hardy. He was English, wasn't he? Charlie Chaplin. Was, you know, Laurel and Hardy were English. Fact about Charlie Chaplin. Oh, is it the same one I've got? Go on. About him becoming a father. Oh no! Go on. Yeah, he's the oldest person in this country to become a father. How old was he? What? How often? 91. 91! And he fathered a child? Yeah. There you go. That's your fact. Goodness That's gracious me. Fact of the day. I tell you what, you couldn't <laughs> get you know what on, um, on over the counter then either, could you? That's impressive. There you go. Wow. Bit of useless information with anybody That's a good there? pub quiz one, Joe. It is a good pub quiz one. Good yeah. lad. My dad would be very proud of him. <laughs> I was just talking about my dad. So, Lauren and I, I know we're not all English, but aren't we proud to have actually, you know, Charlie Chaplin and Laurel and Hardy Hello. out of the UK? That's pretty impressive, isn't it? The golden greats of cinema. Now, can you message in? Can we go down a bit? Who are these ladies down here? Can we go down a bit? Sorry. Sorry. But who... Now, these ladies here... Mm. As, now, that lady there, look. I, who's she? Is that Marilyn Manson? Are you winding me up? Alex, stop it. No, I think that's a man, isn't it? Oh, that's... A... Oh, <laughs> sure, do you know what? That's going to go down in... Look, I can make myself look stupid. I've done that all afternoon. You come out here. That's a man, isn't it? <laughs> I'd like to apologise. that's very... I'd funny. like to apologise. Now, look at this one. I love this one. I think that, this is just spectacular. Can I show you this? Spectacular. This is, it is stunning. And you wait, the one afterwards is basically what's happening after my career today. <laughs> it's all right, Alex, it's a bit of fun. That it's is lovely, incredible. isn't it? Look at, Look at the depth. the cinematic. I, I do find that the, um, the, the company, the ITD, do really, the depth and layers in all their papers incredible. are just spectacular. Yeah. Oh, don't feel bad. This is what's happening to my career today. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? 
It's great, isn't it? Yeah. So, of course, we can scrapbook with these. ITD originally are a scrapbooking company. Yeah. And still are, obviously. But um, in the meantime, they've sort of gathered pace with the home decor oh, front okay. and also the um, card making. Yeah, absolutely. Some lovely, lovely cards that Helen has actually Oh, we're going to bring those out in a moment. Yeah. Oh, goodness me. But you've got Walt Disney on there. You've got Looney Tunes on there. Yes. You've got real, real wonderful, um, incredible designs here. My goodness me, what a collection. Now, you see, you can also use that front. Yeah. There's no question no. I would use that front Absolutely. As well. Yeah. So you get the 12 by 12. You do. That's in the kit. Yes. Do you get all of this as well? You get all of it. Do you? Yes. This is why I'm saying it's just Oh, my phenomenal. goodness. So um, so what you've got here, we'll go through each Do you want to show pieces. some of them or do you want me to hold them in your chat no, about you them? No, you can hold okay. them in oh. our chat, yeah. So you've got these chipboard elements. Okay, so these are, um, obviously you can use them just as they are. They just pop out. They've got the little pips on the side, which obviously you need just to hold them yep. in place. Now, because they're just bare chipboard, mm -hmm. that's ideal. This is what I like okay. with chipboard because then we can do whatever we want. The sprays that we had on earlier. Yep. Spray them, you can ink them, um, you can put lot, you can put resin over them if yeah, you really want to. Yeah, lovely. You know, and um, not just that, but look at the packaging. You see, I would actually cut these bits yeah, out I was gonna as say, well. There's that as well. Look. I would, I would use these yeah. on collages, on card making. It's this is brilliant. on decent craft cards. Yeah. And I know people say it's packaging, Joe. I, I don't care if it is packaging. Not if you're I a true crafter, you still use it. Yeah, so, so that's the chipboard. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got more chipboard here. Oh. So we've got these, and um, these are lovely discs, obviously. You've got some fabulous bits on there. Um, so again, uh, just using one element on yeah. one project. Um, Get creative. I, every, when, when I was looking through this kit, when I first got it, I was looking through, wouldn't these make fantastic little gift vouchers for going to the cinema? Oh, yeah. A present. Um, you know, sort of going to the cinema, a voucher inside, That's or, a or put idea. some money in and say treat yourself. Lovely and when idea. You're there, pop yeah. some popcorn, whatever. Go to go to a show and that kind of thing as definitely, well. Go and see, yeah. Definitely show. Yeah, but also of course what we've got to think about is memories and making albums. With Absolutely. Them. So Absolutely. Some more chipboard here. So you've got uh, what eight, nine, ten with different sizes, um, yeah. all the same. Um, idea that you can actually colour them and do whatever. And look oh, at this now we're right. going back. So this, in my opinion, this would be perfect for a photograph. Wouldn't it just yes. look at this one? And before anybody says, yes, I can remember TVs looking like yes. that. And they only had two knobs, <laughs> didn't they? Yes, and two channels. No remote. Oh, no, no, well, no the kids with the remote. Yes, the kids yeah. with the remote. Can you turn the channel over? Yeah. Um. <laughs> and you had to, and then the coat hanger aerial yeah. to get the, and then you had to stand there. <laughs> <laughs> the test screen in this the morning. This is the other chipboard. So this is basically, um, it's ATC size, so artist trading card size. Oh. So, yeah, so also the frames. But, of course, you don't have to use them for artist trading cards at all. Uh -huh. You can use them for whatever you want. But on the back of the packaging on that one, you do actually have the artist trading card there. So you can use that and stick it on the back. Brilliant. So look at your packaging. In, this is always the case Usability. with ITD. They, they do give you every single bit that you can keep yeah. using. Now, That's also, fantastic. this is really it finished. <laughs> it's like the Mary Poppins. It I've is. Got a cheese definitely, plant out in a minute. definitely is. Now, this, oh, I want yeah. to show these first. And I'll Please tell you do. why. Um, right, so these are obviously the acetates, oh, and ooh. you've got some absolute... Should I put that behind yeah, some white so you can see it yeah. lovely? Oh, there so you go. This is excellent quality you can, feel, you can hear it, can't okay. you? Feel it. But not only is this ordinary, or just, it's printed acetate, but it's laser printed on. Ah. So it means that with some heat, we can actually foil these. Are you going to share that to do that? Well, I... Don't have an iron, but um, if we have time, then I will do no problem. Okay. But they are really, really easy to do. Um, so fabulous. On one side, you can feel it's smooth. If you feel this side, it's very smooth. On this oh, side, yeah, can, yeah, it's got a slight little raise on yeah, it. Yep. That's the side that you actually put your. Um, so you put some grease. Put the foil facing down. Grease proof on the top. Little bit of heat. So you put that foil on. 
Yeah. Wonderful. And that's why you've got the foil. Right, I'll show you that in a sec as well. Mm -hmm. Can I show this one? Yes, Look please. at the cinema seats. I know. Proper cinema now, seats. I don't know, what, you perhaps won't be aware, because maybe you won't be, but in Lincolnshire, we have the Kinema. Oh. And it's actually the oldest cinema in the country. Really? Yeah, and it's a wood, basically it's a wooden shed. Yeah, honestly, no. it's, it's a wooden shed. Next time I go, I'll have to take a picture. Will you take a picture, will you? you? Yes, I Brilliant. will. Oh, because it, uh, up until recently, it had the original real photography, oh, you know, the actual... Yeah. Really, yeah. And in the middle, uh, we also have an interval, whereas you don't in the big cinemas anymore, no. do you? No. We have an interval and we have a lady come in with the ice the cream. The ice cream. Yeah. Oh, and what a... The reason why I mentioned it was because we still have seats like that. Oh, my goodness me. Because mm. they even used to have ashtrays on them as well, didn't they? Yeah, do you remember? Yeah, and little things for your, for your drinks and that. But, yeah, we have a... We oh. have an interval. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? That's adorable. No, honestly, people yes, come from miles. I bet they do. Go, yeah. yeah. Oh, so look, this is proper Hollywood, golden Hollywood oh, no, era, honestly, isn't it? Is. And the, the, the velour seats yeah. and everything. It's just, yeah, it's great. It's a great outing. And but this, this is, is just so reminds me of that. Brilliant. But again, lovely frames yeah. for you to put photos in as well. I mean, anybody that's... Yeah. You know, that's into the... It yeah, just... so um, our daughter Kate and, and her partner Ryan, they've got um, Polaroid cameras. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the instant... And comes out, yeah, Polaroid, yeah. They're yeah. quite popular. Yeah, they are. They've they? made a right comeback. And, and they've, got, um, they've got some frames that they put different ones in and then they change them. Oh. And I was thinking that would be fantastic. That would that, be, wouldn't it? it? This is brilliant. Now, we mm. still haven't finished. No, we haven't. Not we have not straight. finished. <laughs> we haven't even got the price in yet, but tell you what... Then the, here's the lovely foil that you've just been talking yeah, about. Yes, so you've that got as well. several bits of foil there, haven't you? Yeah. You've got, and they're different colours. Am I right in thinking? Let me, hang on, let me turn yeah. that round. I do apologise. No, that's fine. There you go. Yeah, there we go. Look. Oh, so it's five pink. sheets and you've got different, um, different colours. Oh, you have. So you've got a copper, you've got a lovely pink. Oh. Um, you've got the, um, the gold. And Helen's I take them used out? a lot of... Yes, but would you well, like you, to use... Do you want to have a little look at mine? Yes, I don't want to waste it, you see. Yes, so, okay. so what you've got is you've got one pack, which is um, the five sheets in the uh, gold. Yeah. And then... Um, I want to see that pink. Then have got the uh, colour mix in this one, which is... <gasps> yes, so you've got the beautiful purple, Ooh. purpley pink, you've got the copper, you've got the gold, you've got a Can blue, a steel blue... And Ooh, then like yeah. an old rose gold. Just see you see Sorry, those? we'll just get to that shot for you. There oh, you go. Yeah. Right. There you are. Look. Okay. Um, so these are the so so you can see here that they are actually thermal. Now you can actually use these on in any other way you use foil as well. Ah. Oh. All right. This isn't just for heat applying and using on anything. So for instance, um, you could use it with a quickie glue pen. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then uh, when you're writing or making lines, you can use it with double-sided sticky tape, putting it on. So, in fact, we've got time, I'll show you that. Brilliant. Um, and uh, also with, um, you can get, um, like, a, a gel. It might be on, under the Rich Craft, which is another um, company that... Uh, uh, on the website, on, Hunk uh, on Happy Maker's website? Yeah, because I, okay. I have brought those before. OK. And that's actually what Helen's used on her samples. When we come round to those, Brilliant. I'll show you those. We still haven't done. No. I'll tell you what, do we need to get the price in? Do we just need to get the price in? Before? Because we're nearly 25 minutes into the hour and I still haven't got through the kit. That's how much is in this kit. It's incredible. Absolutely. And when you see this, nobody's going to grasp that we've just gone to 34 99 surely. The detail, yeah. the quality. Have I done that one? No. I haven't. I've missed one. No. So Sorry. basically with this one, you've got all the... Um, what you would... Uh, think of like the director's chair you've got the camera I mean it's like looking out isn't it yeah it's brilliant the camera there we've yeah. got the reels we've got the um the popcorn there the clapperboard yeah um yeah so it's really is quite... still not finished no we're still not finished good it's, oh. a, it's an amazing amazing brilliant. kit look at um it. so these are um this is a vellum what's a vellum uh so have you seen parchment yet? Yes. Yeah, so this is a slightly uh, lighter 
parchment. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so um, it's a translucent paper, basically. Right. Okay. But obviously, you've got that fantastic print on. Love so it. you've got ah. nine images there. I, I would use them all individually, honestly. So you've got nine toppers there without a shadow of a doubt. Gosh, that's um, great. Teenager cards. Yeah. Um, you know, anything like that, I think this kit just sings out. But it's like my, my dad runs, I've got another one to show you, but my dad, sorry, I've got one more to show you. There you go. My dad runs in Henley, they do it, and local villages do a thing called, you might have it, Rural Cinema, where on the last, um, on the last uh, Thursday of every month, they have a film in the local memorial hall, five quid a ticket, there's a bar, there's ice cream, there's tea, there's coffee, there's social <laughs> get-together. Do you? Yeah. They get to that. But... Wouldn't um, wouldn't that be lovely to make cards to sell at that venue as yes, well? Yes, yeah, yeah, it would. Absolutely superb. Still not Again, done. this is a vellum, and uh, well, it speaks for itself. These are um, uh, tickets, but what we can do with these vellums, that although they are a translucent paper, you can actually mould them and give them a bit of shape and yeah. that sort of thing. And for instance, oh, look this, at this is look at this. So this is what I've done here. If I just get that, because yes, I'm just blocking that. Oh, yeah. Look at this. So you can see here, that's actually the vellum there inside this, um, the frame. And we have actually got these on the show as well. You can see I've actually used the um, acetate through the sides yeah. there. Um, well, you can see all the bits and pieces. And that was just a minor fraction of bits that I've I was going to say. This project. And we've got the box for that as well, haven't we? We have got two okay. different um, styles of them, actually. So thirty-four ninety-nine gets you all that. It gets you all of what I've just shown you. You might need to rewind this and watch it again just to it's get an idea. Of honestly, it's <laughs> the chipboard and paper alone. Yeah, is worth that if you priced everything up singly. Um, you know, 12 by 12, you're looking at at least £1.10, £1.20 now. And like you said, the Something depth. Something like that. Yeah. Um, the, the depth in the designs and then the, the obviously the acetates that you can foil. Incredible. The chipboard elements, yeah. I mean, some yeah. of the things that Helen's, Helen, Helen's done. Can I just say, Hel Helen, thank you so much yeah, for... Yeah, she's had a ball. Hasn't she just? Yes, she has, yeah. Yeah. Because she actually, Helen was the only one that, that um, was sent the, the, uh, the cinema kit and... She's just gone. She really has. She really Blown has. Blown out the water. So the boxes with, that we're doing, sorry, my lovely, just to make this sure... This is the trays. Right, yep. that's so the trays. That's the... Uh, so the, we've got two styles. Yep. Doing, yep. These have actually been designed by Anthony Minnis, which is, who is a um, very dear friend Aww. of ours and also uh, has done some designing for That's Crafty. So right. I know uh, Laura was thrilled to bits that he came up with this idea oh, because wonderful. it's so useful as well. Yeah. So even though we've made it into... Uh, we've used the kits, obviously, because it, it gels so yeah. well. There's so many different ways of using Isn't this. there? So is this, what's this made out of again? This is MDF, MDF again. Right, yeah. MDF again. Yeah, MDF. So this, uh, this shape is the one that I've just shown you. So that box that you've just had there is this one? It is, just made right. up. So basically you can see you've got that box bit um, at the back. Oh, look at the way it all so, connects together. Yeah. Oh, gosh, yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it all connects together beautifully. And also you can hang it because you have got the holes. So you can hang it vertically or horizontally. So just turn that around so you can actually yeah. see there, look. So, so you've got the hanging holes as well. Yeah, so either way, whichever way okay. you choose. So these just pop out, do they, again? They do. Yeah. Okay, so these pop out. Again, you've got instructions, you have, obviously. Yeah. So if I, have I, no, have I got the right box? No, nope, that, that one, there you go. Yeah. And also some lovely inspiration on the front that Anton's done. Yeah. Uh, quite a, a mixed media sort of um, steampunky type. Yeah, that is so there. cool. Can I just quick, um, can I just check, if you click on that QR code, what does that take you to the full instructions? There's a QR should, code on the front. Yeah, it should do. Yeah, oh, okay, brilliant. Yeah. So it's been precision laser cut, as you can see, yeah. and that really has been cut beautifully. And again, all done in-house by Graham, so. He's very, very, very talented. He's very good, isn't he? Yeah. He's our little saviour when we want stuff doing. Exactly. <laughs> um, that QR code there, if you just hover your, if you've got a smartphone or a tablet or whatever, and you just hover your camera uh, app over there, that will take you straight to YouTube, to That's Crafty videos on how to actually work with these Yes, kits. and it's Anthony actually going through. And, and he's got some fabulous ideas to show you as well. So, Fantastic. Yeah. 
So if you want to recreate the, again, you've got, as I say, you've got all the information that you need. We're going to have a lovely demo from Joe as well. Um, but, and the, uh, you can really turn the different box styles into really pretty, unusual, different styles, all these different boxes, can't you? Well, these are something else. These yeah. are some uh, uh, some decorative boxes that we've got. But, yeah, so you've got, obviously... Let me hold this out of the way, sorry. You've got sorry. the smaller one. Well, I say smaller. It's not smaller. It's just a different design. Did, so yeah. that's the... That's, and then you've got what... What I call personally the upright one. Yeah, which but of is course this you one can here. Actually, have it either way again. Yeah. Because again, you've got the holes there. But this is what's called the boxes one because it's got the three individual. It's just phenomenal. Mm, fabulous, aren't they? They really are. And like you said, there's so many different layers. There's so much yeah. for your eyes to take in, mm. and so many elements from this. I mean, goodness me, how many? Like you say, scrapbooks, a home decor. I mean, there's so. Hard, yeah. That, that, so the, these combined with that kit, I mean, obviously they're, they're separate purchases, mm. but they're just a marriage made in heaven. Aren't they just? Yeah. Aren't they just? I think they're mm. absolutely awesome. So um, for the box here, um, price-wise, TI3048 for the kit that we've just shown you with the box and the instructions. What? Yeah. I know. Did you know that? Yes, I thought that you'd be quite surprised. Good. Graham. <laughs> for 99. Hey, to cut all that. An MDF Goodness actually. Goodness me. Is, is, mm. Yeah. It's not cheap. It's going it's, it's mm. shot up quite a lot actually, like most things <laughs> yeah. just recently. but you've got to measure it you've got to design it you've got to do all of that yeah eight pounds 99 brilliant well, halfway through the hour where's it gone i don't know where has it gone um so the taller one here we're just going to show you this one as well and then i think hopefully yeah. we'll be able to get to a demo yeah so this is this is this one, one there yeah so this one here that we've got again designed by Helen absolutely wonderfully. Now, if you're thinking, oh, right, okay, I fancy that one as well, uh, we will make sure that this is $8.99 as well. This is for your MDF film strip box that we've got here. Again, beautifully cut out. Mm, superb. And we're again at $8.99. I really like the shape of this one. Yes, I do. Do you? Yes, I do. Yeah. Um, I chose this one. I do love this one, and I chose this one because. Because we'd got two two fantastic, well, two, two of yeah. each. Yeah. I thought, well, really, it was my pick, really. But I adore what Helen's done here because you can see. So the black and white images yeah. that we saw earlier. Yeah. Helen's coloured hers. Oh no! I mean, this is so taking you it don't to a whole to, another level, isn't yes, it? Yes, you don't have to leave them black and white. Obviously, what she's also done is obviously she's painted the fronts as yeah. well. So you've got that lovely contrast. What you also get oh, is all the bits. All the bits. Ah. So, of course, you can repurpose these. I tune in tomorrow at one o'clock and I've repurposed these into something else. Excellent, because we don't like wastage. <laughs> oh, my Do Lord. Waste. Does anybody crap? ever throw anything no. away? It's like a. R Nobody says that word. Don't use the W word. Oh, it's crafting. Not. No. Very dare you. Um, again, lots and lots of MDF there to cut out in that design. Is that all of that and all That's of that? That's This is the tray. Sorry, I keep getting that wrong, don't I, Zena? I've been wrong for a few minutes. Doing quite well, then. It's that one. So it's this one. So what you're getting is obviously enough to make that box there. Yep. And and all the all the bits that you pop out as well, obviously, that you're going to use for something else. Brilliant. Eight ninety nine. Makes terrific brickwork. Mm, I bet it does. Eight ninety nine though, Joe. Mm. Eight ninety nine. I'm just going to keep saying it. It's eight ninety nine. It's eight ninety nine. Oh wow! Well done. I tell you what, Graham, very impressive. Very, very, very impressive. Right then, do we get to do a demo? Yes. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Sorry, I just cannot <laughs> wait much longer for the demo. No, I'm, I'm here. I'm waiting. Yep. So we're going to actually sort of do something very similar to okay. this one. Okay, so um, I've gone ahead and actually put some bits together because obviously you don't really want to watch me. And like we said, the QR code is on there. So it's a fantastic YouTube demo that Andrea's right. done. 
and um, yeah, and that's all free of charge, by the way. That's always all thrown yeah, in all free the of charge. education from that's crafty. We also have a fantastic that's crafty creatives Facebook page. Oh, brilliant! All right, so okay. um, people pop their makes on there, oh. all all the products that um, that's crafty distribute, and it's very inspirational. And can we sell? Of course you can. There you go. I love you. Absolutely. I love you. <laughs> Of course you can. Of course you can. Oh, she can. Right. Right. So, so it comes uh, as you saw. It does come in pieces. Just very briefly, you can see this. Um, the way that it's actually been cut, it fits absolutely perfect. Very difficult, maybe because it's been painted already. Now, just a uh, point of interest: the paints I've used are the ones that we had on earlier, um, and the very similar colours actually. So the black was on. The, um, the ocean was on and also dry brushed in a little bit of the silver. Fab. So all those colours were in the kits, the kits earlier, earlier on Absolutely. when we came on. So okay. if you have bought those, then you will have be got enough left. Oh, the uh, yeah. Tons. Um, so you can see no point in painting into the middle because I'm going to put paper in. Oh, lovely. So this is um, one of the uh, pieces of paper. You've got all of those sheets, yeah. which is superb. You can see here, this is the best way of, of actually, well, in my opinion, okay. this is the best way of doing it without it being too fiddly. Mm -hmm. So if you use the base of um, your box yeah. as the measurement, mm -hmm. make sure that you do go right to the end and not, um, you know, slightly in, else it's going to be too snug. Uh -huh. And then use the sides. If you see what I mean, so if you to measure, Got yeah. It. So what I did was basically I want to just point this out because it's so it's e makes it easy. Instead of cutting and oh, not quite big enough, then wasting your paper. So place that on your piece of paper that you've got out of yeah. your kit. Draw around it, and then what I did was keeping it in place. Just tip it up. Oh, and then draw around it. And draw around it again, oh. and do that on each side. That's clever. All right. And then da da da, and then number four. But then obviously you need to cut the corner out. Right. Because then what we're going to do, we're going to take on that's crafty glue. That's a great way to do it, isn't it? Well, it's just easy because it's only one yeah. foul swoop then. And also you, you're not wasting anything by um, not getting it right. Yeah. Um, because we've all done that. We've all got this lovely, lovely piece of paper mm. that we've maybe been saving for a while for a special project and then we've cut it and it's been too small mm. and then it's all right when it's too big because you can cut it down but not exactly. when it's too small yeah so i'm just popping the glue on here we do have the glue obviously always available mm -hmm. whenever i'm here it's at well, it's, it's available all the time anyway on the website do so again just go on to hobbymaker.co.uk hopefully you're there already uh click on that's crafty and that lovely glue will be there yep sure so but um the prices of the of these of the paper kit is just it's phenomenal. A, that first right. kit was just unbelievable. Yeah. So just popping it in, mm -hmm. you're literally just placing it in, oh, and lovely. all being well, Perfect. it should fit like a glove. You've done that before. <laughs> just few. A, just a few times. <laughs> just a few times. So now what you've got is you've got a perfect Brilliant. Oh, that's lovely. lining to your box. Yeah. Okay. okay. So then what you're going to do, this is your top, and all you need to do is my glue's coming to a the grand finale. Ah uh, <laughs> not the end of the ke the ketchup bottle. <laughs> yeah, it needs to be upside down. I'll leave it upside down overnight for tomorrow. Right, so just just a bead of your glue just on the top there there we are and then just place that on the top like so and it does fit absolutely it just perfect precision. yeah so any uh, glue that you can see now this does dry clear it's a dry clear glue but if you can see it while it's still wet and it's not in the place where you want it to be just take it off with your finger okay just sit still there we go just sit there we are and then um but like i say we'll dry clear so it, it's not a, a a massive problem okay right so now what we've got the fun of doing is mm. we've got some shelves here we go 
Now, these shelves are included, obviously, in your kit. Yep. So all you would do now is just fit your shelves wherever you want them. Lovely. So if you only wanted one shelf, you didn't want any shelves at all, it wouldn't matter. Don't have to put them in, do you? No, not at all. So just fit them in. And in fact, they actually fit rather snug. Mm. You do need to glue them in. Yeah. All right. So, but I'm just going to fit them in just so that we've got a little bit of... I tell you what, Graham has yes. proper, oh, it's pr oh, it's proper so made those to fit. Yeah, yeah. The the precision of the laser cutting is just superb. Right, so that should I'll just get that cute, laser. aren't they? Those shelves. So now this is where all obviously your fun begins. Um, I've gone ahead obviously and cut a few bits out. So I've got the um, I've got some of these lovely bits of the, uh, the film strip that I've cut individually. And just to, I've got a little bit of white on that edge, just take off that white bit there. Because yeah, otherwise you'll see that every uh, that, time, oh, won't you? Yeah. Just drive me mental. <laughs> <laughs> Bonkers. <laughs> right, so this is obviously an optional extra. Okay. Um, but I just thought, oh, it'd be quite cool just to put a couple of coloured paper clips yeah. on the side there. And, um, you know, anything that you've got really in your, your kit, mm -hmm. you can just add, oh, in your stationery, this is, isn't it, really? Yeah. Now, just bear with me a second. Okay. I'll just get my glue gun because it's been on charge. Mm -hmm. And a glue stick would help. <laughs> so, Daisy, here we go. Right, so um, I'm going to uh, glue gun some of it and I'm going to um, gel medium other. So, okay. the gel medium, basically, you know, we were saying about. Um, Using the that's crafted glue because it's a multi surface yes. glue. Sometimes we need something that's a, that lifts a little bit more. Okay. And this is the occasion. So I'm putting some gel medium on the back. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're just going to sit these uh, on the shelf. Oh, it's like a sort of almost like a glue foam pad almost. Yeah, the it way is. That works. Could use, you could use foam pads. Ah. Yep, no problem at all. So we're just. Place basically we're just using those so you can see already oh, that's you've got that nice. you've got um, something on the shelf which is quite nice yeah right so then the other thing that I did I um, took one of the film strips and just I should just do it on the side here just wound one of the film strips through the edges this is such a clever you know, idea this kit it, well it is lovely isn't it but the yeah. thing is though. The marrying of the two um, is is just superb. It really is. Now I would put one on the other side, but I'm just going to okay. just glue that one down, and then carry on. I'll just heat that up a second, and then we'll just carry on doing the other bits and pieces because I want to show you all the bits really. Mm -hmm. Now, um, with regards to the acetate pieces, yeah. As we said, we can actually foil them, which, okay. is, which is really super and easy to do. But the other thing is, um, because they're acetate, we can actually colour them in with permanent pens. Ah. Now, any alcohol-based pen. Okay. So whatever you've got, um, you know, if you do do, if you like, you enjoy colouring, you've got any alcohol markers yep. at all. I mean, I've just got a couple of um, Sharpie pens here. Because obviously they're they're permanent pens. Yeah. But when we do that, obviously we can change the colour of the acetate, which is wow. Just by that. So then oh, of look course at you've that. got instantly you've got a coloured really. Yeah. You know. So we just put a couple of little marks here and there. We don't need to necessarily do all the colouring. Just put a little bit of interest mm -hmm. in here and there. And then I've got a blue. Where do we? There we go. And if we just put a little bit of blue, say, coming down the the legs, just as like I say, you don't even have to do absolutely stunning uh, colouring on this because it's just a little bit of colour in between the black. Um, just put one on there and that there, right. and it just lifts it that little bit doesn't it yeah and also it lifts it away from the um the the base project as well we don't want it just to disappear mm. um i am going to um use my hot glue gun for this okay so i'm going to pop that on the outside there 
just put a little bit of now I would suggest this is what we do if you have got a, a hot glue gun just just use for this because it's ideal mm. uh, for the acetate pieces I found that it was yeah you know anything that will dry um, obviously clear mm. which this will okay so we've got yeah, that then good. we've got um, right so we've now got um, a little bit of film strip here and yeah. you can see I'll just put a little bit there also on this one but I won't do it because I know we'll I want to concentrate on the actual product that I'm doing but on the outside mm. here of the frame what I did was now just reeling back to um this morning you know the holographic um, yes yeah. paste that we had yeah so this here if you can see when i move oh, yeah. it oh. that's actually that's that Do you want I just, to, yes, yeah please. just so that i can hold yeah, that absolutely. for you and just show you that sorry yep. no problem so just looking over here and all the way at the base and all the surround look at that so and then what i've done uh, you can see the color there the gold and the silver that's just embossing powder how have I had it the right way up? Um, just embossing powder, just sprinkled on and heated onto the frame, which just gives it a little bit of layering, bit of interest. Doesn't it just? Yeah. So, yeah. thank and, you. Uh, no problem. Right, so now um, we're going to put another shelf in. So let's just put this. Because why not? Because, we, because we've got another shelf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's just pop that another shelf in. So. This really can be as much or as little yeah. as what you want it to be. And this is when I was saying about the um, uh, the Polaroid photos. Mm. Um, I did actually ask Kate if she had any, but they've been moving this week. So I think it was a case of, mm. you know, sort of not bothering. <laughs> I said which box um, they were in. <laughs> yeah. But um, this is the popcorn. Oh, oh yeah, lovely. Just... Just put some markings on the bottom. I'm purposely, I'm, I'm purposely just sort of scribbling because I want it to. Um, if I'd had a yellow, maybe I would have put the yellow on. Mm. But I want to also show you. Um, yeah. Oh no, it's falling down the back. No, Do just, just no, bottom. don't no, don't worry sure. because yeah, because I don't really want to waste too much time on that. But I want to just point out here. If I just point. Can you see at the back of the um, the back of the chair? Ooh, yeah. And at the back of the clapperboard there, it's a little bit. It's got. I've got some holographic. Oh yeah, perfect. Look yeah. at that. Some holographic for, um, card. Lovely. Yep. Yeah. And basically, what I did was I stuck it onto the holographic card, so it was a little bit more um, noticeable. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that big chunk of. That'll just dry off, and I can pick it off. Mm -hmm. That's on a Jimmy after me. There we go. Just popping a little bit of acetate there. So because it's um, because it's acetate, obviously mm. transparent, you're getting that depth of feel as well. So there's no problem doing a hot glue on an acetate then. No, no, because no, it's good quality. It's good thick acetate. Okay. Yeah. So that's uh, no, that's okay. Now these um, pieces here, we've got. Um, we were talking about these earlier, weren't we? These yeah, we were. Chipboard elements. Yep. And what we can do with these is we can actually give them a little bit of um, colour. Mm -hmm. So let me just find a red. Um, we'll put a little bit of red on, I think, because it's quite a... There we go. Just a, we can see what it does is, um, because they come bare oh. as such, we can just put a little bit, just going around the the edges or just a little bit in the corner don't have to color it all in because it's uh it's quite nice just yeah you know, a little bit of a hint so we've, oh, we've got that it comes together tree and this is a action it's just a smattering in the ocean basically well, it took us nearly half an hour to get through the first kit i mean it's just yeah it's just fantastic mm. so um when we were saying about the little pips that hold them in trim them off I'm a little bit yeah. thingy about these. Yeah. I do. I don't like to see them. So could just, you just use a little scissors? Could you just do like a little emery yes, board? You could, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm just going to pop that on the back of here, just on the shelf there. Mm -hmm. There we go. And we've got the director's chair. So I'm going to keep with the red. 
um, because I think that uh, it goes nicely with the rest of the colours. So, of course, you can spend lots more time yeah. colouring in um, all, all your chipboard elements. Yeah. They would also take um, a pencil crown really well. Okay. Okay, so you could also do that. I'm just going to pop some um, gel medium on the back of that one. Mm -hmm. And we'll just, where should we put him? Just there. So now, if we'd have put a little bit of... Um, uh, cardstock at the mm. back of there, but I can I can do that afterwards. I can just pop that in. Now a little thing that I did on the front here. Yeah. Can you see the little reels there? I'll leave that yes. for you to we'll have show a you look. And here, look, it's on the bottom shelf, up just there. See the little okay. reels of film. Look. So. <laughs> all we've done is where well, you can see what we've done. We just put. Now be careful, because. Like Debbie said earlier, the hot glue gun. It's hot. When you, you when you, oh, I'll tell you the amount of times I've done it. <gasps> so just roll it up like so. And here we go. Just now, when you have finished, you can actually poke that little bit of glue out because all it's doing is just stabilising it. Okay, just excuse me one second. There we go. Right, so just that bit in the middle, look, you can actually, once that's stuck, you can actually take that out. Oh, where I it, see. It was holding it in place for me while ah, I rolled get rid it up. Because it. it dries quite quickly. Yeah, it dries it? really, really quickly. So just rolling that up, which makes really quite a lovely little embellishment. A little bit more glue on the end there. And when you squash it down, you don't even notice. Ah, You've got the real. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Real on there. So we we'll just put a little bit of glue on there. I'd like to apologise for my producer. He said that's really cool. Really. Oh, did you like that? <laughs> <laughs> it just gives it a little bit of a. It's just a, a, a little embellishment that yeah. you can just add. So there, there you go. Look. So look at that. Ah. So you've just got so you've got these shelves why not put things on them you absolutely. know absolutely that's the thing um these are the um the actual um cinema tickets that oh we, we didn't stick that down did we here we go let's have a does look. anybody remember as well go, having to go and rent a video from blockbuster yep are you not all young <laughs> i'm really Oh, it was a big expedition what? going to Blockbuster, wasn't can they it? Not remember no, they that? can. They can remember. Oh, yeah, just, but you've got, got to rush back and get it back on time. Yeah, although, although get you got fined. charged extra, didn't you? Do you yeah. remember? You got charged the next day. Oh, didn't you? but you've got. I mean, I know like a mm. Blockbuster movie, but it's just nice to take you back to Blockbuster as well, isn't it? Oh gosh, yeah. Um, right, so I've got another little. Um, a scene here. We'll put a little paper clip Aww. on to put that on the back shelf. Does that not make you want to go home and watch a, a yeah, an old a, black a and white, real movie. black and white sort of Lauren Hardy or uh, yeah. you know uh, Charlie Chaplin or oh, what, who was the guy that was there was a guy that was married to somebody that, that Charlie Chaplin was really good friends with. No, that'll come back to me. I'll have a think. You well, might in know real who that life is. or no, in real life or yeah, no in. In real in life. Oh, somebody, somebody um, suggested who the actress might be. Oh. Gloria Swanson. I, oh, I, I've heard of her. I don't, I can't. Oh, can, we have, can we call a picture up and we'll have a look? Yeah. Anyway, sorry, lovely. Oh, no, it's OK, Don. No worries. Got lovely yeah. messages coming in. No, saying, that's lovely. It? Thank you, whoever that Pretty was. kind of you. Well, we just tried to make sure the fact that it didn't sort of say Marilyn, whatever is. It definitely wasn't Marilyn Mance. No, no. <laughs> Right, so that's the cinema ticket. I've just popped that into the corner there. So you know when I was saying about using the um, the tickets and you, you can actually... Oh, like they've been used, like a proper authentic one that you... Because when you used to go to things and, and shows and things, you used to keep, keep everything in a box. Did you still do, yeah. do it? I'm terrible. I'm a right yeah, hoarder nice, when it? it comes to that sort of thing. Yeah, it would. yeah. <laughs> just said, director's just said, I don't know why I keep my tickets, but I do. <laughs> yeah. It's memory. It's like concert tickets. Yeah. I've got concert tickets from, oh, oh my look goodness. look at that. When the kids were like, I went to see, was it S Club 7 or something? If I said them, told them that now, they'll go, 
Yeah, oh, whatever. Oh, yeah, mine. Like, yeah, <laughs> you did. <laughs> uh, I love the way you just distressed that. With well, the it's just made it, you know, it's, it's obviously, you can put a little bit of distress ink on the background if you wanted to. She's or such. You know, all I'm doing is just using the elements and it's the elements that are yeah. the key. Aren't they just? You know, that everything is there for me. Oh, I don't want to stick down there. Come on. It's time Look at that. Me. We've got three minutes of the show left. Oh, Where's that gone when you're having fun, Jo? It's time warp in this It place. is an half, isn't it? So, I'm, well, I'm just going to. I'll, I'll let that be now. So, um, oh, that's lovely. So, you know, you can add on. Add on bits, yeah. put bits and pieces on. If yeah. we can just sorry, my lovely no, girl. There okay, you go. Darling. I just wanted just to show um, what. So what, what I've done. Oh, I've got a bit of. So like we said, I put um, I put this acetate one onto the holographic card Brilliant. and here, and also this reel here, um, which is um, from this main set. There's another one very similar there that you could do the same with. Cut it out in a circle. Yeah. And then put it onto some holographic card. It's gorgeous. And then it brings it out. It makes it look like it's on a reel. But please, if you could, yeah, because honestly. Look at this as well. Helen, can Helen's, just say, you know, massive thank you. Bowled you. me over when I was opening the box because Huzzah. she's just, and I do know that she had a super, super time Didn't doing Didn't she them. just? Brilliant. Those of you like a horror film. <laughs> yeah. We've actually got Brilliant. the other kits on tomorrow. Yes, we have as well. So we're going to do, um, uh, you know, talk about Oops. the rice papers and bit, bit oh, more tomorrow. Gosh, so. wait till you see those! Oh my days! Um, right then, my lovelies. So um, tomorrow morning, you're uh, sorry. So you're going to be here at one o'clock in the afternoon. One o'clock. One o'clock in the afternoon. Tomorrow. Did I just point at you? I... Did Did I just? Did I bother? No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's like, did you? Are you did So tomorrow morning, I will be here, I, I at, one will be here at one o'clock. So one o'clock tomorrow with these and wait. If you like Alice in Wonderland, am I allowed to say that? Well, yes, it's only a decoration that I've used because it's not actually, we're not selling Alice in Wonderland as such, but it is just a little idea that I've put together. A little yeah, teapot, a little teapot. teapot. So we are selling the tea bag houses, which is, they're, they're just phenomenal. She said, you show me this, this, this teapot. And I went, oh, that's lovely. And then she said, open the lid. And I went, what lid? And I opened it. She went, that's for tea bags. I went, no way. <laughs> that's just brilliant. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow morning, you, hopefully you can join us uh, nice and bright and breezy and early with myself and the lovely Debbie from Crafters Companion. Lots going on tomorrow morning. Don't forget, we've got to announce, if you buy anything today, six people at random, six people will win in excitement for the American Crafts joining us, the wonderful American Crafts joining oh. Hobby Maker this, this month. Brilliant. There are um, six people. All you've got to do, what I would suggest is buy the Hobby Maker limited edition pin. There's 30 left and it's, that's it. They're gone. That's it. Oh, my Lord. 20, out of the 1,000, 20% uh, discount on, code on the back. I'm so sorry. We've got to go. She was amazing, Mark. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>